there's not much room in it. I mean, Ben's only got 223 behind. I mean, it's kind of an all-in or a fold, isn't it? Yes. And I prefer a fold. Pot's 410,000. No, it's not. No, sorry. It's 634,000. Thank you. Wow. Are they going twice? Yeah. A uh, king ball is dead. I saw one. Spades are dead as well. Obviously, there's ace king. Oh, wow. Just wasted. Yeah. So sick. Yeah, first one goes to Ben. $634,000 pot. Ben is on his way to having the biggest night on our stream for him. Yep, and he's going to win them both. Oh, wow. You were with this guy? Sorry for knowing where I'm at, Wesley. Wes, come on, what are we talking about, man? <laughs> no coaching. Wesley's laughing at his opponents, and I'm here for it. I swear he has a knight queen, knight queen. Nick checks. Barry's got to bet this. You got to bet that, Barry. Come on. You might win. I don't know. I'm fine. No. Ooh. You have aces? And he does wow. win. That's the case 10, by the way. Professional. Bro, man. Wow. Professional. This one of my wife. She knows how Wow. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's really Ron. He's somewhere smiling wow. right so now. I'm so sorry, man. Wow. I think even Reza. I think Reza's legitimately sorry about that. And he hits his four on the river. And he's still no good. The joint for Sammy is gambling is rewarded immediately by Lauren, the dealer. I don't know that you can put your opponent on 8 5 here. Oh no. Less than 1% is not the equity you're looking for with 31K in the middle. Well, that was the best hand I've seen in a while. Mayhem gonna figure it out again that he's been overset by pocket aces. Set over set twice in a couple hours. Oh. Yeah, aces? Yeah. I never get him. I never get him. One night this happened to me? Look at this. Oh, look at this. No. There's still another. There's still another Jack. So sick. Big John. Wesley went over a hundred thousand. I saw he has deck. I figured out. It's an overplay. But if you go all in, only jacks or fives will call you. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I wish I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't you, know that. You think I have a, like, uh, if, uh, Cause you have four, right? I, I could have four five. I could have jack five. Yeah. You think jack ca jack five can call you? Jack five can call you with your all in. So that's uh, yeah. He's getting such an insane price here. When you when you bet half of the effective stack, it's just really really hard to pull. And I show you my no. hand after, and then if if you win, I give you ten thousand. No, 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 no. no. I, I didn't hear that. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. Living thing. Way here. But look at this bet though, 20,000 into 10,000, he's betting 2x pot. Garrett putting maximum pressure on Bertucci. The Nick Foles, look at that. Just a power play from Garrett. She just snap moves all in, Ronnie snap calls and Ronnie's gonna need some help. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Do you have a coin? What a river. Wow. Oh, I knew it. I thought for sure one good. Garrett just wins himself $43,000. Took a chance, could have looked like a genius there, and unfortunately for him, his ships head over to that man right there, G-Man. Kings beat him, aces beat him, three queens beat him. If he's, at, if he's having crazy thoughts, I think he's gonna put himself in a world of hurt. No, he just calls, okay, okay. Fair enough, it's still a $170,000 pot. 85.5 goes to Garrett. I have a seven. You have a big belly like a dad. That doesn't do that. <laughs> Bro, why you light me up like that? Oh, wait a minute, I got a little belly. But, um, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It. No, I get bloated, and then my stomach gets huge. I'll go all in. Do you have 10,000? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. definitely 10,000 at least. It's not much more if you want to call. How much do you have? That's a dealer question, not a me question. I can't I do math. <laughs> you have a set of five. I know. I'm not good enough to mug, Mike. Nice hat. Uh, flush for the 10. Back to mouth is going to get paid. Oh. Or an nine or an eight. Deuce! Oh, I did you know? One time. And Mike. Michael, one All time. in. $50,000 pot. Chris just needs to fade a six on the river. And Chris going to scoop a $50,000 pot. The way we could get a slow roll here would be if this money gets all in and then we bink a seven or a 10. That's how we can get a slow roll because Barry 100% thinks he won. So if we get a 10 or a 7, we'll have the ultimate chance for a slow roll. And all these players know that slow rolling is a big part of this game. 10 or 7, one time. A 10 or a 7, one time. Wait, DJF. Washburn said no slow roll. Exactly. What are you doing? He just missed, like, the best opportunity for a slow roll. How? Do you not slow roll there? That's just bad etiquette. Not slow rolling there. Come on. Oh. A big pot here. Julie bluffs the nut flush. Uh, King Henry, who just bluffed it off with nine high, immediately flops the joint in the next hand. Julie needs a spade. Instead, the king is going to scoop. That's what's known as a cooler. Wes is going to raise. Well, you get there. Such a big hand. Oh. So stupid. This is pretty bad. Just love played myself to death. Meaning oh. bad luck. Oh. Top set. Might get the job done, or he might just get it done right here. And look at that. Watch. Oh. <laughs> he 
he's really selling it. Oh! That a kid! There we go. What a great table. I love this. Oh, you had the diamonds too. That didn't make sense, but it was awesome. Man. Welcome to Max Payne Monday. The U.S. Poker Open, I, I cut 12 days out of my schedule to go play those events, and I had a, and I had a shot, you know, I mean, I had, in the last, like, five days, I had two seconds and a four, three final tables, and in the main event at 2 a.m. last night, less than 24 hours ago, I took some ridiculous beat uh, to finish 10th. Wesley, let me explain one thing to you. When a player likes you, who bluffs it off, gets the aces, I took the time because I, I thought, like, wow, they might have an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might. Uh, okay, it wasn't I strategic so much as fear. I've got it. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Did Garrett just tell Ethan I got it and save him 66000 yeah. No, do it for the memes. Hold on, do it for the memes. It's a good clip. I think it's a good clip. You right, are right on. You're turning five grand on. You line on, you win this, bro? Look at the pot. This is a $25,600 straddle for Mr. Beast. He's had enough. I'm so glad I didn't do it. I'm so glad I didn't do it. It's going to go like nine bullets. I haven't folded yet. You owe me. Dog. You know what? You owe me, uh, Botez, so I don't mind if you call. I mean, if you were, you know. Yeah. Okay. What about, what about taking advantage of our stupidity? I'm, I'm so happy you said that. What about it? This is literally like a <laughs> There's a call. Oh, are you trying to do the, the chips? Yeah. Uh, oh, he's stalling. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Queen. Oh, that's. At three? Wow. So oh, she's wait. like. Everybody pairs but oh Beast. Everyone but me. What is happening? Everyone but me. That means, there's, that means there's six left for you, King. How in the hell can someone That's fine. I, I'm, I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No queens. I will literally tip you $20,000. Nine, three, eight, queen. You better put a queen there in your best interest. Magic got $20,000 if you can put a queen on the river. He's great. 20 grand. Oh. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez, again. Are you kidding me? He pays him off. He makes the call. Wow. Only a jack will save Alan. One jack left on the phone. One jack left, and that is not a jack. Ten of clubs on the river, and Alex is now doubled up. She wins herself a $102,000 pot, and Keating on to bullet number three. Well, yeah, I'm all, what's my all-in button? What is that? Oh, no! Wait, wait, all in, I'm looking. All in. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to let you guys... Call it. Right? Okay. No, no way! No one's ever you lost three in a row, Keating. No one's ever she, lost she three She said three, three times a charm. You know I do, right? $150,000. You know, I'll show the table. I'll make you a deal. I have king five. If you... Can promise me you don't have aces, kings, or ace king? I'm not, I'm not gonna promise you anything. Give me no. money. <laughs> <laughs> if you only want the four, then you can take it. I'll Give fold. Me money. One way or the other. Hmm. All right, I'm calling. Fuck it. Once. So one time Let's go. <laughs> Not a hot start, not a hot start, but there's a lot of diamonds in there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of diamonds. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. Oh. Jack's full of aces. Jack's full of aces. A battery board. When the aces hold, XQC doubles up. I want my jacket. He's like, help me. Bro, I got like five, six, five, nine. I thought he might, actually. That was like a pretty good speech, like the... That was actually what it was, is he interrupted me and I was like, well, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I gotta tell you, you were not supposed to call this. <laughs> what do you have? Yeah. Wait, what do you have? I got... Nothing. That's an excellent hand. Oh, for what? Are you ahead? What a good call, Jimmy! Yeah. What a good call, Jimmy! Oh my God. Oh, Are you ahead? I love that. Guy shows 9-4, are you ahead? I'm, never coming back. I'm not paying you back, I'm not paying anyone back. I'm just never coming back. Four pairs. You win. Let's fucking go. 
Your heart can handle that. I thought for sure you are gonna fold. Oh my god. Bro, I was sitting there, I was just thinking, uh, I was like, I just gave this motherfucker 50 grand just for him to all in on me. You got it. Oh it went through. It went through. Uh, what planet am I on right now? Let me just be like, I got you. And he goes, You said flush shot. Fucking crazy. 50,000. Oh. Wow. That is the definition oh, of snap the call. <laughs> And they're gonna run it twice. Quarter million in the pot, pretty much. 244,000 from Tom Dwan. First time goes to Dwan. They're gonna run it the second time here. And they both go to Tom Dwan, and Keating once again felted. And he has just uh, reloaded for another 100,000. I think so. I'm all in. Oh. And Krish is going to check jam with Ace Deuce of Diamonds. One time. And one time, one time. Queens versus Ace Deuce. Wasn't expecting that. Turns a seven one time. Over. Rivers and Ace! Oh! Rivers and Ace! Rivers and Ace! Oh my. Unbelievable. And he's out of there. Did he ever overlimp my hand like Queen 3 suited? And Garrett's going to call. Good call. Oh. And he makes the call. Right away, Reza is going to win a $178,000 pot and double through Krish. Look at Ronnie. <laughs> he's in it. He's, happy. He's, so, he's loving it, man. I love it. I, wanna, I now want to go to a strip club with Ronnie. I mean, look at him. He's just having fun. Dirt. Goes to 26,000 and just gets snap called. Chalk another one up there for Durr. What could have been, he probably could have won more money. Wow! Unbelievable! Oh my he god. It a back jam. Oh my a god. $232, I don't really know flip. if I meant it. A $232,000 flip. This guy just back jammed. Wow. Oh, it's counterfeited. Counterfeit. Ace High gonna win it. Reza with 26-6 behind. Oh, oh no! Wow, oh, cool. Reza trying to rep a seven. Trying to rep a full house on the river. That is a slow roll. And I think I'm an expert on Analyzing slow rolls. I mean, I love Mickey, but on a four-bet pot against an aggressive player, this is this is a suicide mission. He just is absolutely yeah. He's he's lighting he's lighting some of these chips on fire. We go a lead here. Do we have a for clock fifteen in thousand? Yeah. What time is it? definitely not something that Garrett is usually accustomed to seeing. He just calls. No, nope, he's not used to being in this position. Garrett is good enough to sniff this out and to put the money in. We are at 101,000 here. Wow. River it's a blank. Six. So Mickey has absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Mickey's feet bombs here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 65,000. Wow. Uh, I, I meant... I don't... Know. What's the bet? 60,000. Whatever you want to. 60? I meant, I meant 60. I don't want to, like... You're fine. You know. Just whatever you want the bet to be. Yeah. Let's go. Guess I'll fold. Wow! Mickey, show it, baby! Oh! And he shows him! Woo! That's gonna leave a mark. Wow, Mickey Tricky. Garrett is very disappointed in the fact he made the wrong decision. I know him. Thank you. Wow, Mickey. If you do or you don't, like, you know, I never mean to be rude. No, you can always show us all day, yeah. He will take the information even though it's stinging. Why, could you beat five highs? 
<laughs> a monster $70,000 pot. Check, check. Sonny looking for an eight on the river. Not gonna happen. He's gonna bet here. I don't 13, Wow, 13,000, there's a snap call. The Reza doesn't care. Oh, Reza for president. You're my, I, I love him. And knock it out. I wanna get a t-shirt. I wanna get a Reza t-shirt. I would wear that. And look at this flop. Brandon flops the stones. Antonio with King Queen. Let's see how Brandon plays it. Just a call. King Jack 10. The turn's a nine. They both have straights and Brandon with the nuts. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. And now, is Brandon just gonna call? Let's see. Oh, he just called. Snaps. Wow, we could have seen huge. Oh. Boy, if this one gets through, this is highway robbery from the magician. I think I might have to pay you. That is not good news to Antonio's ears. What do you mean? You want to chop? How can we chop? It's just that you want to chop everything. I could have the nuts. Super happy to have your brother. You mean by my poker skills? No, I mean by your YouTube skills. No, no, no. Your poker, poker skills. skills. I mean, we're going to see tonight. Okay. Are you feeling confident about your poker skills? Yeah, I, I'm going to walk up a million dollars. No question. You think so? Yeah, easily. So, have, do you play a lot of poker? Are you no. like an avid player? No. Well, he's going to let it go. There. He has to let it go. He's going to let it go. Yeah, it's going to let it go. Let's see what that river looks like. Oh. Five. He would have got counter. He would have got counterfeited. That's what I told you. Oh him. my God, Andy would have oh. won. Jackie would have got counterfeit. I, I'm gonna say it. We're firing right. I'm just saying that. Oh wow, running hearts. Yeah. And Mr. Beast has got the ten of hearts in his hands. You have a flush, dude. You have my flush, bro. Oh shit, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Fifty thousand dollar pot. No. All right, give me fifty. Somebody give me fifty, please. You, 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 no, I didn't mean that. Please, give me fifty. Give me fifty. You definitely meant that. Yeah, no, you could have just took the money. I never would have noticed. <laughs> All right. So they're gonna flip for how much? Bill, do we have action or no? The whole stack. Right. Yeah, I think that this is gonna be like a three hundred ninety thousand dollar flip. Somewhere in that neighborhood. This is a 400k flip. Yeah, it's a 400k flip. Now, by the way, if Keating wins this, he's still down. Okay. You show one, I'll show one. Okay. Oh, shit. Bro, please don't flip over fucking jack. I mean, your king might win. You get 10 grand. One more time. I'll bring it down. All the way down. Bro, so... Did you get 10 grand? Yeah, of course. Why not? She's been great. I'm here. Yeah, that was... That was... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm all. Sixes, forty, and fours. Yeah, I could have. It's no shot. I think it's the way to go out. It's the way to go out. I have to. Man. I, 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 just one man. That's all I got. Yeah. I like a, I like, I like one bad beat. Hold up, I need these. Look, keep them on. I think there's a chance here. I think there's a chance for him. And Ninja hit the seven. But I am sleeping outside tonight if I don't hit a seven, so. Oh, oh no! That's a pretty good flop. Queen ten? I'll suck a, I'll suck a dick for a ten. Feldman. Hey, Phil. 
Did you want that money? through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. No fault, 
I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. It's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Add it up. Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Hello and welcome to Hustler Casino Live. I am David Tuckman, presented by WPT Global and, of course, High Stakes Poker Productions. It is Friday night. It is time for the big game, and the big guns have come out. I see Garrett at the table. We'll introduce everybody as uh, we have a pretty special guest joining us on this fantastic evening, playing 100-200. My guess is it'll be a 100, 200, 400 game before long. Strap yourself in the next six hours. Promise to be amazing poker. I have a special guest in the commentary booth as well. Coming shortly. Uh, Good to be back. I have been uh, away visiting family for quite some time. So it is good to be back in L.A., back home here at Hustler Casino Live. Get a look at Fang wearing the, uh, the the D hat. He's an investor, and he's obviously invested well. We'll see how his investments go tonight. Lauren dealing, as you can see. Take a look in seat number two. That's right, the seven deuce master. Were you here? You guys know him. He needs no introduction. You want to follow him on Twitter? It is at G-Man Poker. And Stanley, a professional investor, which, by the way, is very different than the investor. Fang is hoping that one day he can reach the status that Stanley is at right now. If you're wondering what the difference is between just investor and professional investor, same thing as poker player and professional poker player. And if you can figure out what that is, well, if you can let me know, that would be great. Here, see Hank, just an investor. Very different. Hank wearing all white today. You can do that. It's still August. It is Ray D. This dude is one of my favorites. I will tell you wholeheartedly, one of my favorite commentary sessions I've ever had was with Ray D in the booth. The man has no qualms about saying whatever it is he wants to say. You guys know him. You love him. It is JR. Once again, thanks for joining us here. Hustle Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I am David Tuckman. Got a special guest at the table, which we will uh, we'll see shortly. And you can see on the chip count there, he's on there. That's right, WSOP main event champion. Won two bracelets this summer. I actually commentated on his first bracelet, which was a tag team event. And he is buying into 50K. Garrett covering the table as per usual with 300K. And you can look at just a vast amount of money on this table tonight. And as always the case, I will do my best to let you hear the players talk. Because I know that's why you are here. I mean, if you, Sorry, you get poker. a connection, poker. Poker. Me into, uh, but not this game. Yeah, yeah, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, super aggressive.
Right out of the gate, Stanley raising it up. Ray D making the call. JR going to three bet. Goes pretty big, 3,000. Ray D, not necessarily really a no limit holding player. I mean, he's a poker player, but just a phenomenal Raz player. Plays a lot of mixed games. And as I said, always entertaining. Well, Stanley was dominated. Dominated, she dominated. Top pair here for Stanley, and suddenly it's JR who is way behind. So a bet, a call. They are out of position. Neither player with a spade in their hand. And that's not a particularly great barrel card for JR. And he decides to check. Stanley in the white on the right side of your screen. Looks like he's going to bet 4,000 and change. 4,600. Trying to think, what can he beat if you're JR here? Not much, and JR gives it go, lets it go. I want to thank you all for joining us here. Hustle Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. Thank our sponsor, WPT Global. More on them later. They say it's never lucky to win the first hand. Good hand. That's, we'll why, that's we'll why I see. pulled it. We'll I had Jack, but I, I don't <laughs> want to win the first hand. Sorry. <laughs> nice fall. Nice fall. I want to say hi to you in the chat there. Sam Wilcox, Master at ADX. Austin City. What's up, Corey Moe? What's up, Aaron? How are oh, you? Really good. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Nick from Yuma. I know a lot of you are here for Espen, our WSOP main event champion. Maybe you're here for Garrett. I've got to tell you, Ray D, one of my favorite. I think he's just one of the most entertaining poker players out there. <clears throat> Two hearts out there on this nine high flop, and Ruske with the flush draw. Now with a pair of aces to go along with the flush draw. JR not quite drawing dead, but drawing super slim here. And wow, JR did not have many outs. He needed an eight that was not a heart. And now Ruske is gonna bet for value with his ace. And JR is gonna bump it up as he's made the straight. You guys catch last week's show? Was it last week's show with Andy? Andy Stacks returning to our tables here at Hustler Casino. He put double M to the test. But double M would not fold the aces. And Andy Stacks lost a huge pot to him. That was a really good one. And uh, you can watch that on our, in our archives on our YouTube channel. All of our shows are in our archives. They're all for free, available for you. All that we ask you to do, give us a thumbs up when you watch the show. And of course, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Hey, a lot of traffic. Speaking of. Bang raising it on the button here. Ruske going to make this call. 
Nothing there for either player. Fang with the C bet and he takes it down. Fridays can be tricky in LA, traffic wise. Never quite know what to expect. You expect the worst, and sometimes it's even worse than that. There you go. At Andy Stacks Poker on Twitter and Instagram. What a game, huh? JR raising it under the gun, plus two. If you're new to our show, you'll see the graphics on the screen, bottom left corner of your screen. You'll see what position the players are in, how deep they are, how much money they have, and how much equity they have in the pot should it go to showdown. That's the percentage of the time that they would win the pot. King high flop, JR, the original raiser with top pair. It looks like. They didn't buy you in for it. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I was not paying Three attention. Three players in the hand. Yep. Check. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Okay. JR wins a small one. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ambient ideas says, Tuck, have you ever played this large? Uh, no. How much are you I have not. Uh, Biggest I've ever played is pretty much 25.50. And there he is. The 2022 World Series of Poker main event champion. I, I really think that his, his, the graphics should say 2022 tag team champion. Because that's the event that really put him on the map. Between 40 and 300. Huh? Between 40,000 to 300,000. Okay. I would say most. That's a wide range. 50 to 60. Uh, I'll go in for 40. 40,000 for seat six. Yeah. I'll sort it out in a sec. Yeah. Oh, time banks as well, huh? Okay. Is this the first time you're playing cash with time banks? Yeah. yeah I haven't played cash since game. forever either. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That's it's, good. It's really good for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, one minute. Mm -hmm. One minute each. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And we have how much? 30 seconds. 30 seconds per decision, yeah. no matter what screen it is. Yeah. Right, you get cool. refills after five okay. hours, up to five. You can, the max you can have is five, but we get up to, if you have three, after five hours, you get up to five again. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it's half off. Yeah. Okay, this is six, ten. Can I have two in the center and two in front of you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I've been here for okay. I've been here for um, a few days, a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I haven't really. It's a pretty yeah. sweet place. Huh? Are you, are you, it's a cool, it's a cool city. You'll probably like it. Are you here for a while or? Um, not sure yet. Okay. I can't stay in the U.S. for too long. I only have a three-month visa, and yeah. I came at the beginning of the series. Seven hundred. So, I think I'm going back to Europe. at... Yeah, you, you never yet. went back. You haven't gone oh. overseas yet. No, since no, no. I've just been here. Cool. Yeah. Just been in Vegas and Miami. Yeah. Seven hundred. Yeah. 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 Security here just pissed off the rock last time. Ace 10 of diamonds here for Ray D. Uh, he has flopped the flush draw. <laughs> JR yeah. with the gut shot. Oh, maybe because there's a truck here right now. But not sure we will they're even see a turn card. That's rare that she's here right now. Yeah. <clears throat> they should have got an AK-47. <laughs> well, JR, 
intrigued enough to come along for the turn. Board pairs. Ace high still in the best hand. Am I the only new guy here? Everyone here is the regulars in this game or what? No, it's never really Not like that. Much. A lot of people here just met each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna push it back here. Okay. I was just telling Stanley, uh, I was in Iceland over the summer, okay. and so Norway's like at the very top of where I want to go next, you know, Thanks. geographically nearby, but I've heard it's just the most beautiful country. Yes. They're kind of similar. Yeah. I would say Iceland is a bit more interesting. It yeah. has like the geysers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Norway has a lot of mountains and fjords and yeah, stuff, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. But yeah. So How anywhere do you like where the scenery is beautiful, it's like, that's that's like my go-to yeah, yeah, yeah. when it comes to travel. Oh, they, I think there's a lot of hiking places. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. Are you from Oslo or different No, place? I'm from um, close to the middle of the country. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Small city or? Yeah, yeah. 20K people. Oh, wow, yeah. Like, what's been the biggest change in your life since you won? Three ways. No changes, just a bit more overwhelmed than I usually am. A bit more overwhelmed than I usually am. What do you mean by, by overwhelmed by what? Requests and attention and... Questions. Questions. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, questions like this. <laughs> no, 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 it's just a different thing, you know, like... I'm not used to, like, walking in casinos, having people taking selfies with me and stuff like that. It's, like, very different feeling, you know? Um, but in terms of my life, it's not really much that's changed, I guess. Playing higher stakes now, that's mm. the only thing. Yeah. You are watching Hustle Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. Sunk in yet, so it's kind of still very fresh, and there's been a lot of stuff going on, so. I feel like when you go home, like, they'll be like, I mean, there must be, it's only 20,000 people, right? Heroes <laughs> welcome to you, right? Like, are they going to have a parade or? Yeah. A parade. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> you drink all the time? <laughs> like, yeah, I'll be dinner for all the other people. Right? Yeah, we'll see. Mm. Are you win this year? This year? Yeah, he just won. I mean, the he president of another country hosts yeah. a parade, that'd be pretty strong. Well, I said if the president of your country hosted a parade for you, that'd be yeah. pretty strong. <laughs> uh, well, a lot of us have been waiting for Garrett raising Espen call, so. I, I'm not sure actually where it is. To be perfectly honest with you. And we've got an interesting flop. Flush draw here for Espen. Garrett with a gut shot. Ace Queen is the best hand right now. Now Garrett hits his queen. Espen with a gut shot, same gut shot that Garrett has to go along with a flush draw. Did you check? And that's been going nearly pot here. There are a lot of main event champions that might, World Series of Poker main event champions that have no clue how to play cash games. I don't suspect this is one of them. 
That's been a European who's been I'm playing like online. In years. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm buy it. Gareth is like the one to... Uh, he's dangerous, I've heard. That's been one two bracelets this summer. And Patrick Leonard thought enough of his game to partner up with him for the tag okay. team. I like that. So, take that for what it is. <laughs> Have you won or lost money with Sandy so far? Are you up or down? That's a very good question. <laughs> Wait, is it a seven deuce game? Do you get a like, bonus or something or not? No, he's not. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Queen high flop here, two spades. Hank with top pair. Got the king of spades to boot. Once again, thanks for joining us here. Hustler Casino Live. It is the big game, and it is quite a game. We've got over a million dollars on the table right now. Garrett, Andy Stacks, Ray D, and our 2022 World Series of Poker Tag Team Champion. I wasn't really sure how to approach it. There he is, Espen. Like, typically, I'm a guy who would just say yes to everything, do everything, you know, and just... But now I can't do that. Like, it's... Like, I... Uh, it's chanceless. So, I've done some stuff, but... Yeah. We'll Hopefully, you're taking a little time to relax. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A battle of Ace Kings here. Yeah. I'm going to try to do like. I'm eager to play a lot. You have like, six big chips, Hank. Yeah. Uh, 50 this year. 50 I'm, like, total. People were asking me if so you're just going to like take a break now and like on vacation or chill for some months or whatever. And now I'm like, no. What do you mean? Or people are asking, like, are you going to retire now? Are you done with poker now? Yeah. Like so many people, you know, like they're in poker to get rich and get out, basically. So it's like the people were expecting me to just like peace out now. Battle of the Ace Kings. It's one of those that gets your adrenaline running going if you're at the table. Obviously, we can see the cards, so not nearly as exciting. Hank with a slight advantage as he's got one of Garrett's suits covered. Yeah. You can count that right back. I'm sure it's like. I don't see it that way though. Like. Garrett just getting a uh, double check on the count before he calls. It's cool. All right, I'll call him. Yeah. He was never folding this. Oh yeah. Hundred and one thousand in the pot. Two spades out there. Hank with a free roll. Not a flop you want to see if you don't know what your opponent has. Oh, way low. Spade ball. Oh, -ho! ace king versus ace king. <laughs> Hank's gonna show him the king of spades and. It was a flush. I'll do it. Garrett will take it like a pro. <laughs> Who does that? Who loses ace king versus ace king and just goes nice hand and just moves on? Garrett's not real. Yeah, first time. Can I get a change? Oh, that is ugly. Not so ugly if you're wearing white, but if you are the man in black right there on the left side of your screen, that's pretty ugly. And uh, Garrett's 
ready to take it up a level. They're playing 100, 200, 400 now. He asked me what the lines were going to be. I told him it's one, two, but within the first 30 minutes, the straddle's coming up. I was right on the dot. Four minutes straddle once again. It's cool to have antis and time shifts for cash games now, right? Looks good. Yeah, that's great. There have been some infamous same hand losses through the years. Most notably, Connor Drynan in the million dollar one drop. Million dollar buy in tournament. He had aces. Kerry Katz had aces. And four hearts later, it was Connor Drynan who was out the door. This one's not quite as painful, but still $50,000. Gotta hurt a little bit. Hank picks up a small one. Andy, hey, you're so handsome. I have had the privilege throughout the years to work with many, many commentators. And during COVID, I was covering the Galfon Challenge, and I got to work with uh, a gentleman from across the pond named Henry Kilbane. And the uh, guy's a great poker player, really funny, and a fantastic commentator. And he is, uh, he is here tonight. Alongside me, how are you, Mr. Kilbane? Doing very well, thank you, Tuck. Appreciate the introduction as well. It's, uh, if I would have won the hand, it'd be a different story. But. <laughs> Pretty surreal to be here. You guys have been absolutely crushing it for the past year. So to be here alongside you guys, watch these guys put on a show. I mean, it's just like a normal, just a normal Friday night with a million dollars on the table. Yeah, okay. what's a million between friends, eh? <laughs> Henry Kilbane, David Zuckman here, calling the action. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be here for the next five and a half hours. Playing 100, 200, 400. And I know you are partial to the four-card game. How's your two-card game? Uh, two-card game is very weak compared to, to you, compared to these guys, compared to the people watching at home but I will be playing over the weekend we got got the meetup game which is I believe exclusively Hold'em so I'll be giving out some some free money I think I'm, I'm gonna have to play in it now yeah I mean I love Kilbane money yeah everyone does but not many people get it I've run extremely well in life how much did Espen buy him for? He bought him for 40k. So kind of a short buy. People in chat give him a little bit of heat for that. But I, I get it. He doesn't know anybody at this table. He hasn't, he hasn't played cash in years, he said. Espen, you'll quickly pick up. Nobody does that in cash games. Is that? <laughs> nobody, nobody thinks for three seconds before they raise in cash. Yeah, sorry about that. Just, no, no, you it's do you. It's been new for me, you know. Like you, I didn't. You do you, but you'll see. Like no one, nobody does that. <laughs> That's a tournament only thing. No need to even waste the three seconds. It's fine. <laughs> you know, and everyone else knows what you're gonna raise first. Don't even worry about it. I don't know my ranges. I'm like. Uh... Yeah. Jr. Three betting with Jax. Back over to Espen, who opened into the gun plus one. <laughs> Ambient Ideas wants to know who you are. Who exactly is Henry Kilbane? Can you answer during the gaps in, in table talk? Uh, yeah, I am me. Ten high flop tuck. Espen in trouble. Yeah. Espen called a three bet out of position. Flop top pair. Also, uh, Garrett is just such a class act. Like straight off the bat. Really nice reminder to Espen of his environment in the friendliest way possible. It's, uh, that's why Garrett has the cred that he gets. Huh? Oh, JR bets 3,500. Espen makes the call. Maybe because I was picks up a little bit more equity as he's a straight draw. Potentially room for a turn lead here, but I'm not really sure these 200 big blind effective 
stacks, how often we want to be leading on turn. On the river is the six of clubs. Kind of expect one more bet to go in, whether it's a value bet from Espen or a check and a value bet from JR. Yeah, I could see him block for one third. Pretty good read. 3,500 in the 15 9. We do play with time clocks in this game, and there's a quick call from JR. Jacks are good. Yeah, you look amazing today, Andy. Irvine, good choice. Irvine, very good choice. I'm too far from here. To, 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 uh, you can just be careful speeding over there. Because the police have nothing to do. It's so safe over there that they're going to catch you speeding a lot. <laughs> That's my experience. That is very nice over there. Fine. A lot of good restaurants there too. A lot of good Chinese restaurants. JR wins a small one. That's been now with about 30,000 in front of him. Blondra 100, 200. I think the straddle is pretty permanent. So let's say it's 100, 200, 400 game. So playing more of a tournament stack. About 80 big blinds. Yeah. Yeah, I was speaking to Espen on the way here, he kind of said in the car, you know, that he wants to play his game. He, he's not interested in, you know, playing on other people's terms. And, and I, I get it when there's this much money on the line. Um, but I think we'll see him ease into it and add on some chips at some point if he needs to. Because uh, he's only comfortable 100, 150 big blinds deep, you know. That's why I give all of these players so much credit because being able to navigate 200, 300, 400 big blinds post flop is is artwork, Tuck. It's well, artwork. Tell us a little bit about Aspen that we don't know. I mean, obviously, there have been main event champions in the past that were fish, that are fish in cash games. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to mention him. <laughs> yeah, we know he's not. Um, I mean, I had mentioned that he won the tag team event. Patrick Leonard thought enough of his game to pick him or mm. choose him, I guess, as a partner. He's obviously a good poker player. I mean, a really good poker player. Yeah, he's solid. I mean, he's been playing close to the highest stakes MTTs online for, for a while now. Um, had some very solid results online as well. Final table, the WSOP main event online edition. Came sixth in that for 600K. Um, so he, he's known, you know, in Europe, uh, but you guys out here, you have a uh, different breed of players. Like these guys, like Garrett, like Andy, that are studying this 400, 500 big blind <laughs> deep stack. It's, uh, it's not easy because it's such, such a niche. I spend the vast majority of my time, uh, I'm studying uh, 2200 big blind deep poker. Yeah. So if that ever thing becomes a thing, I'm going to be ready for it. You're going to be first one in. Yeah. See open. <laughs> Henry Kilbane, David Tuckman here for Hustler Casino Live. We are at Hustler Casino. Just eight beautiful miles from the beach. They're not beautiful, but it is eight miles. How long does it take you to, to get navigate those eight miles? Yeah. It depends what time of day. You guys have been traveling like for a year now together? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Like what's your, what's like the most memorable place so far out of all the places? I mean, we spent five months in uh, Phuket, in yeah, Thailand. Yeah, yeah, they told me about Thailand. It was really fucking no. nice. <laughs> yeah. I really liked it there. Yeah. yeah. Um, just a very relaxing lifestyle, you know, just riding scooters around and going to the beach. Mm -hmm. and it's It was very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, love that. So. It's a great place, Phuket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only bad thing is the time zone if you want to play poker there. It was like, yeah. 
That's like, out of what, 14, 15 hours ahead or something like that? Like for me that plays tournament, if I would play tournaments there, I would start playing at midnight and I would yeah. finish like 9 in the morning or something. Yeah, it's that's, horrible. That's, then that's you fucked, yeah. Like, yeah. It's not wrong. It is the worst time zone in the world to play online. But I only Thailand. Young, so like it's very, horrible. Very blurry memory. Yeah. I was trying to go there before 2020 the pandemic. Yeah. I was gonna go there and then it hit. But it's a cool place. Yeah. It's like very touristy it's in cool. a lot of parts, but it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can know uh, in the future like Thailand can gamble legally. Oh really? Yeah. They're, they're working on that now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. start from September. Is it heard about that? Also local or only tour? Only local like everybody. and online. Everybody. Is allowed, right? I think local doesn't allow. Oh, no, not, not, not locals. Only not locals. I think so. I see. So like Korea then, right? Yeah. Like Korea. Has anyone seen uh, the movie that just came out about the 13 people from the, the cave in far northern Thailand? Uh, it just came out on Amazon. Anyway, you should you should all watch it. The movie is fucking great. It's a documentary or a movie? Like there's both. So there's a Ron Howard movie that just came out on Amazon. Um, but the, after I watched the documentary, and they were both great. Highly recommend both. What's the premise of it? So it was like, I think in 2018, it was like uh, 13 people, all of them except their coach, like young boys, get trapped in this cave. For it's months, like, right? Yeah, for months. Uh, I, I'm not going to even say the number of days to not get everything away, but yeah, it's a while. It's a real sort of story, yeah, right? True story. Yeah, from like four years ago. Incredible, incredible movie, incredible story, all of it, yeah. Yeah, if you don't know about it, like, there was, it's even better. Is like, if you don't know. Ray D attacking no, it's a Hollywood movie, Dead Money. But there's also a and strong bet there yes. from Ray D. Takes it down. Probably, yeah, unless, like, you love documentaries, yeah, yeah. but, yeah. That was a dumb question, of course, the Hollywood I thought, yeah, I thought the movie stayed very true to the source material, yeah. Is this, is that the one that, uh... Nice hand to do it with as well. Kind of wound up he got involved, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. The movie stars, uh, Colin Farrell, Joe Edgerton, who else? Someone, some other A-list actor I'm forgetting, but... Colin Farrell, man, that... Okay, it's very interesting. Colin Farrell. Why do you say that? It's on a comeback. Man. Just makes a ton of different, does, does a ton of like various yeah. roles that, yeah. you know, just blows my mind. Get a raise here yeah. from Stanley yeah. Hank with the three, yeah. with the uh, three bet coming yeah. with Ace King. And there it is, four thousand dollars. brady has got a pretty hand, but facing a three bet, he's going to let it go. Wasn't the twist at the end like there was no shooter? What was that? Or there was one? Hey, hey, spoilers. I, I totally forgot. Okay. Sorry. I forgot the ending, but it was. Stanley lets it go. Hank shows him. I don't want to give it And then we do not get a flop. I'll just give away, uh, this doesn't give away, like, the voice on the other end the whole time talking to him is Kiefer Sutherland. And he just fucking so killed Espen it. adding on 15k, like, topping like, up to like, 40. Uh, 24. Kiefer yeah. 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 And his dad, yeah. you never see him? You never see him, no. The voice on the other yeah, you just hear his voice the whole time, it's great. I love it, like, it's so cool when they can, a director can, or a writer, or whatever, can take a premise like that. Like, we're just gonna film a guy on the phone booth the entire time. Yeah, and it's gonna be a great movie. Yeah, 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 exactly. Have you guys seen wow. There's Perfect others timing. that have followed suit that are great. Perfect uh, timing to add on 15K. That was the one I was gonna think about. That movie was sick, also. So yeah. Oh my god, how claustrophobic. How was it go? I always it's had claustrophobia, it got way worse after that. Good movie. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So they're playing 100, 200, 400, effectively. Last spin with the raise, 10 high flop, 10, 8, 6, two hearts. Ruskay with a pair of sixes. Last spin with the over pair. Yeah, it does have the ace of hearts for dessert. Ruske's been in the mix he has. quite consistently, right? Like he's out here battling. He, I think he enjoys the battle. He really does. From uh, you know what he says and, and 
his mannerisms. You can kind of tell that he really does enjoy the battle. So Espen checks back the flop, decides to put a delayed C-bet out there. Bet 1,700, Ruske makes the call. Aces are still good here. Somewhat scary board. 5,900 in there. Yeah, Ruske gonna take his showdown, understandably. Or at least try to. So Aspen proceeds. Yeah, he does check it back. And aces are good here. Now you're someone that has played on both sides of the pond, right? Like, what is one of your biggest adjustments when playing over here in the States compared to, to Europe? Like, what would you be, be doing differently? It depends what part of Europe. Yeah. I mean, Italy is very different than the UK. True. Which is very different than Germany. Yeah. Because, um, like, I'm assuming no one at home or any of these other players is, like, checking aces on that board on, like, 1086 in, like, a cash game. Keeping this going. Oh, okay. Just straddle. I have jobs. I wouldn't think that the aces are being checked back very often on that board, nah. but especially against a, you know, basically a big blind, it was the, it was the straddle um, defense. But I don't think it's, like, completely unreasonable to think that a player would have that in their range. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Not going to see anything here. I don't think it's crazy. But, yeah, I mean, it kind of depends, you know, where you are in Europe and what's going on. You know, if you're in Barcelona and there's a huge poker tournament going on at the time, Cash games are going to play in a, in a particular way, right? You know, but if you're in the UK, there's no tournament going on. Obviously, the game's going to be different again. The fastest way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, like how deep you can buy in in America. Yeah, I mean, Big live poker is interesting in, in the Europe because you can play online. Mm. So the people playing live, it's, like, it's a choice that they have made to kind of yeah. get up, put clothes on. And go to a casino yeah. where they don't have to. Definitely. The faster it goes, the so that's always it interesting. Proceeds, the better it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's why everybody just tries to play as fast as they can, do the collection as fast as they can, yeah, yeah. Like keep it. the cards going, you know. It's an unspoken agreement. Yeah. Everybody plays. We all kind of just like, yeah, try, try. To it's also that. much, much better for the viewing audience as well. Because yeah. we used to not have any time shifts, and the, it would just like kill the stream sometimes, you know. Like yeah, the guys yeah, thinking yeah. for like three minutes, and then people just turn it off, and it's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrett yeah. three betting here with queen seven suited. Fang on the button with king queen. Ruske behind him with king eight. And this is just a matter of Garrett attacking a late position open, some dead money in the small blind. And Fang, understanding that, makes the call with king queen. So we've got nearly 15,000 in there. Heads up, Garrett is dominated. Oh boy. Yeah. And that is a troublesome flop for the man in black that we're looking at here. He has flopped. A straight draw. Fang has got the absolute stones here. Unfortunately for Garrett, I mean, given the low SPR, when he goes bet call, he's most likely just going to be shutting down on a lot of turn cards, especially on the two Broadway type flops. Garrett bets about half pot here, a little bit less. What are you doing in Fang Shoes, Tech? I assume you're just calling, right? Yeah. I mean. Less than pot behind. Yeah, that's what you're referencing. SPR, for those of you who are new, that is a stack to pot ratio. Sometimes, more often than not, when we're playing these 300, 400 big blind stacks, it's uh, not even something you have to think about. But if somebody does buy in short or the pots get really large, that can be a huge factor. And there you go. Holland. I don't know about that. Just going to double check. 
Make sure you got the nuts. Announces all in. And Garrett drawing dead to a king for a chop. There's been a uh, rough start for G-Man Poker. No pair. Yeah, lost the ace king, the ace king. Yeah, and then you can see his eyes just kind of roll. Like, uh, I was trying to bluff the nuts. So that's not going to work. 25 exactly. Yeah. That's it. And Fang with double up. He's now got nearly 80,000 in front of him. Oh, DQ, thank you so much, buddy. Oh, says, can't wait to get Espen on Max Payne Monday. That's right, Mondays. No, 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 I don't want you. If you don't like players running it more than once, if you like slow rolls, if you like needles, join us on Monday for Max Payne Monday. I'm going to start playing on that show a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to start firing. It looks like too much fun. I can't ignore it. It does. I, I was saying to, to Ryan and some of the crew before we went live, uh, the community just giving so much positive feedback on that show, and it's, it's evident to see why. Cumulative winning, sponsored by the Nick Fertucci Show. That's right. Nick Fertucci's got a podcast. It's coming I saw, out, yeah. I think, on Monday. It's 15th, his first one. 15th of August. Yep, that'll be on Monday. Take a look there. Garrett, our uh, our big loser so far. He's down $88,700. Hank, our big winner. Fang also up pretty good. And the... Uh, the two-time bracelet winner, the WSOP main event champ, is down about $9,200. Yeah, DGAF, Kyle Poker, Raver. Uh, Kyle has done a good, amazing job kind of building that Max Payne Monday show, and it's a lot of fun. I, I watch it. I've commentated on it a couple of times, but mm. I, uh, it's too much fun. i got to jump in there. Yeah, I might be in on Monday. We're going to get more action here. Ruske with the flush draw. King high flush draw. Garrett with ace king, and he's flopped an ace. Oh, boy. Again, a three-bet pot. There's a bet. There's a call. Garrett still very much in the lead. Bruce looking for a spade. Bruce has got 57,800 behind. I was about to ask you what your sizing would be in this spot. Garrett decides to go 16,000, so 16 into 24. Yeah, Garrett's setting up a very natural river jam around like 0.66. Typically. So 66% of the pot? Yeah, two thirds. Garish, so, so fascinating to just watch his adjustments and just how on point he is with a lot of his uh, sizings and, and pre flop selection. He is, uh, as you mentioned, he's been battling, called the flop, and uh, just didn't realize, didn't think he had the price to call for that river, so he lets it go. Garrett added on 200,000, so he is in this game for a half a million now. I just want to be like more productive and healthy. You know? You just started, you said? Yeah, yeah, kind oh, of. Yeah. So like a, only, a, only a week or so into it. A couple of weeks, I guess. Okay, okay. But I typically don't drink much anyways. Like, I rarely drink, but... Yeah. I want to straddle. Yeah. How about you? How long is it in for you? Six months. Oh, shit, me too. Wow. Just, just, hit, just hit about six months, yeah. 1,200. No, not a drop. Uh, yeah, a big improvement in my life. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, sleep, sleep and stuff, mm -hmm. too. Everything. Everything. A to Energy. A to Energy. That is amazing to hear that Ray D has not had a drop of alcohol in six months because the only time I've spent with Ray D was drinking beer. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Lots of beer. He drinks. I mean, well, he used to. I got to talk to him about that. Yeah. They're discussing our prop bet that Espen and I have. What is your prop bet? Uh, Espen's not allowed to drink alcohol for the rest of the year. 15K a piece. Was this a, are you betting it too? You're not allowed to drink alcohol either? Uh, I don't drink in general, so my my side of the coin is, is different. Did he make this bet after the main event? Yeah. 
Yeah, because he was partying pretty hard after the main, and he just wasn't happy with his like health and wasn't sleeping very well and was like hung over for like a week and whatnot. So I was like, okay, well, let's just do a no drinking proper. I probably need something like that. Yeah? I had three margaritas last night, nice. a beer, two shots of Jameson, Ooh. and a gummy. Wow, so you mix. It was a good night. That sounds fun, like a fun sounds, night. Sounds like the type of night where you wake up and you're sitting in a gutter with like sunburn. Nah. Nah? In my bed. I love whiskey and beer and wine. I love the taste of it, but yeah. For me, it's the social part of it that I love the most. I love the bonding of alcohol and just like, I don't know, just the whole culture of it, you know? Going to like, um, like wineries and going to like, you know, all that is gone now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, beer sampling, all that stuff. I love all that, so it's just, it's tough. Yeah, it's definitely it's tough. tough. It's likely, depending on how, like, I know it's six months in, depending on how it goes. Um, I unintentionally, but went from drinking a fair amount to just almost never. Okay. Um, and it got to the point where I can still like go out and have fun. It was probably like once a month. Once every, it, it just depends. Yeah. But um, where you can do it in isolation like that, and you don't. Again, we get a situation where a ten hits top pair against an over pair. Ray D. Backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight possibilities, and top pair. He's not going to go anywhere just yet, that's for sure. Wow, and Ray D is going to raise. Ray is a hell of a poker player, not really your conventional no limit hold'em player as he comes from a mixed game background. Yeah. There's a lot of mix, mixed game specialists here in LA. Some of the best in the world, actually. Yeah, no doubt about that. This is interesting, because Ray is out of position with a hand that I think most players are probably really happy to call with. I don't, I don't hate check raising here. Like, you fold out some hands you want to get some protection against. You have plenty of equity against over pairs. What do you do on the turn when you get called, though? Uh, probably continuing for small, especially on this turn. It's just a ball texture where Fang shouldn't really be doing much raising. Mm. Looks like it's going around two thirds. Yeah, he's actually betting it pretty large, as you mentioned. 5,500. Pot now 14.8. Uh, yeah. Dealer asking Ray to just put his 20k stack in front. Pretty grim spot for Fang. Check raise flop. Big barrel on the turn and just lets the Kings go. Take a bow, Ray D. Wow. I don't think Ray D thought he was bluffing there. And I'm surprised Fang didn't take one more off. The old value bluff. Yeah. Love that. I've been leveled by that myself in the PLO streets here many times. People just betting like 10 high flushes into five opponents. I've got the king high flush. I'm like, okay, well, my hand is just never any good here, surely. We'll get a dealer change. I really like dude, but I'm just telling you. I mean, over, under on a marriage, not cool. Not cool. Out of line. Is that yours? It will be. It's not just the dollar. It's your ticket to a million dollar tournament. Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT47. That's right, one dollar gets you into a one million dollar tournament. Get your piece. We want to thank WPT Global for their sponsorship. JRB, what a character in the poker world. I'm going to go on a limb and say that he has not stopped drinking. Yeah. That uh, wouldn't surprise me. I'm going to take that bet. i got a lot of love for, for JLB. And also for WPT Global, by the way. I mean, these guys, just the last, what, six months or so, they're making some big moves. Yeah. Brad Owen, of course. Andrew Nimi. JRB. And obviously, uh, Tony Dunst, just a uh, uh, great ambassador for the game, great poker player, just a good, good guy all around. I'm on a roll. That's two in a row, right? Yeah. Congrats. 
So the non-drinking thing, was this just a health thing? Was it a choice as you got older? For me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Just just many, you know, um, nights out that I re- ended up regretting. And right. Okay. Yeah. So you have, this was, an, it's not something from childhood. You, you, you have experienced the alcohol. And then yeah, you said, no, definitely, definitely more. experienced it. Um, right. But yeah, for me, it would just always end up either in the back of a police car or like getting in fights in clubs, just just very reckless from like 18 to 21, 22. Okay, fair enough. Now I'm similar to you, you know. Aces for Espen. The old gummies. Ruske, the original Razor. Don't know what he has. We'll get a peek at that in a second. In fairness, last night was not a normal Thursday night for me. No? Good, good friend of mine. It was his 40th birthday party. So it, we went out and we enjoyed. Sounded like it was just a typical night out with David Tuckman. No, a typical night's like, you know, I'm just normally just beer. Like, I'll have like three or four beers. What are you doing tomorrow? Beers. No, I'm, t- I'm down. Down to, to be shown around town by you. We got a... Three bet here from Espin and a call. Do you know what Ruske has? This is kind of fun. Let's play Espin's hand as if we had the aces. Three bet pot. How much do we like this hand if you're uh, in Espin's spot? You're not loving life. That's for sure. This board, board texture, obviously unblocking all of the two pairs. Interesting that Espin checked back his aces last time. This time he does fire. He bets 2,500 into 93. There's gate calls, okay. <laughs> Nine of spades. Husband's aces looking worse and worse. I mean, at this point, it's really hard to imagine that aces are good, right? It's pretty tough for aces to be good on this board. That's, hey. that's right. PLO, though, look, he's got the uh, ace of diamonds and the ace of spades. Yeah. So we're two and a half X pot jamming if the diamond rolls off, right? Right, of course. Of course. Oh, okay. We're now bluffing with our aces, gangster. So Espen bets 10,000. He's effectively turning aces into a bluff here. Yeah, I'm curious to see if he triples. If Suke calls, it's going to be 34 in the middle, 28 behind. I mean, he's the three better, so he's the one who's going to theoretically have aces, ace king in his range. For sure. Yeah, ace king, kings. I don't think he's betting this size with, with sets. Or ace queen. Unless it's specifically his Queen of Spades, but even still, I think. Just shuts down. And Ruske is going to raise here to 25,000. And a quick fold from Espen. Maybe Espen got lucky there, in that sense, that the turn was the nine? Maybe. Certainly possible. Yeah, Ace King Pre. That's what I was gonna say. Like, wow. Maybe he just saved himself 40k. You're from Seattle, you said? Yeah. Oh, nice. So you also you also flew in for yeah. Yeah. like check call flop, check raise turn. He's never doing that with just King Queen, right? I don't Jack. think so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. He's not that deep, so the only thought would be, you know, it's going in anyway. But I, yeah. I wouldn't imagine that he would do that for value with just a king. Yeah. Nonetheless, though, Espin takes a little bit of a hit. Yeah, that's he's 20K. In the game, yeah, he's in the game for 55,000 now, I believe. Once again, Henry Kilbane came all the way from Europe to do commentary for us here. I am David Tuckman, and you are, well, whoever you are. Thank you for joining us on this Friday <laughs> night. The big game, playing 100, 200, 400. With a $200 big blind ante, we will be here for the next five hours. Take a look at our Nick Vertucci show winnings. Hank up 53000 Garrett down 76000 Espen down 27000 Ray D up 6700 Let's go, Hank. 
Uh, that was the ace king versus ace king, four spades later. Love the, the white suit. Gotta respect it. I want to thank all of you for joining us. I see you guys in the chat. Sorry about that. I don't, did anybody see any of the stars? All right. That's yeah, the they went kind of high. Can I turn over the other one? I don't care. I'm over I it. See it. Okay. okay. Andy would tell me. I did not see it. I okay, cool. It. Let's go to five. That's one club. Three players. I know what it wasn't, though. It wasn't a exact club. So Get a raise here from Garrett under the gun with Ace Deuce. <laughs> and he flops a flush draw. Right. I could have sworn I saw two clubs out there. Maybe I read the yeah, board wrong. Yeah, no, no, you're right. I was, okay. So yeah. the graphic is wrong. <laughs> I believe it's queen seven three, two clubs. Okay, so we've got uh, flush draw versus flush draw here. Neither player with a pair. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, there it is. Queen seven three, eight of diamonds. And wow, what a turn for Ruske, who has now got a open-ended straight draw to go along with the flush draw. Little does he know that his flush draw is no good. Yeah, it's a really weird spot for Garrett, given how deep they are. It's like, 10, some worlds you want to just check and realize your equity. But given that, they're still 200 bigs effective. Like, Suke should never really raise on this ball texture. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got the hand he might want to do it with. He's facing a $10,000 bet. Uh, he folded the straight, the flush draw earlier on. I don't think he's folding this one. Does make the call. A club will be expensive for him. He's looking for a five or a 10. A nine or a six will do as well. I know what card we're looking for from an entertainment point of view. Oh, wow. Well, that's not it. Well, it is uh, not the card Garrett wanted, maybe not the card you wanted, but it is certainly the card that gentleman wanted right there. As he makes runner, runner straight, avoiding what could have been an absolute bludgeoning. I mean, this could have been really ugly for Ruske, and instead, it is just uh, absolutely brilliant for him. And now he's going to lead out. And Garrett can only smile and let it go. <laughs> Good time, yeah. And you've been playing poker for a long time, Henry. Is this the point where Garrett realizes, I'm not running very well tonight? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, you, get, you get shown the hand as well. Right, and He's, he realizes, wow, well, if a club comes off, I get it all. Literally, yeah, yeah. He lost ace-king versus ace-king. He lost that one. And while he was dominated with the king-queen, his opponent had to flop that against his queen-seven when he three-bet. Hey, those of you in the chat, who's going to be our big winner? Who's going to be our, uh, our biggest loser today? Let us know. Give us, uh, give us, let us know who do you think is going to be the biggest winner tonight and how much, and who's going to be the biggest loser tonight and how much are they going to lose? Uh, it, we are just an hour into our show, so the fireworks have just begun. Yeah, I'm rooting for my man, Hank. Just have to respect. The white? You just have to respect a man that shows up in, in a suit to play some high-stakes poker. I respect the set. Garrett with a set of sevens. He might get some of this back right now. Ruske with top pair. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. multi -way. Checks through. Andy picks up a flush draw. So Andy with the nut flush draw. Garrett with a set of sevens. Ruske with top pair. Garrett checks it. Behave, Stanley. Okay. And Andy checks it. Oh! Wow. <laughs> it, is, it is just... Wow, maybe it is not your night. <laughs> now Ruske is like, well, I guess my queen is good. Yeah, I got yeah. two oh. pair. I'm going to bet for value, right? I mean, it's checked through twice. Yeah, Queen of Hearts blocker as well. I mean, it's Top amazing. You look at the bottom left corner of your screen. You look at the cards. You look at the board. And you think, wait, no money has gone in on the flop or the turn. Garrett just calls. Now the question is, how much does Andy raise to and does he get paid off? I like 5x here, something like 20k, 24k. 
Now, Andy, check back the turn, though. 24,000. <laughs> 24,000. I mean, you kind of wonder how big this pot could have gotten had Andy actually bet the turn. Now, just a reminder, no money went in on the flop or the turn. This one checked through. Yeah, they're going to use these time cards. Players have 30 seconds stacked on their hands. Try to keep this game going. Yeah, it's an interesting one to reverse engineer. You know, how many offsuit ASEX does Andy actually have on the button? Not many, um, if any at all. We'd have to specifically be looking at something like Ace Jack O with the Ace of Hearts, which just doesn't really need to turn itself into a bluff. Then the question I'll ask you after that is, how many times is he checking back the nut flush draw on the turn? Four ways, I think. Or close to 100% of the time. Okay. Especially on that turn card where, you know, he just never really has 8-5 or many hands that check flop and want a bet turn. Unless it's specifically pocket fours. Grim for, for Asuka though with the Queen of Hearts, but I think he's definitely good enough to get away from it. Just given the way the hand's played out. He's going to use more of those time chips. He's really thinking about this one. And, uh, it looks like Garrett's already made up his mind, but maybe it depends on what Ruske does. Yeah, snap relinquish from, from Garrett, one would assume. Uh, what is what is Andy's like worst value raise here? Like good fold. That is a good fold. Ruske lets the fold. Queen Jack go and now it is Garrett's turn. That hasn't been a great start. I've <laughs> 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 had a great start today. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaning towards just paying this guy off, too. Fuck it, you know. I don't know. Okay. What's your name again, Seat Nine? Ten tickets. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, th I gotta think about it for a second. Uh, but <laughs> thankfully, I used this young man's time to think about how I was probably gonna donate another 20 to this one. I think I gotta give him this money. I can't imagine not giving him this money or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I cannot. Yeah. Think about it here, I guess, for a little longer. What do I do? What do I do? towards cool. Yeah, he does eventually make the call and he sees the bad news. <laughs> Garrett's uh, horrendous start to his Friday evening continues. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Thanks. That's it. Kind of a nothing pot. Turns into a pretty big one when it was all said and done. 
Yeah, that's arguably the most exciting river in the deck. Pinged off there by Sammy, the dealer. Yeah, the Jack of Hearts. You give one player yeah. two pair, another player the set, and... Queen Jack, Queen, Queen Jack and Queen Heart. Yeah, Ruske's got to feel good about himself. Oh, a hundred percent. You see that, and you you're free rolling 20k for the rest of the evening. Solid fold. What made that hand really interesting is the fact that no money went in on the flop or the turn. Jr. picking up Ace King in the hijack. It's going to make it 1,200. Again, they're playing 100, 200, 400. So that's a three times 3x big blind raise, basically. Stanley defending. And we get a jack high flop. Two spades out there. Stanley with a gut shot. Does have the queen of spades. JR's got the ace of spades. Absolute treat to kind of step into Garrett's shoes there and hear some of his thought process behind his decision making. That's what makes Garrett somebody everybody wants to watch. I mean, not only is he a great poker player, but he puts himself out there. You know, he's uh, happy to talk, not quiet at all. He has mm. conversation and then he'll uh, kind of let us into how he's thinking, which a lot of good players just don't do. Stanley does hit the gutter. And see if JR is a little curious with Ace King. Yeah, not, not low river for JR, obviously. Everything, absolutely everything getting there. 10, 9, 9, 7, 10, 7, queen 10, queen 9. Now the only saving grace, he's going to eventually let it go. A lot of those nines might not bet for value. But yeah. yeah, that's true. Having the ace of spades makes it a lot easier as well. Some of the, the cheap bluffs that Stanley would want to get through with maybe something like ace 4, ace deuce of spades. Also that call from G-Man. Just uh, a sign of respect, if if anything, to Andy as well. Just giving Andy enough credit to, to have bluffs in that spot. Um, be very interested, you know, if that hand was against me or you. Uh, but that hand's, that, that, if that, that hand's against like me, fold. you need to, you need to uh, somebody take me away from the table. <laughs> and be like, Tuckman, what the hell are you in this game for? <laughs> Get away. Go away from the game. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us there. Sean McFarland, George W. Bush Center for Intelligence, Master of Null, Brian McDermott, Jason Myers, Ernesto. Thank you for joining us on our Friday evening Hustle Casino Live. We'll be here until 11 p.m. local time. Ray D. raising it up with the suited ace. Hits an ace. Does not get any of his suit. Henry Kilbane, David Tuckman calling the action tonight. And yes... Our 2022 main event champion is there as well, just on the right side of your screen. Yeah, somewhat lucky to only be down 26K instead of 60K. Mm, that's been... Uh, ace is ace king hand earlier. Mm, that's been down 26,800. Garrett down 114,300. Once again, the Nick Bertucci Show... Uh, First episode, Monday, August 15th. Fang, Andy up 28,300. Yeah, he had a rough, rough night last, uh, rough, uh, rough night last week on the I show. I saw, yeah. I was, uh, I was lurking. And I was not here last week to celebrate our one-year anniversary, but I want to uh, congratulate our crew, I want to congratulate Ryan Feldman, Nick Fertucci, Sean Yapel, and everybody that makes this uh, the best live stream out there. Really proud to be a part of it. So happy one-year anniversary. Three bet here from Garrett with King Jack. Yeah, huge congrats to the team on that, by the way. So I was on the business side. 
the fact that you just get five figure viewership across the board almost every time you go live it's just the uh, goes to show how much the community actually appreciate this kind of content and production and it's something for for other well, people to take note from as well. Yeah, that poker's not dead. I mean, it's there's an appetite dead. out there for 100%. people to watch poker if it's yeah, my, done well. My wife yeah, 100%. Uh, Couldn't agree more. Little triangle there, yeah. Casey, St. Louis, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think the most important thing that, that you guys have done here that I've kind of just been observing from the sidelines is uh, the way you've built a community around this product. So not just having players, but also just having merchandise, uh, you know, getting the community involved on social media, doing these giveaways, commentary, etc., etc. I think it's something that a lot of companies seem to overlook. Milwaukee is a cool city. I've been there a long time. King High Flop here, two diamonds. Yeah, yeah. I have a three problem. It's a great place for sure. Yeah, Monday has become that as well. I mean, obviously, there's a community and all these nights, but you kind of, the players come, the players go, but they, there is kind of a, a family feel about it. Um, and if you haven't, if you have not uh, joined us on a Monday, Max Payne Monday is, uh, uh, that kind of personified. He's 35, yeah. He's 35. He sleeps five hours a night, and it looks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like what? Really fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Five hours a night and five in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And he drinks every night too, probably. <laughs> he drinks his nights at parties. So, that's been somewhat jealous of of Hank. Hank, 35 years of age, only sleeps five hours a night and looks as good as he does. Bit of a bromance. In fairness, I mean, I think you share that with him. You, you and Espen might fight over Hank later on. Hank is. Uh, Need to hit him up. Well, this is interesting here. So we don't know what Hank has. JR's got queens. So this is kind of a fun spot here. Garrett opens in a hijack with a six of diamonds. Hank three bets on the button. JR just calls. Garrett calls. Queen high flop. So I don't care what Hank has. JR's got the best hand. That much we know. Dangerous board as well, because it's a board that Hank should be C-betting on quite a quite high frequency. Yeah, he's a little bit wary of what JR might have. And JR still not going to bet. He's got queens full. Does Hank put the delayed C-bet out here? No, he's going to check it one more time. Yeah, it just has ace-king. And JR for trying to figure out, how do I get paid? He flops the world. He's got top full house here. And he does get a little bit of action. Actually, a pretty big bet there, 9,000 into 12. Let's see if we, uh, what do we think Hank has here? Oh. Jacks? <laughs> I mean... He snap called as well. Yeah, he snap called. Like, I mean, I can't imagine it's Ace King if he snap calls. So no. Also, doesn't feel like Jack snap called in that spot. It's just hard to imagine he's got a. I mean, did he really play? Wow, he played Kings that way. Wow. He checked Kings back twice, and then just paid off. Okay. Well. I just didn't think. I I, I didn't put. I I did not give him the over pair. Oh. <laughs> I'm losing a lot more than $9,000 in that, oh, in that hand. Well played, sir. Yeah, wow. Is there, do you guys use AI to read the cards? And he did that on just five hours sleep, by the way. Yeah, it did. It's impressive. <laughs> What's up, Carlo, the chat pro? Thanks for joining us here. 
Live Jake. poker streams wouldn't exist without chat pros, Tuck. No, I, listen, I, I often say, and I don't even, I'm not even, I'm not blowing smoke up any, anybody's ass. It's the truth is, I love the chat. I love the interaction. To yeah. me, these shows should be interactive. You know, obviously, when you get two commentators in the booth and there's table talk, um, you've got to pick and choose. No, I couldn't agree more. I think that's why streams like this have had the success that they do as well, because they just include everyone. I mean, I would tell you from a commentator's perspective, my job is a lot more fun when you know you can really kind of make the chat part of the show as well. Ace queen on this uh, king queen queen board. You sleep well. Ray D uh, not drawing dead though, looking for a six. <laughs> yeah, Ray keeping Hank honest for at least one. Most likely going to relinquish the sixes on the turn. <laughs> and Hank just thinking, you know, I'm glad this wasn't the flop last time round. As he would have lost $90,000. <laughs> but, but, but he said, oh, I want to sleep. <laughs> I can't go. Yeah. I'm boring. Yeah. Animal man, I love it. <laughs> wow. That's cool. yeah. Too come, I was here. <laughs> uh, is the happiest I was man playing the 2-5 over been. there myself. I also couldn't sleep. So <laughs> let's get some reps in for Friday. Luzuki, <laughs> just warming huh? up for this. How can we keep like, laughing every day? I'm so happy. Because I mean, it's like two hours. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 1,200. Mm. Yes, I don't know if you saw on Twitter, Garrett was giving uh, okay. Seki a lot of Everybody love for, for grinding. <laughs> 500 an hour until God knows yes, yes, what yes, hour. Yes, yes. I'm not a professional, just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, the game ticks different boxes for everyone, you know. But you imagine playing this, and then when this game this game breaks, yeah. you jump in a 2-5 game. That's, uh, that's insane. That's just purely competitive. And Who loves it more, right? Yeah, just has an absolute love for the game. For me, like, I just have to be playing, like, the highest stakes I can play um, in order for me to just find it, like... What's ready. the highest stakes you have played? Uh, 50, 100. Queens, once again here. Top set, 50, 100. Yeah. Did not go How much well. is on the table for that? I was actually heads up against a French businessman um, who I won't name. But I lost 80% of my net worth to him. 80% of your net worth? In wow. a single session, yeah. Ouch, you stuck a whole bottle of Bordeaux right up your yeah, ass, huh? It, it got pretty, pretty brutal, yeah. We were smoking uh, Marlboro Reds at 9 in the morning, you know. He was, Did uh, you lose 80% of your net worth in that one session? To him, yeah, yeah, yeah. In one session? In one session, yeah. Yeah, not, not my most... Uh, not the fondest of memories on that one. Garrett with a pair of fives. Fang betting 14,000 on this turn into 25. See if Garrett can suss this out. So you don't drink alcohol because you didn't like what it did to you. But you'll put 80% of your net worth on the line <laughs> in one session. It was interesting because I spoke with Espen about it literally <laughs> hours after I, I lost. Because he would normally just auto book, but it was like, it was like 2 a.m. Uh, in Europe when, when this guy wanted to play me. So I couldn't, I just couldn't like call people at 2 a.m. and be like, hey, do you want some of my action, you know? And it was a spot that I deemed worthy of taking. I mean, I'd hope so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for you and your game, but if you if it was um, a spot you did not deem worthy of taking and you lost 80% of your net worth, mm. that'd be really bad. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Learn a lot, though, like character building-wise. friend of mine is playing in a uh, cash game, private cash game in, uh, in the Chicago area tonight. And I've got a... Feel a little sweat? I got a little sweat. We'll see how it goes. It's a very, very good spot. So, we'll see how it plays out. Thank you for joining us here. Hustler Casino Live, David Tuckman, Henry Kilbane, Garrett, Andy Stacks, Espen, Ruske, Ray D. I mean, what a lineup here on a Friday night. Something like that, there's just not a lot of poker for me to play, what I like to play. 
Pair of queens for Stanley, pair of seven, I'm sorry, pair of queens for Ruske, pair of sevens for Stanley. Yeah, modern day cooler. Top pair against middle pair. A single raised pot. I play, no, I play mixed games. Oh, really? I've been wanting to learn more mixed games, actually. We play, and we play this in the mixed games, but it's a, you know, very shallow cast. It's like a 40 blind cast. Yeah, I love it. I think it's a lot of fun, but I'm really bad at all the games, so I don't spend too much time doing it. I'm really bad at this game. I'm here with you guys. <laughs> you guys should, you know, come and donate. We should, yeah. we should give back by I'm coming exactly. in. Exactly. <laughs> let you fleece us in the right thing games. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Running flush here for Stanley. 6,300 in there. By the way, it's Ray D talking to Espen. I've played, mixed, like, I've played never a cash game, but I've played three tournaments in my life or something. Those are, those are always like fun. Tournaments are, you know, I mean, I'm sure whatever you know better than I do. There's some things that are specific to tournaments which would apply to the mixed games, or it doesn't matter which, what, the, uh, what the game is. Yeah. Stanley bet the flop. Here he is going to bet the river, and why not? Mm, nice fold there from Ruske. Do you live in Vegas? Or? No, I live in Kansas City. Oh, I, I travel, I play maybe a couple months out of the year. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ray plays some of the biggest games out there. Actually, well known. Um, I've talked to people about this. One of the best, considered one of the best Raz players in the world. Plays heads up Raz for just ridiculous sticks. But the, you know, the last bastion of. Basically, just group over uh, is, uh, is, the, is the big game, and it's, it's open to anyone. Yeah. Just love how this game just draws characters from all over the world. I mean, look at this, you know. We're in L.A. Got people from all over playing high stakes hold'em. And you haven't even looked at your hand. <laughs> Ray just takes a couple of months out each year to just play some high stakes poker. I'm more interested in knowing what he does during... The other 10 months? Yeah, the other 10 months of the year. Like. He is uh, an incredibly interesting cat. Um, I said it earlier before you joined me. He is... His time with me in the commentary booth, top 10 in my entire life. Yeah? And I've done a lot of commentary. You have. He is... I, I commentated with him many, many years ago for the World Series of Poker. He came in with six beers for us at about 11 o'clock at night and commentated with me, and it was amazing. Sweating with Ruske again. I will tell you the one thing about Ray D, though. That was the first and only time he ever commentated with me. He's not allowed in the commentary booth because he's somewhat controversial. Like I said, he doesn't bite his tongue. I love it. Ooh, Stanley Forbetting here. Uh, Ruske was just kidding. Oops. No seven deuce. No seven deuce. No seven deuce. Uh, seven deuce? Never fold. Yeah, there's a couple of people that I've invited in that have made me blush in the booth, let's put it that way. Have the, the production managers texting you. David, get him out. No, hold on. No for you. You do know Royal Horse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day when I would cover the World Series of Poker, people would come in at 10, 11 o'clock at night, midnight, and drinking was permitted. It's obviously changed now. Are oh, you not allowed to now? No. Now it's kind of like back then. It was kind of like the wild, wild west. I thought it still was. Is that why you're here? The Wild West out here? Yeah, although Ryan doesn't let us drink in here. No, really? No. He's, he's, uh, he's a stern boss. Yeah? No. <laughs> Carrot three betting here with ace nine. Wait, what's Stanley dreaming of here with the five deuce? Oh, go on. Oh. You, you forgot you were in the hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ruske has got seven deuce. I don't, you don't think they're playing the seven deuce game, but maybe Ruske is. is. When you're thinking. I read it. And so no, I'm very good, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's good that there was a I think, I think I mean, we won a four bet here, right? You, and then like he shows it. You. Anyone else, I always it's know when they zone out, and I can be like, it's on you, and then they fold. 
<laughs> you look the exact same. Poker That's face. Poker face. Poker face. Poker face. Smiling, so. Poker face. Okay. <laughs> oh, you were sorry, certain sorry, he was sorry, also sorry, thinking, sorry, right? Sorry. I was certain you were <laughs> thinking. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you look the exact same when you're in and out of hands. That's nuts. I don't think it's anything. It's not good. It's not bad. I'm just blown away by that. It's good, though. I think it's nothing. I think it's indifferent. I don't think it helps you. <laughs> JB Grover in the chat says, Ruske is always playing a seven deuce game. By himself. Well, he's a seven deuce master. I thought I thought maybe he'd throw the four bet in there. I was he thought about it for sure. Always. Daydreaming. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Last spin with pocket sevens. And it uh, doesn't look like he's going to get any action. Well, maybe a little bit. All the time. <laughs> Hank's going to call with the queen seven. That's been sevens way ahead right now. Go on, Hank. Put him in the bin. It's an interesting call there from Hank. I mean, can you explain it to me? Or maybe our viewers? I mean, what's the, the check call with, with Queen 7 on a Jack 5 5 board? No backdoor anything, really. Um, I mean, he hit a Queen, but. Was he just floating from out of position to set up a bluff if he doesn't hit his queen? Maybe. Maybe not. I just think it's more like Espen bet less than 20% into the pot and Hank wants to see more cards. Right. I mean, I certainly understand that if there's a club out there, even one club. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, yeah. Your wife came with you to, to Irvine or? No. Your wife in China. Got you, got you. And also, you know, there's that added EV of bluffing the main event champ. Yeah, yeah, that is. You know, how, how, how many hands are you actually going to get to play against them? Nope. Ray D. Going to raise under, from under the gun, $1,200. So does Ray not play at all outside of like his two months that he sets for himself? I guess as he plays a little bit more than that, but. Okay. Oh wow, what's going on here? Actually back over to Fang, the original Razor, Ray D folded. And Ruske is going to get a little bit of action. Call there from Fang. Dominated. Pot's got $13,000 in there already. And oh, wow. lots of clubs. So, this ace king not going to work out nearly as well for Ruske. Just such a terrible flop for the ace king of hearts. Four, five, four, eight, five, eight. Big fan of this small sizing on the turn from Fang. He's demonstrating his understanding of what Rusuki's range that checks back on the flop looks like. I think it's very easy to fall into the trap of like, oh damn went check check flop now i have to bet big because i want to get the pot as big as possible by the river mm. so great understanding there shown from fang ggs oh, Ruske. for betting with the ace king of hearts and uh, loses nothing post flop and we continue kyle buck says ray d is from the generation of real men and when we lose one real man, and Sammy, Lauren is going to jump in the box. Oh, Veronica Brill being us. Hello? Hey, Veronica, Nick here. Hey, 
guess what? I got a great idea for a poker podcast and uh, like, a, like an offshoot of Hustler Casino Live type thing. Yeah, uh, Nick, yeah, Nick Bertucci. Yeah, you know, the poker show, Hustler Casino Live. My partner's Ryan Feldman. We got guys like Garrett playing on it. Okay, yeah, yeah, that guy. So what do you think? You, you interested in possibly discussing me and my co-host? Let's Holy do it. Shit. I think it's a good idea. Well, it looks like it'll be the Nick Bertucci show with Veronica Brill. <laughs> Nick and Veronica. That show starts on Monday, August 15th. Love me some Veronica Brill. Nick's okay, too. <laughs> Let's take a look at our, uh, our big winners here. Fang up $53,000 now. <laughs> so, speaking to Veronica literally moments before coming upstairs. <laughs> Excited to see what those two do. Another poker podcast to add to the list. Yeah, we need more. We need different styles, and I, I think uh, that's going to be very different to the generic poker <laughs> poker podcasts. Bruce Gay with trip deuces. Unfortunately for him, Stanley's got absolute bupkis. Nothing. Every hand was just really easy. Just won every hand. Didn't face one interesting or hard decision. <laughs> and then, like, you're like, oh, I think I got this this thing figured out. I'm pretty good at this thing. <laughs> you show up the next day, every fucking decision you make is terrible. Everything goes wrong. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. Humbling sometimes, yeah. Oh, endlessly humbling, yeah, for sure. Yeah. When you had the, the nut flush a minute ago, yeah. the moment you put the money in, I was like, he's bluffing this time. <laughs> I was like, instantly, it was like, he doesn't have it here. I was... That's what I felt yesterday when we played in the league with the 15. Yeah. Made it 4,000. Ooh, like, wow. 100% bluffing. Yeah. 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 Interesting river card for Stanley to... To continue bluffing on. Yeah, I was like hoping he folded. Like, because I'm like, ah, all right, this gives me a chance to hear a call. I didn't think I was, could beat his hand, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so Stanley does take the bait. That's 3,500. What's the play? I mean, do you, do you click it? Do you, uh, do you go big, hoping your opponent's actually got a king? <laughs> yeah, okay for the jokey <laughs> Oh, yeah, the ace. Hey! Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 such a fun game. I mean, you got to give Ryan Feldman a lot of credit for putting these lineups together. But uh, just uh, each and every day, I, whether I'm commentating on the shows, whether I'm watching them, they're just fun. We got in a lot of money before the river. It was like a big pop. It was like forget three, forget three, forget three. Ace king, I did. And I played like one big aces versus ace king, all in three for like two played with two tables left. Ace king, ace king. Two bit book. Yeah, because I talked to uh, John Sin, you know, and he was like, that that was like the oh, most man. incredible run he's ever had in his entire life of, of cards. Yeah. Like the run of cards, you know? He's like, yeah, yeah. every single day. It's like, yeah, that's what he was saying, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, no, I mean, it was the same. Like, I felt felt really lucky. Yeah. And it's so sick how that translates into your next sessions as well. Mm -hmm. Like, after the main, like whenever I was all in, like I played in Miami now, right? Okay. Uh, a few days ago, and 
Did I play anything before that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I played like one small online session. Okay. But every time I was all in, I felt I was gonna win. <laughs> like I just felt like okay. It's my um, time. Yeah, you just I was so used felt to it. winning all ins at that point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's the opposite when you're having like a bad streak. Like you always yeah. expect to lose. Like oh, here it comes again. Like sure. fucking. Like, yeah, you know. It's so sick how that works. <laughs> like how. Are, and I've been playing forever. You know, I've been playing since 2004. But still, my brain like doesn't <laughs> get it. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. like uh, oh, translate. Very interesting. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> First spin magic. Says Ruske is a crowd pleaser for sure. Snack Addict says Ruski, the good vibes person everyone pretends to be. <laughs> Way to Alpha, Ruski, just good vibes only. Sebastian coming in there as well said, I've only been watching the stream for a couple of weeks, but Ruske is my favorite player. I'm a big JR fan as well. Saw him lose aces against Kings. Was it last week and just just took it on the chin like an absolute champion for what was I think just shy of half a million dollar pot. And he also forced me to play today. Forced you to play? Yeah. I How big did you play? Uh, well, there's no PLO games running, so I had to wait for it. Like I created a list that everyone saw my name on it. And they're like, okay, yeah, let's play against this fish from out of town. Um, but he's like, he's like, what? You're just gonna sit around and like do no, nothing? I mean, you're here, you gotta play, yeah, right? He's like, get in the mix. LS Roshi, not much. All good, my man. Thank you so much for joining us here. Hustle Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. So we've got the Nick Bertucci show with Veronica Brill starting on Monday. We got Max Payne Monday. All sorts of goodness. Baker KC says Ruski, a fun guy to watch. Pretty good at poker as well. Ruski, did you see the, uh, the video clip that they made from our game last week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll I love you. Why? <laughs> last week, last week, yeah. He, uh, yeah, he passed. <laughs> you scared me. Uh, okay. so I did this off camera. Yeah. And the camera caught him. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> It was provoked, for sure provoked. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Always 420. Appreciate the love. Playing 100, 200, 400. Took about 12 minutes for this game to have a permanent straddle put on. It was the second Garrett lost Ace King to Ace King. Story checks out. And that might be the highlight of his night. <laughs> well, being able to put the uh, the 400 on. Just losing Ace King to Ace King. I mean, everything's going, nothing going his way tonight. But we still have you know, four and a half hours left. More than enough time to turn it around to these stakes. No doubt. Andy, three bets, 4,000. Sicko. Wow. This is a late position versus small blind. I love these kind of kind of leveling, a little bit of a meta game going on. I know you don't believe me. I know what you're up to. Big fan of the sizing as well. Let's go, Ray. Love that. Yeah, Ray's just a poker player, like, and he's he's very cognizant of what his image is. I think he understands that his four bets are probably going to get a little bit more respect than other players. Yeah, obviously, great hand selection for it as well. Oh yeah, I'm going to go there and play that. It's 
going to be interesting. It's my first time playing those big tournaments as well. Yeah, That's yeah. going to be cool. What, um, is it like the 50s or 100s? 200k is the biggest one. Oh, okay. Main event is 100k, and then it's like a 200k invitational. Got it. And some 25, 30, 50. It's going to be an ex expensive trip. Hey, Frederick. David Tuckman, Henry Kilbane calling the action. Ruski raising the 1200 in the big blind. Garrett in the straddle. Talk about late position open here. And then Garrett with the three bet. Ruski not going to go anywhere with King Jack. He makes the call. I can only ever go for a few days at a time. And this could be troublesome for Ruski. Fortunately for him, does not flop a king or a jack. Maybe he can get away from it. Thank you, Dana. I love you, too. I don't want to speak for Henry, but I assume he loves you. Is that Dana White? Uh, no. Ah, OK. Then, yeah, I, I do love Dana. Dana White. Yeah. kind of similar to early stage Yeah, I've heard people say that. Like, particularly for like the main or any big pool, any big player pool, it's a lot like cash early on. So a veteran such as yourself in this commentary booth. I'm sure I can navigate it, but I just nice way. That's a nice way of saying old. He just called me. He just called me an old motherfucker. He just straight out just said, "You are old." It's okay. It's cool, man. I get it. Uh, I mean, so <laughs> open to interpretation. Uh, what do you normally do for food, dude? We'll take care of you. Yeah. Sounds good. Right. I'm gonna peace out for a bit. You want a, an In-N-Out burger? Yeah. No. 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 I live here. Okay. You should get yourself an In-N-Out burger, though. Wait. What do you mean? What's it got to do with you living here? I mean, they're here. They're on the West Coast. Right. So I can get an In-N-Out burger whenever I whenever want. Whenever you want, yeah. It's not that big a deal for me. Okay. But you don't live here, so Fair. go get yourself an In-N-Out burger. <laughs> Thank you, Like, man. they're good. They are I good. just don't need one right now. Like, every time we come this this side of the world, it's just like... That's what I mean, right, yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. I live here, so I can have one all the time. It's kind of like uh, English roast dinners when you whenever you go to right. the UK. Uh, no. no. Yeah. After drinking what I drank last night, I kind of just want, like, a salad. Yeah. I got I to gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta tone it down a little bit. Anyway, go. Uh, I will. I'm just. I'm gonna sweat this five way. Five way action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's sweat the five way. Interesting play by here by Ray D. Not. Not three betting the queens. And he, uh, we're gonna see this one five ways, as you said. Like I actually did like. Nobody with anything. A Q and A on Instagram, and a lot of people were asking like, how's their dating life? Are you getting laid? No. Zero. No. It's good to know. Just like. That's been not getting laid. If you guys were wondering at home. A girl you can actually like make it no, work with? Or? Usually I'm pretty, I, I date when mm -hmm. I travel and stuff like that. It's just like, World Series was super all in. Mm -hmm. I was grinding every day, two months straight, basically. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, yeah, I was very much in um, work mode. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. Well, that's cool. I, like I read like a small thing, basically. The gist of what I read was like, some run bad and some bad investments and you were kind of in a tough spot before the main, is that a fair? Yeah, I mean, not a tough spot. I, I mean, I wasn't in a tough spot, but I lost a big chunk of my Yeah, I think that's like, nevertheless, that's like a, it's a sick little fairy tale story as a result <laughs> yeah, of it, yeah, yeah. so yeah. No, I, I had like a very good like, last couple of years. Mm. Like, if, if I go back like a few years, my net worth was like 200K maybe. Yeah. Um, and then, Half a year ago, my net worth was like 1.8 million or mm. something like that. And then crypto started tumbling and I lost like a million dollars in Luna. Mm. Oh, uh, man. oh man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I was on like 600K or whatever before WSOP. Got it. And then I had a good series now, so. Yeah. We're in a bit more of a comfortable spot again. Yeah. Uh, bit more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. A bit more comfortable. I mean, I had a lot of swaps in the main, but like still, yeah, like same. six million or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll try. I'll try not to go all in on Avalanche or Phantom or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there like a ton of pressure when you were like the big fit lead, you know, and some everything? Or did you, were you pretty much? Honestly, no. I didn't feel too much of that. Like, I was just trying to play poker. I wasn't really focusing on the stakes or the anything that's like, sorry. Yeah, I was just trying to play tournament poker. And that was it. Yeah. What's like, uh, let's say you could just be in one city only. 
uh, and you're like in, I don't know, let's just say it's like good but not incredible, right? Like games, whether it's tournament or cash or whatever. My question is like gonna be, it's purposely vague. Uh, how many hours would you play a week now? 45, right? Yeah, that's right, 4,500. Very hard to say, like, I yeah. mean, it's, like right now, I'm in a spot where I'm not incentivized to YOLO too much with my net worth. Because with this net worth, I'm like, I'm like kind of safe for the rest of my life, right? Yeah, if of I course. play my cards right. I think I'm phrasing my question poorly. I'm more curious, like, uh, like you're obviously like, uh, you know, different people define set for life, whatever. But either way, you're obviously very comfortable now. Yeah. Uh, so with that being said, like, how much do you enjoy poker? Like, what is, what is the ideal amount of hours you would, you would sort of play? Yeah. And I guess like. Yeah, I, I don't see myself like grinding like the mid high stakes tournament schedule online, for example. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. Probably yeah. play like most Sundays just to stay sharp and whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I do enjoy like yeah. playing a lot if I can play against good players and like test myself. Yeah. Like I think that's a lot of fun. Sure. Like yeah. so playing so big cash games. The table, you enjoy the game enough to still play a, a fair amount. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I don't. I don't see myself doing anything yeah, that's else. Cra that's crazy. If I had uh, like a $2 million net worth, like what you had before the World Series, there's no fucking way I would play as much as you did. Like, that's, that's <laughs> I had 600K before the World Series. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a little different. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you have played a full schedule with 2 million? Maybe? No. No, okay. I would yeah. play different stakes then. Because yeah. now I was playing the 1K, 2K, you 3K, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With 2 million in the bank, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. That shit is a grind, huh? I've never even done it, but I've just heard so many other people tell me about it that like... You don't play tournaments at all, you just play cash? Maybe once every three years I'll play the main <laughs> okay. yeah. I played this year. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I played this year. How do I shoot someone? Yeah, you're 2-2. Yeah, you're 2-2. I saw the registration on day two, I was like, nope. Not for me. Get a little bit of information about Espen there. Style, of course, like choosing your hours, you can like. Oh, to go. Yeah. It's like a different planet. It's like. Yeah, the. Nothing about it is similar. Yeah. I mean, you've you've already played a little bit of high roller stuff, I guess, since you since you won. Uh, I was in Florida now. I played like uh, yeah. some big stuff there. I mean, yeah. So this is maybe the most serious game we've ever had here. Maybe. Like, people are way quieter, people are trying really hard, and uh, honestly, the average skill level in this game compared to any other game is, like, very high, too. Mm. And even then, the environment is so much more laid back than that high roller tournament you played, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. there everyone is super yeah. serious. Normally, so this game is infinitely <laughs> softer and infinitely, like, uh, lighter. Okay. But the environment's still, like, fine here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Interesting. I mean, I played the, the, the World Series my first time playing the main. I was so nervous. Like, <laughs> like every hand, I was like, oh, this is it. Like, I, like, I'm actually so much more relaxed playing this thing. Just yeah. because if you bust, you're out. You're done. Until next year, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Garrett, speaking the truth, this game is definitely, from a skill standpoint, uh, one of the better collection yeah, of players because it's bigger than we've seen there's cameras so i don't want to make an ass out of myself yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's anyone that's anyone the first or few times they play on the camera i've always kind of assumed like tournament players take forever and try so hard pre-flop because the whole thing's so stupid. Like, the edges are so small that you have to desperately try to, like, find some sort of small edge pre and shit, too, you know? Or it's like, I, that's me giving them credit in a, in a very general sense, you know? Three bet from Andy with seven yeah. deuce. The, the next level, like, pre-flop game in the tournament level. Oh. Never, never done. Yeah, I mean, obviously so much more pre-flop play in general in tournaments and whatever. But, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Seven thousand? Six thousand. Six thousand. Usually made seventy-two hundred. 
I'm learning, I'm learning. Yes, learning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah, but master do 70. The master. You could do 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Oh, my. Ah, good hand. <laughs> Natural nine. <laughs> I'm going to do the 64. <laughs> okay. 1200 now. I want to thank you all for joining us here. Hustle Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. Friday, the big game. If you have just stumbled upon us, we're here Monday through Friday. All of our shows are available for free on our YouTube channel. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends about it. And uh, when you watch, give us a thumbs up. We do appreciate it, and it helps my sagging self-esteem. Yeah. Pair of jacks here for Ruski. JR open-ended. Yeah, I would say uh, I've been playing poker a really long time. The second half of my poker career like takes a backseat to many other things in my life. Yeah, so. I've probably played once or twice a week for like the last seven, ten years. Oh, great. Right. Right. So that makes sense, though. Like, and ne never travel to play. If you're able to play these stakes and you're winning, that makes a lot of sense, right? If you're not that money-driven, like, in that sense, yeah. it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking that, about that with a guy who was in this game on Wednesday, like... For me, like, enough or set for life or whatever, that's a much different number than most people. For most people, that number's probably way, way higher. Yeah. What's your number? Not the kind of thing, like, I respect and admire how open you are about, like, the financial things that you just discussed. I'm very, very private. You're private. That's very private. That's fair enough, like, Yeah. I wouldn't tell, like, my third closest friend, like, drunk at a bar like that. Is. <laughs> very private. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. I've always been like that, not with money only, but with everything. I'm very like transparent and yeah, just... yeah. I mean, it would make a lot of sense for me to be that way, given like what I win or lose on these fucking things. Unfortunately, is shown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but nevertheless, I still like I don't. Yeah, like my friends and family, they'll occasionally tell me they'll check to see how I did, but we we never discuss it. It's never like a conversation of any sort. Or wait. There's a little bit of the veil of close stream. And Always. Like, so people can't keep a total. Always. Oh yeah, that's count. the first thing. If anyone ever says congrats, like on a whatever day, like yeah. you know, family members or like non-poker players, yeah. I always go. It's not worth even saying that because you never know what happens yeah. when the cameras aren't on. How it yeah. is. <laughs> that's been gonna raise it up with Ace Queen. As always, when the players have good conversation, I'll do my best to lay out. Don't want to talk over them. I know you guys want to hear them. King high flop here, king five, four. Garrett defended out of the straddle. Those are our big two, biggest two losers at the table, by the way. You're allowed. <laughs> as long as you act uh, reasonably one. quickly, any amount you want at any time is just fine. Yeah. Uh, 2,200, my bad. Five. I want you to play quick with everyone else, but when you inhale good, just take as long as you do the whole, do the whole thing. That's what the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll be dying inside. Like, it won't, I won't play any worse, but I will be dying inside. And that's not for you. That's to anybody in any hand that I ever play for the rest of my life. If you're not going to play any worse, there's no point of, I, I don't want to hurt you. Like, I, I don't want you to be in pain. I just want you to play worse. Yeah, I know. That, that, that's why I always give that caveat. Like, yeah. I'd like to think I'm beyond it's, anyone else being able to decide when I play worse. But, but I'm screaming. Don't get me wrong. Anytime someone's taking a while, I'm screaming inside. Aspen's going to raise it up again. Last time he had ace queen, this time ace king. And does not get any action. One doesn't get a one doesn't bet. That's pretty good. It's good to be back. I've been uh, gone for most of the summer between the World Series of Poker, visiting family, and, uh, you know, just my wife's a school teacher, so it's the only time of year we can really travel as a family. Kind of nice to be back in L.A. Just got back on Monday night with no plans to travel. 
yeah. for the foreseeable uh, future, which is good. Nature stuff, especially. A lot of hiking, um, a lot of reading. It's kind of a boring way of answer, but yeah. yeah. I read everything. I'm the same. Party? Any party life? I used to a lot. These days, not much, no. It's yeah. like, I go with my wife to you know music shows. Like, we saw Odessa last night, you know, so. It's much more adult partying, if you will. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Andy raising Ruski with the aces. Here, what's the most interesting book you've read this last year? Well, so I talked about it on stream, but I'll just say it. It's, uh, it's I believe it's called uh, In Order to Live. Uh, it's Yumi Park. <laughs> it's about a uh, North Korean refugee oh, um, <laughs> who gets human trafficked yeah. through China for several years and eventually makes her escape via South Korea. Yeah, that book was incredible. Yeah, highly, highly recommended. I think it's called In Order to Live. It's Yumi Park. Yeah, incredible book. Yeah, it's it's uh, autobiography. How do you find Iceland? Iceland enjoy it? was incredible, yeah. Uh, yeah, again, Stanley and I were talking about it. Did you go to all the touristy? Did uh, you do, like, we the rented a car, we drove all around. Yeah, so whenever we, uh, my wife and I travel, especially in a place like that, we'll always rent a car and build our own itinerary. So uh, I'll raise to 12, so we did that for two weeks. Nice. It was a fucking incredible. Nice, that place is out of this world. Incredible food, you. incredible people. I yeah. wouldn't even know like where to where to start with how much I love that place. Garrett raising on the button, talking about uh, Iceland. Gets the rebet by Hank. Yeah, Does make the call. Top set here for Hank on a an extremely dry board. Garrett drawing dead. And now it's a jack. Hank's going to toss a little bit of money out there, see if he uh, can get paid. Garrett's getting a little bit over 3-1 to one to make this call. Hit his jack, but not sure he likes it. Shit. So I tell you my, uh, my boring story about why I wasn't here for the last month or so between World Series. But good news is I am back. So for those of you who like me, I'm going to be here. Most weeks, twice a week. And he is going to get paid off. <laughs> For those of you who don't like me, good news is there are three other nights of Hustle Casino Live where I'm not commentating. So, good news for everybody. And the man in white continues. You think uh, you could go to Norway for two, like for me, two weeks? Or is that too long? Um, I think it's good. Good. Yeah. Depends what, like, kind of depends what you want to do. Like, I, if I would recommend someone to go to Norway, I would say don't go to Oslo or any of this. Yeah, we never really do. Yeah. There are like some mountain stuff down south as well, but up north is where it's, in my opinion, probably most beautiful. Uh huh. And do you drive there from Oslo or? It's a long country. That's going to take you a while. Two flights is better. I, I would fly up north and yeah. then, yeah. If you consider it ever, like, let me know and I'll, yeah. I'll help you out. Like, sure, finding. Yeah. We will soon, so yeah. Okay. It's, nice. it's right up there. Yeah, I'll let you know. Thanks. Get a raise here from Fang. Whoa, hello. Woo. Hank bringing the hammer. The hand after he has kings. Now he's four betting Garrett, and Garrett had a real hand. Garrett three bet with uh, tens. Hank with jack ten suited. Gloves are off. Garrett calls. Now, interestingly enough, Hank only has 81,000 behind. This is where it gets interesting.
Garrett's certainly ahead of Hank. We can see that. We're not blind. But what is Hank representing here? And he bets a lot. Wow. Do you have seven big chips left? Eight? Yes. Almost seven. I can't see. Can you maybe just split them? You don't have to say anything. I just... I don't know. Did you see, Lauren? Eight. 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 Thanks. Ten seconds. Garrett's got to imagine that if he calls this, Hank's going to move all in on the turn. What does Garrett do here with tens? This is not easy. Interesting spot. Poker a lot easier when you can see the cards. That's for sure. Just a reminder, Hank, four bet pre-flop to $20,000 and then bet 25 into 42. He's got 56,000 behind. And Garrett is gonna fold. Oh, Hank, show him. He's not gonna show. And Garrett's nightmare just continues. He is now down $149,000. Now, there you go. Garrett down $148,700. Espen down $30,000. Hank, our big winner right now, up $73,000. These stats brought to you by the Nick Fertucci Show. That's right. <laughs> Nick and Veronica Brill have a new show coming out on Mondays. I said you're welcome. My heart is beating. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Is that how your heart beats? Ruski. Ruski, Ruski, Ruski. With the seven deuce. Which? Freeze court, freeze court, switch. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> beating. <laughs> freeze court, freeze. It's, it's uh, almost it's the uh, best prop you ever. I'll tell you, Ruske, just the contagious <laughs> smile. You gotta love him. Pair sevens. <laughs> One thousand. One thousand. Ah, very good for <laughs> Top hit. I do more content on like another Chinese platform. Okay. Yeah, because I'm kind of just marketed towards Chinese, China. Okay. Yeah. Is that Less Chinese YouTube or? Six, so you're gonna uh, yeah. Four, yeah. yeah. Four people yeah. follow your plays. So Mostly, yeah, from China. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Chinese YouTube? Yeah, it's like okay. a Chinese YouTube. Right, exactly. Right. Yeah. It's hard because like poker is like not legal, so it's like right. it's yes. like a really great area. It's really hard to promote the game in China. You know, like they'll. There'll be periods of time where you can't upload anything. Anything poker related, they'll just like remove, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like US, like we're, it's a lot, it's a lot um, more lenient. Yeah, it's, it's tough, it's mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. Hank raising in the cutoff. Create, King uh, Jack off. Ray D picks up a seven. And it looks like he is going to three bet this from the small blinds, and he does. And JR has picked up ace king. Uh, I'll chop the social media platform or like, like, like uh, no, like um, more like social media. I think uh, like the training stuff that the, the stuff that um my partner was talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So he's like trying to join the one. Oh, I'm sorry. Similar, yeah, but not um free. Basically. Jr. Just calling. Uh, Hank realizing his king jack not going to do very well against his opponent's ranges. He lets the king jack off go. 
And look at this, Ray D. Out flops JR. I think, I forget where, but I think there's like people that will like re replay the stream, but like in Chinese, like yeah. do like translation. I've only seen uh, like this this stream in like commentators in Chinese, but I've never seen like someone actually do English translation. Oh like, yeah, I, I don't think they translate the table talk. It's just yeah. the, Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. Like, yeah. Conversate, right? Ray yeah. D bets so 4,000, you know, JR calls. Like, crazy, like in yeah. China, like, oh wow. It's, it's, there's so many commentators that do this, these videos, you know? <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Why this it's just because, because they don't have um, their own, because, because poker is illegal. They don't have a cash game. They don't is have to, they can only watch, like, you have Macau, I guess, or it used no, to be, like, taking uh, Macau, I guess. Ray D yeah, checks. Like, Even fighting, a businessman, you know? they cannot show. JR now gonna bet the ace king. I don't yeah, think Ray D is going anywhere just yet. Playing poker, your, yeah, your, your career will be over, you know. Yeah, so like, the problem. Yeah, it's a very, it's very taboo. So it's like they watch. Jr's you know, calling like range pre-flop yeah, does include tens, uh, jacks, you know, even a hand as good as queens. He could theoretically have, but uh, looks like Ray D is going to call anyway. Pot now forty-four thousand dollars. He's so discreet. Like you, you would, like, none of us, yeah, Let's see, uh, take a picture of him or if JR wants to bluff. In 2015, I took a if he goes 20,000, 25,000, it's going to put a lot of pressure on Ray D. He took a private jet from LA to Vegas and And I played with his father in law. Okay. At the beginning, I don't know, but he just kind of say hi. Yeah, yeah. And he goes a little bit smaller. He goes 18. So Ray D. How's about getting about three and a half to one to make this call? Only if they got thought out. Like a he would be on like newspapers saying that he's gambling. Like, he would be like, not like it. He'd be like shamed for it. You know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's more serious right now. Yeah, it's really serious. Everything is like super political. Everything's online, guys. I'm out. Like, none of it is. It's all unregulated, it's all online, so there's no problem there. You know? Live poker, JR like, probably doesn't have too many nines in his range unless he has, a po unless he has pocket nines. But as I mentioned, tens, jacks. Could have a flush. Ray D with just a bluff catcher here. Not an easy spot at all. And the small sizing from JR. Probably the makes this. Minutes, right? uh, he's gonna get called. Wow, Ray D does not believe him. He's getting a good price. And look at his call with the A7. That is a. Uh, that's a soul read. Yeah, nice call. Nice call indeed. Don't fuck with Ray D. Take a look at our uh, big winners. Ray D now up $52,000. Hank up $70,000. Garrett, Espin, and JR, the only players down on the evening. If you are uh, enjoying our show, I assume you are here because you like poker or maybe you just uh, like Hank. Uh, regardless, though, give us a thumbs up. It does help my, uh, my self esteem. Do appreciate it. And of course, hit that subscribe button. How do you like it? Good. Is it familiar to me? You going back or? Take a look at the V pips. Bruce Gay, our most active player. Can I just go back to China? To China? No. Okay. Oh, so you just decide to do it there now? Yeah. Okay. Maybe Singapore, I don't know right now. Okay. Because I'm a Web3 builder, so I'm going to build something in, maybe in Singapore. Because the time zone in here, in here is hard for me to communicate with my team, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, true. 1200. What's your team? What do you do? Web3. Okay. Yeah. Crypto team. The sad news is I shot Luna. 
You from Lena? Yeah. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to talk about that when you was <laughs> saying you are buying Luna. So uh, uh, no. it's all good. Flow. I don't have any like uh, uh, negative feelings or anything. Like I'm very flush draw here for Stanley Ray D with a pair of fives backdoor spades. So just like you must a uh, nice CT you won't leave and buy the house or like buy BTC and ETH. Uh, Stanley makes two thousand. Ray D makes the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so I think that's like the plan. Buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and then. And like you can buy Stanley doesn't have to wait very long to make his flush. Bangkok, you know, I think, and the uh, Vietnam is running hot right now. Yeah. Vietnam. Somebody doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. So many separate chain uh, chains were from China to Vietnam right now. Okay. I know that it's um, oh. I've it's kind of a little bit there in January. Triton? Yeah. Triton? Oh, yeah? Vietnam? Yeah. Okay. They are playing in a set-up set right now, right? Yeah. I'm going there. Why did you get the fourth time? Because, um, yeah. I don't know how to break them. Stanley over betting the pod here, and Ray D does not fall for it. And he lets his pair of fives go. I go all in with eight, ten, like, oh, it like uh, like this year, and, and the guy yeah. called me with the care. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. bottom pair, so, yeah. with six Everybody, kicker, no, three right. six. Yeah. 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 Works for marriage too. Yeah. And uh, we still, still have like 150 big blinds. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Really that's cool. crazy. Mm -hmm. Wait, was that a minimum? Yeah, man, man. Did he have a crazy read, or was he just? <laughs> no, he's the no. most high BBIB <laughs> guy in the, in the table. So I three bet him, uh, mm. and he calls with six three yeah. clubs. Twelve hundred. And the flop is flush draw, and I bet he raised, and I go all in. Yeah, well. And he had a three. Thank you. Yeah, and the calls. Two hundred more. Right. <laughs> oh, sorry. Solid. Get a raise here from Garrett, Ace Queen of Diamonds. Fang with Ace Ten does not get involved. Ruski is going to call from the third straddle though with five four. One month ago you told me this two weeks. Okay, remember? You're right. You're right. told me Sunday. Pair fours for Ruski. Every time I said. Ruski in the lead now. Maybe I'm coming, so you're going to be late, right? Late again. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but maximum three months. <laughs> what Pair four here? still best. Visa, visa, yeah. Why? Probably six months, right? No, no, three months. Why? What? Japanese, three months for Japanese? Four yeah. Thousand. Yes, yes, yes. No way. But could you just go like try? Garrett's double barrel like, gets uh, through. No, yeah. Uh, Even Chinese, sorry, right? Yeah. Three months stay, three months out of the country, three months, uh, and, and maximum six months, but. Uh, yeah, maximum six months. Yeah, maximum six so months. You can't do it more than hey, three months. Hey, Rosie, marry with me, I can give you a green card. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you, so kind, Ria. Yeah. <laughs> you already have a wife. <laughs> I mean, gay marriage is legal yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody having a good time? I hope you are as well. Thanks for joining us here, Hustle Casino Live. We'll be here until 11 o'clock. Local time, and then back, of course, on Monday for Max Payne Monday. The champ, that's right, the 2022 World Series of Poker main event champion is here. Fresh off winning $6 million, which is after, his, uh, after he paid out his, his swaps. That's what he took home, he said. How about a set of tens for Fang? Garrett's got a gut shot. I mean, the way Garrett's night is going, I kind of expect it to come out like 8-8. Eight, eight. Garrett's going to uh, 
and once again try to bluff what is essentially the nuts. It's been a lot of that tonight for him. Poker can be a very humbling game at times. From 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and 6 days to a week. And the is like... Fang just calls. Oh, I, I kind of expected, I mean, didn't we all expect an eight on the river? Let's see if Garrett wants to unload. He's got nine high. If he bets, I imagine he'll bet a lot, but he is going to give up. That's okay. Garrett down over 150,000 tonight. Not his night so far, but we still have three and a half hours left in our show. Remember that one time we played and I had aces? They made into clips. Uh, on YouTube, and the comments yeah, like, fish versus get up. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you like check the river there, too. Yeah. Doesn't I work. tried to go buy a new soul in the gift shop, because you stole mine with that seven. <laughs> Six, that was lucky, Anne. Yeah. Probably a bit of a small bet. Look stronger. To me. Stronger than a shove, but I think it could have been fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Professional play. Either way, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad position. Bad position. It's actually really interesting to read the comments because like, like, they were like very like debating the theory behind it. Why should you put, the, put a TV in here? Oh, okay. Three, three hours delay, right? Yeah. Well, it varies. Depends on what time we start. So. Three hour delay? Ish. Depends on when we start, yeah. Right, closer to like two to the About halfway through, people start going to the bathroom and seeing the it's shit. Better the delay. Pull. I like that three-hour delay idea. There was someone the other night who was checking their phone. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, they were oh, like taking in the breaks. Locker. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I don't care much about the game that we're in. Like, I'll, I'll watch some highlights or something the next day. Yeah, if there's like a really time. interesting hand, you wonder what yeah. someone had to go back. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, last week after, we played for quite a while after, people had their friends out watching the game Check. while the game was still going. Uh, which is smart, I guess. I did, I did watch the last party. I was very clearly what the It's a nice thing. It's an old school script. Yeah, it is. I Nice, nice bet. I think you actually maximized value there. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I was. I had a really bad hand. But uh, we call it the action deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll see it later. Nice. I was like, ah, uh, gosh. <laughs> nice bet. Wow. Plenty more, please. I need to get any. Mm. Oh, yep. Thank you. All right. Got my mic. 
Turn up Andy's mic. Conventional way to play kings, but that works. <laughs> too strong, too strong. <laughs> House the Casino Live. We are here till 11 p.m. JR stacking the chips. Espen. I blocked so much, I can't get one call. <laughs> I have 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> so 7-7, seven, seven, uh, seven deuce deuce would have been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if deuce deuce seven, okay, second nuts. <laughs> Queen high flop. Check. Ray D with just uh, just the ace, but he's got the ace of diamonds. If he wants to get a little bit crazy, and he does not. Okay, are not interested. Stanley's going to want a small one. We continue on here. Get a moment to say hi to some of you in the chat there. Judd Ramando, Steve from Chicago. Alexanders. I'm fine. Anthony Cascados. Edwin Q. Thanks for joining us, everybody. David Tuckman calling the action. Henry Kilbane is uh, uh, apparently on the hunt for an In-N-Out burger. I don't know where he is. But hopefully he'll be back soon. Been a lot of action tonight. Garrett down well over $100,000 already. Ray D up about 50000 or so. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about we become that. so numb to these just numbers. I mean, there's over a million dollars on the table right now. It's pretty insane when you think about it. If you are new to our show, the white ones are hundreds, greens are a thousand, and the chocolates are 5K each. Queen high flop, two diamonds out there. Not much going on for anybody. Ace high, still the best hand. I think Henry actually timed his uh, 
his dinner at the perfect moment. It was kind of the Garrett asking Espin show for a little while there. And Espin going to uh, get a bluff and take it down. He had the jack blocker. It was kind of a nice little uh, card to do it with. So what did you guys discover about Espen whilst I was away? Henry's back. <laughs> I mean, the guy, like, he, like, gave us his whole net worth on the show. Yeah. Very open guy. Yeah, he's spoken very openly about a lot of it. Very open <laughs> to his, uh, his financial woes with when crypto tanked. Yep. How long have you known him? Years. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, we've been, well, small click of close friends for, for a long time. So did you have a piece of them in the main or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> you did or you didn't? It's honestly the most asked question that I, I've literally had emails about. People like emailing me, asking me if I had a piece. Um, but we don't disclose any anything like that when it comes to finances. So you're not as open as he is? No. Okay, fair enough. But I, I mean, as far as I know, I don't think anyone that had a piece has told people that they had a piece. Well, you know what? If, the, if all of us who did not have a piece come out and say it, then by process of elimination, we'll know exactly who had a piece. I did not have a piece <laughs> of Espen. It's going to come out and say it. I did not. Uh, but he had 56% of himself. Right. That I know he's been public about. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's 4.4 million US dollars to account for. Yeah. And none of that went to me. In fact, of that 4.4 million... $10,000 of that was mine. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, just want to let it out there. You had, when did, I remember you ran, was it last year that you ran deep? It was not this year. This year was a, uh, a late day two uh, disaster. Uh, a set of nines here for Hank and an ace for JR. So you imagine he's going to get at least one, possibly uh, more streets of value. Three of spades on the turn. 5,300 in there. Two incredibly nice guys, by the way. I was just speaking to both of them. I was grabbing some food. Did you, uh, oh, wow. Turn, check, check, and now JR hits an ace. The old bet, check, bet line. Now he goes check again. 5,000. Wow. Hank has already pulled off a pretty crazy four-bet bluff. Now he's in more likelihood going to check raise. Question is, does JR believe he can bluff this or not? Raise to 20,000. It's a uh, very unorthodox line being taken by, by Hank and JR's facial expression says it all. Yeah, two guys, two nice guys, and one of them is going to finish last. And in this case, it'll be Jr. Did you uh, go get an In-N-Out burger? No, I did not. No, I got got the uh, burger and fries from from here, which was more than enough. Yeah, I have to call it. And uh, Jr. says, "I have to call." He does call. Hank shows him the bad news. And the uh, the night of Hank continues. But yeah, we will be. Uh, <laughs> we'll be so drilling blocks. back the old in and out burgers whilst we're in town. It's mandatory, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good food here in LA. It's the one thing that's uh, one thing that kind of keeps me here is uh, just the crazy variety. Whatever kind of food you want, you like Very Vietnamese dope. food, uh, you want Indian food, whatever you want, you got it here. Hank, our big winner right now, up nearly $91,000. Garrett, still our biggest loser, down 154000 Once again, Henry Kilbane alongside me. I'm David Tuckman. I want to thank you all for joining us here at Hustle Casino Live. We're here Monday through Friday. All of our shows start at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Most nights we go till 10. Fridays we go to 11. So we get six hours of goodness. And Ray D with Ace Queen, JR fresh off losing a big hand, picks up Kings. Why do you take Saturday and Sundays off? I've always. Well, the crew, the crew needs a day off. It's right, the same crew. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. We can bring in different commentators, but they do occasionally have a Saturday show. 
Right. They do film some shows on Saturdays occasionally. But, I mean, Patrick and the team and Ryan, they all they need a break once in a while. Five high flop. Story checks out. They are human. Yeah. They work a lot of hours. Yeah. They, they do. don't take much time off. They took a week off during the World Series. And I think last year we were dark for a week right around Christmas. And none of them were to be seen or found anywhere for that entire week. You can only guess as to what they got up to during their downtime. Chair, but 2,500. Ray D with the wheel draw. He's got a call. Yeah, and sometimes the best hand as well, given the positions. JR now with a set of kings. Ray D checks. We have hit an inordinate number of sets tonight. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, we've had queens have hit two sets, kings have hit two sets, nines, tens have all hit sets. I can't remember the last time I made a set. It's been it's been a long time. You gotta ask somebody how to do it. It really will, it'll help your poker game. Yeah, teach me. Chair bets four thousand. Ray D calls. Ray looking for a deuce. That is not a deuce. Sebastian P is screaming for a deuce. You gotta scream louder, Sebastian. And Ray D, at least intrigued here. He might call this. It's a pretty frustrating spot because even up against the wheel aces that could bluff pre, you're behind against unless it's you know specifically a six, a seven. Yeah, hard to imagine he would bet that amount with like an ace five, but yeah. So Ray D calls him down when he's bluffing, correctly folds when he's behind. We've got an eight hundred dollar straddle here. Okay. <laughs> Time for Espen to add 40k to his stack. And I need the blind to do. Two, four. Get raising out of the small blinds with queen nine. So whoever straddles, the action will start to that player's left. So in this case, the cutoff seat straddled. And so it begins, Tuckman. Yeah. Small sizing here from Stanley. Did he play full time before? Or? Garrett weighing up his options here. All options available. 100k effective. 110. Four bet is on the table. Maybe reading into this small sizing that you picked up on, Tuck. Yeah, and Garrett, four betting with the queen, nine of spades. A little bit of a game of chicken going on. Fang straddled to 800, and that set it all off. And uh, Garrett will pick up $6,100 without even seeing a flop. SS Dipping Sauce says, is this announcer from England? <laughs> I am not, but. You sure? I, I am not, yeah. I mean, I've, I have slipped into an English accent occasionally. Um, but, no, I am not. Um, I've lived in London. Yeah, I was going to say, you've done, you've done quite a bit of work over there, right? I lived there for almost three and a half years. Wow. Great. But uh, that sounds where painful. do you live now? 
I've been mainly based in Thailand. Yeah. Um, for the most part, over the like last eighteen months or so. Um, but actually, like we're really, everywhere though. I mean, you were in Chicago for a little while, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm really bullish on on moving to to the U.S. Um, either Vegas or L.A. I loved Miami as well. I was just down there now for for a week. I just love America in general. Like everything works over here. You know, <laughs> um, it's great food. It's very diverse. It's plenty of, you know, mid to high stakes PLO cash games. Um, yeah, if you know any, if you know anyone under the age of 35 that is, you know, looking for a, someone to marry. Well, British we've got, passport holder. We have 12,209 people who are watching the show right now, so. Yeah, I don't know, like, if that's frowned upon. No, no, uh, listen, no. we've never, I don't, I don't think we've ever used this show as a matchmaking <laughs> service, but why not? I mean, so listen, if you're watching the show, and uh, you can just Google Henry Kilbane, check out his images. He's a good-looking guy, tall. Appreciate it. He's Thank in you. shape. We're trying. I mean, we're smashing back the burgers whilst we're... Uh, out here, but also running five miles a day, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look, like I said, you look great. Uh, <laughs> Espen with the nuts. Garrett with a pair of tens. Espen just bet 400. It did. The old 10% turn block. Kind of a cool little thing there. It's just so annoying to play against. Yeah, I mean, I, I love like, I love players that think outside the box and just try different things. I mean, he just bet 400 into 4,900. Yeah. <laughs> Almost so. And he got paid. I mean, he made 400 dollars. There you go. <laughs> Almost certainly. That's a lot of In-N-Out burgers. That's, you know what? That's a good point. I like it when you use uh, In-N-Out burgers as a form of measurement. Hey. That's been trying to induce a bluff here out of Garrett. Going small, small. Garrett not taking the bait. Just been thinking things over. Sammy, uh, Sammy in the box dealing for us. I'm David Tuckman, Henry Kilbane calling the action as well. And it has uh, been quite a night. Andy Stacks, Ray D, Espin, Garrett, Ruske, all here playing 100, 200, 400. This game has escalated a bit. We'll see if the uh, 800 straddle becomes more of a norm. No, it doesn't look like it right now. What do you recommend we, we do whilst we're in town, Tuck? Obviously going to be at the casino for the next couple of days. How long are you here? Um, so we have two meet-up games uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Then we have the Max Payne Monday on Monday, believe it or not. Uh, but then we're going to stay in town. Like, uh, I love L.A. and we never really get the chance to come here. It's just so far away from, from everything else that we normally do. Um, there's a lot to do. I mean, we'll talk off air. I don't want to. I don't want to bore people. Fair. But um, but there's. I mean, there's. There's so much to do in the city. It's so spread out. Yeah. I assume you have a car. We do. Yes. King High Flop here. Very dry board. Ray D with a pair of sevens. Espin with a pair of deuces. This is uh, big blind versus straddle. Yeah. I mean, there's great hiking here. Yeah. It's just uh, PCH cruising. Amazing food. All that stuff. Yes, value raise rate. Put him in the bin. Could see a bet three bet here, but. Well, Aspen just makes the call. <laughs> Eight on the turn, 30 to 100 in the pot. There's a couple of people here in the chat who are saying that they can set you up with their sister. Nice. So, I mean, you got the options. You might want to browse through chat after show. <laughs> okay. And look, um, 
Henry's, uh, Henry's on Twitter, by the way. I'm more concerned about, yeah, I was about to say, like, my, my Instagram DMs or something. Yeah, what, what are you on Instagram and, and Twitter? Uh, just my name, Henry, Henry underscore Kilbane. That's very easy. So uh, you guys can find him. Slide right in there. He's looking for a date. Check, check. Pair of deuces, no good. Sevens are good. Ray D wins a small one. By the way, other people in the chat are also making recommendations for what to do in L.A. Nice. So, yeah. Hand, hand, of the night. hand of the century, That's whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever it was, that was a fucking incredible hand. <laughs> uh, Garrett's not having it. That's sick, right? Sick. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was actually thinking, am I allowed to fold you? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Chad McVean, the podcast guru, says, Henry, if you can't make it to Canada for a beer, have one with Tuck. He knows his brews. Very true story. Yeah, I don't, you don't drink. Unfortunately, I would take you, uh, I invested in a brewery. Oh, yeah? A brewery and a cidery. Oh, well here done. in LA, but I mean, you don't drink, so it'd be pretty boring for you. Espen has a degree in uh, brewing science. He, he used to do well. He used uh, to. I would take him, but he doesn't. He's not drinking either. He's not drinking either. Yeah. But I'd definitely be keen to to grab some food. Stanley with Ace King. We don't know what Jr. has here. Stanley now with a flush draw to go along with the Ace High. Uh, N says that uh, you're going to have to reveal your net worth as well. The the women in the chat want to know. Right. You know, whether it's worth it for them. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it, it does come across very transactional at times, you know, <laughs> over here. Stanley makes the wheel. Only, fa only fans is a thing now, you know? Oh, yeah. I was actually thinking about starting up a site. What are you going to name it? I'm just saying, like, I mean, just me oh. doing an OnlyFans. Only, only commentators. Yeah, like, you know, Norman Chad, myself, Lon <laughs> McCarran. But, like, think about, like, us just in bathing suits. Like, think, think of Norman Chad in a bathing suit. Wouldn't you sign it? Wouldn't you subscribe? I, I would pay good money to, yeah, I to never see that again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what is like a good net worth in LA? Like you guys are uber rich over here. Like everything's like five times more expensive than the rest of America and Europe. I mean, there's like 15 million people in, in LA, so I think that's probably a probably a bit of a generalization. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Tend to do that quite a bit, to be fair. Yeah. Probably a but pretty, still, like pretty seven, wide range of, of, of uh, I would imagine, uh, incomes and net worths in L.A. 200. All right, what's the median, Tuck? Humor me. $281,000. Nice. I have no idea. That's probably, but grossly graduate, like exaggerated because there's like four people who are, you know, multi-billionaires. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, for a 27-year-old, I think, yeah, probably doing okay-ish. Could be worse, could be better. Well, JR's doing pretty well here with top and bottom pair. Depends how often I dump 80% of my net worth to rich French businessmen. Yeah, that's well done by you. Thanks. I mean, it's kind of a sick brag to say that and, and, and be okay with it. Oh, I had to be. Like, I didn't have a choice. Like, it, you just have to learn to, as a poker player, when you're playing high, mid to high stakes or any stakes, to be honest with you, um, if you're not able to detach yourself from short-term results and and let go the next day, sure for something like that. I mean, it took me it took me a couple of days um, to get over it, but and that's fair. You just have to really get good at keeping your emotions in check and just moving forward. And I, and I think that's why people like Garrett and Andy just seem to thrive in in these games. Is they know it's. Uh, it's all about the long game. JR taking the bait. I'm sorry, JR gave him the bait and uh, Ruske taking it. I'm always going to pay you because of this, the, the, the seven deuce nonsense. 
That's not what you want to hear when you're bluffing. It's interesting. I thought JR was checking to call. I figured this would be more of a snap. I mean, it is a plus one open. <laughs> nice hand. The flip side of that is you know people are going to call you light. So. <laughs> nice hand, nice hand. Big JR fan. Like both of these guys, to be fair. Very fun. Everybody get a card. They are sharing, sharing, but you fucking love. <laughs> Hello, Miss Vicky May. Thank you for joining us as usual. What's up, Lakers? Lakers N1 Nation. Mm, okay. Hand after bluff and picks up red queens. And Garrett's got ace king. Wow. Hold on, everybody. Yeah, really great point being made there, Tuck. Given the dynamic straight after bluffing. Oh, it is? From early position. You know what they say, though? Back Se off. Second one's never a bluff. Just gonna fly. Who's they? Who says that? Uh, it's just a rule of thumb for live poker. I said, okay, well, I'm going to start bluffing the second time. Queens are good here. Garrett with the three bet. Jack three, deuce, two clubs out there. Neither player with a club in their hand. And he goes, check, check. Turn is a deuce. Bruce Gay will win this 88% of the time. He's going to bet 6,000 into 9,900. And that's a good fold. I really thought Garrett was going to call him one time. He checked back ace-king and then just folds. That is uh, that is a pretty good fold. We do a round of eight? Anyone round of jack? Eight. And they just said they're going to do a round of they 800. Are indeed. Yeah. Garrett, my food's here, but I'm going to wait. I'm to be cold and it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my food is here as well, but I'm going to wait. Yeah? I, mean, I don't want to miss this round of 800. So you and JR are in the, the same same boot camp. Yeah. Make America America again, says Garrett, just having one of those nights. And yeah, that happens in poker. It does. Um, I, I said it before, I've said it, I'll say it again. I mean, poker is incredibly humbling. Um, and that goes for the best players in the world. It's very true. We've all been humbled by a deck of cards before. Nine high flop here, bottom two for Garrett. Yeah, that's a board that, yeah, I was about to say, Rusecki is most likely going to stab on. Has yeah. equity against any of Garrett's continuing range. He's got a gut shot, and uh, Garrett is gonna raise it right away, back over to Ruske. Garrett is very good at getting a lot of money in the middle and building pots. And he does it at such a like fast pace as well. It's pretty incredible to watch. DGAF in the chat. What's up, my man? Says, great job in the booth, guys. Henry, please give the champ a one-day drinking pass on Monday. <laughs> uh, sure, if he gives me 15K. Rules are rules. I mean, would you give him, what, what happens if he, what is if he gave you 1,000 for the one-day pass? I don't think he would want to. Right. Yeah, he's a bit of a net. Right. Fair enough. Bit of a, uh, like, life net. Well, no, he's more, more than welcome for, you know, for him to drink. I'll, I'll send you my uh, USDT details. I, I need, like I said, I, I, I probably need somebody to do that with me. i got to find a, a willing to, like, not drink for a year. That'd be really difficult. What kind of? My wife's like I said. My my wife is a drinker, so we drink together. That would be, yeah. That's tough. so. There's a distinct chance that 
if I stop drinking, I'd either lose the bet or get divorced. Yeah. So it's like a social thing for you guys. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a very social thing for us. Yeah. When you I have mean, most nights, my wife and I, after we put crime. the kid, yeah, most nights we'll have a beer and then kids go to bed and we'll watch some sort of stupid show and have beers together. So. Yeah, but I mean, that, that sounds like it's, perfect. That's healthy. Yeah. Well, I don't know how healthy it is. Well, I mean, in terms of, <laughs> you know, spending quality time with your, your right. other half. So kids are in bed. Relationship-wise, it's healthy. Cold. Yeah, 100%. Cracking open a cold Liver, one. maybe not. Well, you know, with the technology that they're coming up with nowadays, we'll see in 10 years' time whether you, you even need a liver, a liver. Yeah, good point, good point. Uh, Espen's third time tonight, he has picked up aces. Yeah. So uh, in just... Under three hours, he has picked up aces three times. He won a small pot. He lost a pot. And on this one, he is going to win. And unlikely to go much further. And this is the end of that one. Aces three times, and he's still down on the night. Can you believe it? Why, wow, you actually went for a salad, you champion. Chat, healthiest man in the building right now. Looks like a good salad as well. You play, you play like once a week for seven months and then you're using solvers, I think. Um, more, definitely more than once a week. Unless? Definitely more than once a week. Okay, and, and I was playing online for probably six months. Uh, and every day that Hey, JRB. Tony. You playing the big tournament this weekend? I'm about to find out. Press one for checking account balance. <laughs> Your balance is one dollar. It's not just the dollar. It's your ticket to a million dollar tournament. Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT47. JRB repping the WPT Global brand. That's right. One dollar gets you into a one million dollar tournament. Pretty amazing stuff there. Who's scripting those? That's actually like fantastic that one was clever yeah i that's, like that that's one. really well done yeah. i like that scott wood in the chat says basically mrs tuckman <laughs> needs to be drunk to be with tuckman true story wow yeah not Shots true fired. i can't even like he's right I, I wouldn't i wouldn't say anyone in this game spends their yeah. much of their time studying poker i started on the table yeah well, espen was calling out jr before that little uh for what um, so JR claims to play only once a week on average, and Esmond was like, there's no way you're that good at poker using solver-approved sizings if you're only playing once a week. Like, you have to be studying. The first time I played with him last week, I was like, this guy's a fucking pro. He just has it every, just destroying me every hand. And then you watch it back. And I was like, holy shit, I'm fully flushing this guy. What the hell? <laughs> no, he got me on a good hand though, on a good one. Where I folded a big hand. Yeah, there's no way had you seen a, a previous game that you fold that. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. Eight hundred dollars. You do look like a pro though. I don't know why. You have a. He has a very. Oh, for sure. Yeah, the, you, you, you match the profile. Took his turn to pick up aces on the button as well, no less. Oh boy. Hank waking up with a legit hand. It's gonna flat. Hands up, my friend. Like it, keeping some of the hands that we dominate. He was seven. You help here? 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> Can't gonna keep him honest for one. Eight spades on the turn. It's okay. With the ace of spades. Yeah. 
not that it's needed. Tank thinking of leading turn. It does lead. Half part. Can't get creative at the wrong time. It's going to take a big bet to get the aces to fold, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chick. <laughs> I'm thinking of Bond. <laughs> Thank you, Liva Chick. <laughs> Thank you, Liva Chick. Everybody's doing it. Everybody knows, like, 50 big wine, how you're supposed to play, and everything. Is this my? You, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. I think it's you every time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful not to put mine here. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, hopefully I don't. <laughs> yeah, every time there's chips near me, I always kind of just think it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> 2100. I think it's fun, Captain. I like mixing it up. Way more relaxed. Way more relaxed. Way more, way more. That's your new blind. Hey, I need to do the blind, figure out how many blinds every, every, it's like, <laughs> so tiring looking up, like, all right, I got X amount of blinds, X amount of time before blinds go up. It's like, <laughs> I don't think I would enjoy them game enough if it was serious. Like, if it was just, Everyone was serious at the table all the time. I don't think I ever would have probably got into it. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a disease. Some people do it, everybody, like, yeah. you know? You're gonna be the only one fucking joking around, having fun, acting quick, if everyone around you is taking yeah. forever, ever, you know? Well, I, I think I told you before, like, my main draw was when COVID started, like, the social aspects of poker was, like, the main draw. And so if that wasn't there, like, I don't think I ever would pick it back up. It's like a tragedy of the common things in like a tournament. It's open, anyone can go in. So no one's particularly incentivized to like make it an enjoyable experience. Yeah, yeah. They just go, whatever the fuck, anyone yeah, can yeah. play, you and know. And your short time with all those people anyway. It's a good and a bad thing though, I guess. Say it again? It's a good and a bad thing, like in terms of cash games yes. being more and more <laughs> privatized. Probably. Fallow in the chat saying, now that Espen is properly rolled for 510 PLO. But what it certainly is, and he not like getting him in the forecast streets. I think everyone agrees with that, you know? It's just... I just hear a lot of like people who play cash games now. Oh, they're kind of, I think it's hard because there's so much politics and like getting into yeah. games. That's like, like, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, me? No. Sorry. Set up hand here. We don't know what Stanley has, but everybody else has got a big piece of it. Hank with top two, JR with top pair. And Garrett with the nut flush draw and a gut shot. And remember, this pot is already bloated because we're doing the $800 straddle round. Yeah, so Garrett opened to 2K from the cutoff. Picked up three callers, sweating the button hand with Stanley. So three players. Remain, 27,400 in there. Six of clubs, Jack-10 still best. And these players are deep. You can see Hank with 119,000 behind, JR with 180,000, and Garrett's got them both covered. And now Hank, very happy to just take this one down. If anybody wants to come along and draw, he's gonna charge him, that's for sure. Uh, 
Yeah, every river above an eight just kills Hank's action. Yeah, that was actually, I mean, a really clean turn card. Eight, nine was already there. Yeah, look at this, and Wow, JR, just not a believer. He's going to call, and now Garrett's just getting a really good price. Yeah, Garrett's loving life. Three and a half to one on the call. Meaning he needs, like, 22% equity, which he has. Yeah, he's got 28% equity. Pot's got 87,000 in there. One of our bigger pots of the evening. And there's the spade. Finally, something going Garrett's way. And uh, that you just got to hate that. You bet 20,000. You bet, you bet the flop. You bet the turn. You get called in two, space, two spots. And then the obvious draw gets there. And now Hank checks. Chair is going to check it as well. I think in terms of sizing, you just go for the absolute jugular here in Garrett's shoes. Really nice having the eight of spades in the sense that he's unblocking king high, queen high, and jack high flushes. So I wouldn't be surprised yeah, to see Garrett bet like pot or even over pot, something like 100k. Well, Garrett down about 150,000 going into this hand. But whether he gets called here or not, it'll be a nice hand for him for the night. Garrett taking his time, thinking about the sizing, or maybe he's got the sizing, but he doesn't want to give up any tells. Yeah, nice. All in. I know that it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, Hank's $20,000 bet on the turn and gets called by JR. Garrett knows this, his opponents are pretty strong. Garrett's opponents very aware of the fact that Garrett could bluff here. Yeah, I think Hank's very fortunate he doesn't have the, the jack of spades in his hand here. It's a little bit easier for him to get away from. Garrett, very capable of having a hand like ace queen, ace king. With the ace of spades. Oh, actually, no, sorry, I take that back. I think they full term. Garrett bet 159,000, essentially. He said all in. So, JR's got 159.5 behind. As long as he has time chips, his hand will not be dead. He'll just... And he does eventually find the fold. And that's over to JR. And speaking of the jack of spades, JR does have that jack of spades. So for JR... It's all of it, 159,000. He just gives you like three of them. I think JR's already made his mind up. Call to make this easier for me. It's actually leveling himself here. The thing is, I mean, what kind of hands is Garrett calling with? On the turn, 20,000, overcalling with on the turn that he's now turning into a bluff. What hand is it? I mean, is it like king-queen with the king of spades type thing? Yes, yeah, kind of 
where I was going with my thought process earlier with the ace king, ace queen. I'm not sure if ace king, ace queen stick around on the turn, although he is getting a great price. Two overs and a gut shot, plus a future flush blocker. King queen o makes more sense. Doesn't have many. But certainly capable of finding them. Hence him going polar in this spot. One and a half X pot. Or more actually. Just south of two X pot. Yeah, and Garrett's sick enough to do this with a bluff. We know that. Yeah. I mean, I thought JR had made up his mind and was going to fold, but it seems like he's almost talking himself into calling. Having the queen is really bad as well. Already blocking some of the offsuit combos of king, queen, ace, queen that Garrett can have. I just think this like particular combo is like the nut low combo to, to cool off with. Even with the jack of spades. With the jack of spades and the queen of clubs, yeah. I like that JR's taking this much time to think about it, though. He's really thinking things through. Yeah, he. something tells him he's good. I mean, I, I, JR's not the type to Hollywood. I mean... He just has a feeling he's good here. Garrett's image. You know, works, works in his favor in spots like these. People give him credit for, for having bluffs as we know he can. Really put the pressure on and Garrett's still down on the night, but he picks up about sixty thousand dollars in that one, so only down about ninety-two thousand. I, I could come up with like an equal number of scenarios where he's winning. Or... It's a perfect part, perfect position to go all in. <laughs> Yeah, on top. Okay, here, so here, on the third side, <laughs> the Yeah. Which one I have? Which one I have? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And it's the, on the fourth? Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, we don't know. Uh, I feel like in the World Series, like every hand is like that. Every decision is like three minutes. Lauren, yes. you asked upstairs what you uh, had. <laughs> What? <laughs> Go home and watch. Two thousand. Heads up now. Straight back into it, JR. What time is it? Open to 2K? Uh, I don't know. Cause I did an eject list. What time is it? What time is it? So okay. we're gonna have to have it. I mean they're gonna tie it. It's a huge I know. You, you wanna check call. <laughs> yeah, I wanna check call. I know. Like I, know. I wanna check check. check. Yeah. Just check bet like check, 25 check. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. know if I even had you beat. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't think you can beat me. No. Yeah, set. Yeah, set. 
No. I'm gonna, we're going to find a film. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, get the no. hand in, in the... I don't think I needed a second in that hand. Do, do, you, have, do you have a hand? Okay. I have top two. Got it. Mm -hmm. Fair, you're in for 400. Two is dead. Set. Top two is so set. It's 2,000 to go right now. Cool. Top two set, same thing. Yeah, easy money. Too good, too good. Aligato. Easy money. Yeah. Easy money. Give me your card. Ah. And your cat. Your card. I'm like, like an Andy. I'm <laughs> like a queen. Just be ironic. Do you remember? Uh, yes, I remember that hand. <laughs> yeah. Very painful, very painful situation. That's, it was really weird three ways. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm only beating his bluff, and the fact nice that you had a hand. Nice fake. The fact that you when had the space comes, I know Gary's gonna all in. I know that's gonna happen. Mm. It's funny, I, I bumped into Hank when uh, I went for food. And he's like, how, how long's the delay? How long's the delay? It's like about two hours. It's like, oh, there's one big hand I really want to know. I was like, I don't think it's uh, it's been on yet, mate. And now he knows. Garrett had it. He can sleep well tonight. Stanley against Garrett, round five of the night, I believe. Stanley go for the small three bet sizing again. Note last time Garrett four bet to 18K in similar positions. That's very exciting. So exciting. So nice to see Stanley being balanced with his sizings. <coughs> this is for a milky sizing. Garrett not interested. So let's go. Does Garrett choose the the over bet because he has so few bluffs in his range? So it's just like I'm, I've got the nuts, or I've got like three hands. Yeah, nuts or nothing. Right. That's where you go polo. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but like go that much even. Yeah, but it's a, it's, that, it's a nuts or nothing. What he was, spot. was he was he taking his time with the bet to be deceiving in your opinion, or was it a matter of him trying to figure out how many bluffs he actually had there? No, I think he he's very aware of how many bluffs he has, and I think his sub three combos. Right. Yeah. I think I think it has to specifically be like I would say a ace king with the ace of spades. King queen with king queen with the king of spades. No. No, you don't think so. No. <laughs> no, I think that's what you, you'd want you, your opponents to have, right? <laughs> and the problem with that is, I mean, is he calling the turn with Ace King? <laughs> with the Ace of Spades <laughs> against two players? Pro yeah, exactly. Pro probably not, right? I wish like, I had, like, Spades Ace Jack. Really interesting hand. We don't uh, we don't do too much analysis here. We just have fun, no. but uh, that was a really interesting one. You'd rather call Ace Queen because then then you can call a Queen Nine on a King River on an offsuit King River. So. I think it's like ace queen with the ace of spades, and then the nuts. But Garrett's good enough to to jam for value with less than nuts, right? As well, so. Oh, absolutely. So like, if he's including king high flushes into his jamming range, then he's allowed a couple more bluffs. I mean, I have no doubt that, like we said, I mean, we've seen Garrett. He's he's absolutely sick. We have no doubt that he will go all in there with bluffs. It's just a question of how he gets to the river. Because yeah. overcalling 20,000 on the turn, he's not doing that with a, a, a pretty... He's not doing that with a wide range, no, I would think. Threes are good here, by the way. Yeah, how does he find the bet on this turn? What gangster? Teach me. 
got the best hand. What do you mean? Easy game. Yeah. You just got to be more optimistic with your small pairs. I think I, that's what it takes. I think that's that's what it is. Henry Kilbane and David Tuckman calling the action here. Lauren in the box dealing. One of the best in the area for sure. We're pretty lucky here at Hosta Casino. Yeah, you guys have got some just all-round production team, floor staff, dealers, like very spoiled for talent down here, not just players. Lots of eye candy too. Yeah. You got people like me walking around. Heads turn when you walk into the building. No doubt. No doubt. Do you think there's anyone like like a poster of you above oh. like their grind, st grind station? I've actually had people send me uh, requests. No, they, they've sent me pictures of their room mm. and they've got, you know, pictures of me above their bed in their office, and, the, and I get it, it's, yeah. it's cool. I understand, Yeah, makes sense. I mean, I'll be honest, I mean, for as good looking as I am, it's hard to be this humble. I'm, I'm not even pulling your leg <laughs> when I say <laughs> you have the sexiest voice in poker, in my opinion. And I like, I used to listen to your stuff way back before I even, you know, attempted doing any commentary. And I remember the first time uh, I found out I was going to do commentary with you a few years back and actually being pretty nervous, like palm sweaty going in. I'm not even joking. Oh. Well, thank you very much. I mean, uh, the sexy is what I've been going for. You, you do. You have a very sexy voice. Wow. Not as, you know, sexy as mine, but... Right, right. Uh, well... <laughs> yeah, look at the seat. CZA says, tuck your on my pillowcase. There I get go. it. I, I appreciate that, CZA. It's all good. Small pot here. That's been uh, going to take it down with a nice little bluff. That's been, has been treading water. Still down on the night. But uh, down on the night despite picking up aces three times. Getting a couple of bluffs through. Chat is absolutely popping off. Oh, yeah. Nostradamus says uh, DGAF with a sexy voice, no doubt. Billy is, uh, he is, I like to think Billy is like sex on a stick. That's Max, that's the uh, Max Payne Monday, guys. If you want to see sex on a stick, join us, 5 p.m., Max Payne Monday. Henry will be in the game. Um, that's, no, you're not. Well, I believe I'm on the wait list. The wait list, yeah. Okay, but Espen will be in the game. Should be a lot of fun. I don't know if they want two people and they're not drinking though. I'll drink. Oh, I'll, you will. Yeah, I would. I would drink in the game. I, I, I don't think Espen's that fun in cash games because he's all about EV. He won't just like blow up. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to think that that he would. I will, pull off I'm, steam. I'm gonna have to speak with him and just be like, look, on Monday. I mean, the buy-in on Monday is only 10k. Yeah, it's less than that. I mean, I saw people last week. Oh, you can buy it for, like for four thousand, three thousand. Yeah. People buying in for like two k last week. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just it's a ten twenty twenty game. I mean, obviously it turns into a ten twenty forty game, but yeah. uh, I, I say that it's still a big game for ninety eight percent of us. But for Hustler Casino Live, it's our smallest game. Yeah. And for somebody who just won six million, it's not a huge game. It's not. You just have to be rifling it in with the uh, the Ace Ten O. Yep. Garrett rifling it in. With eights, it's going to raise the 1600. Hank calls. Espin with sixes. So this is uh, blind, blind, and uh, straddle. And Espin just calls. So we got 5,000 in there, two pairs and a jack 10. And there's an eight. The night of sets continue, and uh, really maybe does. Garrett's night starting to turn around here. I felt like Espen was going to keep him honest, but... Well, he lets that one go pretty quickly, and Garrett wins a small one as we continue here. Take a look at the Nick Bertucci leaderboard. 
Fang up 54,000. Hank Stott 46,8. Ray D up 32,000. Andy up 21,000. Garrett, JR, Espin are down. And uh, Ruske, basically even. You're playing a game this big and you're down $900. <laughs> that's 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 a good night. That is a good night. Gets to play some high stakes poker and it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. Well, I mean, I think it's pretty clear. Ruske, he just loves the game. So Does. I'm not sure the money. I'm not sure what the money means to him or not. I don't know. Okay, if you wanna go after streaming. Let's go hotspot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your friend. <laughs> That's a good friend. <laughs> hotpot friend. <laughs> Peter Maven asking how long our show goes. Well, our Monday through Thursday shows go from 5 to 10 p.m. local time. The Friday show, we get an extra hour goes from 5 to 11 p.m. local. Okay. See if Garrett can squeeze out some value here. The king, queens, queen jacks of the world. Very thinking it over doesn't really be much. Blocking the hands you'd want Garrett to be bluffing with, like Jack Nine. Ray thinking this one over. 9,300 in there, it's 4,000 to call. Garrett could not win a hand the first hour and a half. But that's true. The last, uh, the last couple of orbits have been kind to him. The nut flush, a set of eights, and here he's got the ace. Not a big pop, but they all help. And there's a call. How are you a time bank, right? You do music. Uh, Philip's a cool dude. Uh, I was uh, eating lunch or dinner, chatting with Philip. Is that his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's cool. Yeah, he's a nice guy. One of the friends. Well played, sir. Managing to squeeze out 80% pots worth of value on the river. Uh, yeah, so they won't let us sit at the table, so they just bring it down at the bottom here. Okay. JR adding 100k. Eh? Or is it like they, they have a pretty big menu, so there's a lot of different types of food, but it's all been in house. Yeah. yeah. It's all been pretty solid. Yep. Hashtag story checks out. Food here at Hustler Casino is uh, top notch. If you come here to play poker, first of all, the lowest rake in LA here at Hustler Casino. Yeah. Games are good. And uh, I can genuinely tell you the food is good. It is good, yeah. Yeah. Games are good as well. Whether you like Galbi or. Blackened salmon, a couple of my go-tos. The hustler salad I just had. That salad looks. It's good salad. Yeah, solid. 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 Calbi? Yeah, it's all Calbi. It's, it's Korean. It means strawberry. Heads up. Heads up. Trip eights here for Hank. LA has like the most diversity. 800. 800. Bruce K. Gonna bet eight hundred dollars. He is drawing nearly dead. Place I like visiting, or like conceptually, or I don't even know how to phrase it, is countries that consistently rank as the happiest in the world. So obviously, like your home country is always like right there. And just, just kind of like soaking in the culture of that place for two or three weeks, try to feel out like what they're doing that makes them smile. I always really appreciate doing that. I think all the Scandinavian countries are pretty high. All of them. Yeah. I think Denmark is number one yeah. now, maybe. Yeah, I know, yeah. So I went there. Yeah. You guys don't have mass shootings and stuff like that over there? 
Rarely, rarely. Dark. <laughs> yeah, that went dark uh, immediately. Yeah, you went to Copenhagen or? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, just Cop that was part of a, I don't really do this anymore, but that was part of like a multi-city Europe trip. So I was only there for a week. Okay. But yeah, it was cool. I spent a couple of years there during the university. Oh yeah, did you yeah. enjoy it? It's nice. Yeah, it was a nice. cool place. Yeah, Copenhagen's uh, stunning. Scandinavia in general. All in Sweden, Finland, Netherlands, all super happy countries. Yeah. The happiest country is North Korea. North Korea, happiest, yes, I know. They'll tell you. <laughs> or else. <laughs> Get a three here for three back here from Espen. Yeah, seemingly yeah. random and a lot about North Korea. off character. I, I, I knew some things. I don't know. Ruske is uh, yeah. gonna call though. Yeah, like it doesn't really get better than a really exciting story where you also learn a lot, right? Yeah, and like, nothing there for either player. Ace Jack, yeah, true, yeah. very yeah, much like, in the lead. Like a thriller. It's crazy. Yeah. But hard to know that if you're Ruske. Nespin's going to bet 4,500. This is a pretty big sizing for him. And the ace jack goes in the muck, and that spins three bet, and then follow up C bet works. <laughs> right. So, do you have a favorite city? I mean, obviously, you've traveled a lot. You're in Thailand, whether you're in the States, from the UK. Where, what is there a favorite city, favorite area that you love? I love Madrid. Madrid, yeah, be Madrid big is fan. Big. I'll be in Madrid in November. Madrid is. Uh, I will be in Madrid in November. I was in Madrid right before the pandemic went down. Mm. I was actually in Madrid in late in January and early February of 2020. <laughs> All right. I mean, right when yeah, the yeah. pandemic was going off. It's funny you mention that. I was I was in Miami, uh, staying at the Eden Rock on Miami Beach, and they literally closed down the hotel as we were there, yeah. got stranded in America. Um, yeah, Madrid, very high up on the list. I'm just a big fan of America. I, I spend as much time as is there, I can. Is there a city in America that you love? Uh, probably... It's probably split Sorry, between no, Vegas, uh, like, I know there's seven dialects, there may Cali be as a whole, not there's just like English, LA, but uh, California really and Miami. Chinese. They just say no. Mandarin or? <laughs> Southwest, Southeast. Nobody really speaks any other than you know. We're gonna limp around pot here. There's an $800 straddle. Hank with the overpair. Yeah, Fang. <laughs> Hank with the overpair, but Fang with the straight. He's got the ass into the straight there with the 5-4. Hank looking for a 10 or a 5 to make the bigger straight. And Fang's going to bump it up right away. Go 7,000. Silvio says, I thought you were going to say Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> I have been to Fargo. <laughs> The thing is, is whenever someone from the U.S. asks me that question and I answer uh, publicly, I just always get slated for it. Like, the things that I'm looking for are mid to high stakes poker games and good weather. You know, if I can go snowboarding, hiking, surfing, and play poker within, like, a three-hour radius, then I'm, I'm in a happy. happy place. Yeah. There you go. Fang bets 12,000 now. And Hank lets the nines go. That's a, that's a pretty good fold there. It's a solid fold. To like make that, that decision so quickly is uh, tough. 
Hank wearing the fashionable white outfit. He's up today, having a pretty good day. He's thinking about that one, though. Already have kids or something and like past that age, then maybe you know. But yeah. it's tough if you find someone that's like our age, it's tough. <laughs> Texas is great for all three. I would love to go to Texas, it's, it's very high up on my list of places to visit. A lot of people have, have uh, told me to head on down. Yeah, Houston, Dallas. Poker scene's good there. It means to steal your chicken. Like tea is like chicken. But it's one of the great gifts of being a poker player. You can travel, play, make money, and kind of see the world a little bit. Yeah. Very, very privileged. <laughs> Only place I haven't really explored is... Uh, it's Latin America, South America. Oh. I've got the greatest Chips idea. Monica. We can interview poker players. How long have you been in here? It's a great idea. Tune in to the Nick Fertucci show, starring me. I'm telling you, it's the best idea ever. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to that. Veronica Brill, Nick Fertucci. Their first show is Monday, August 15th. Make sure you join us for that one. Yeah, not much snowboarding in Texas, though. Oh, people in the chat are pointing out. <laughs> Ace high flop here, two clubs. Stanley's going to like that. <laughs> Logan says, are there 510 tables at Hustlers heading to L.A. in a week? Yeah. In fact, uh, DGAF has his sessions, I want to say, the, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We've got 510, 1020 games going. You been playing much recently? I have not. I was uh, played a little bit in Vegas during the World Series of Poker, but once the series ended, I went away with family, family vacations. So, uh, I literally left my house on July 15th and didn't come back till August 9th. Wow. July 15th. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, I am not leaving L.A. for the foreseeable future, so kind of happy to sit in my own bed. Ray D. picks up nines. He's facing a $1,200 raise from Hank. He decides just to call. Ten, ten, seven. Seemingly a pretty good flop for nines. Can't imagine Ray D going anywhere. Neither one of us would fold the nines in the spot, that's for sure. Not a great turn card. It's the heart and it's the ace. Now Hank checks. Ray D, Ray D without a heart in his hand. He can beat a bevy of hands. He can beat the, all, all the broadways. He can beat smaller pairs. I'm gonna throw a question at you. If Hank checks to you and you're Ray D with nine, so you betting for value? On this river? Yeah. 
Um, no. Now oh, Hank did not bet. I thought I thought he would have. His hand uh, counterfeited. The sixes could not beat the board. Figure if you get to the river with a hand like that, you kind of have to turn it into a bluff, don't you? It's difficult. I mean, once Ray calls flop and the ace of hearts rolls off on the turn, there's just not really many hands. I set it up and installed it, but then I'm like... I'm not thinking that much. I'm just thinking I got sixes. I can't beat the board. I'm betting. I don't care. <laughs> Fang's up 64,000. Hank's up 38. Ray D up 28. Add a couple of uh, layers to it. Look how much money on the table. Just well over a million dollars on the table. Oh, yeah. Just another Friday here at Hustle Casino. Yeah, top four stacks alone. Sat with a mill. My speed. Yeah, yeah. Oz Mechanic says Texas is too hot. Wish we had LA weather. It's been hot this week. Sheen says there's a great reason to bet when you can't beat the board. Top notch commentary. Thank you, Sheen. I appreciate that. <laughs> Even if you are being sarcastic. I was going to say it sounds very facetious. That's Even so if he's being sarcastic, I appreciate it. So that's the key to a happy life. Just sarcasm. Yeah, yeah, that and just ignore it and just be like, yeah, thanks. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> You're awesome. Like my wife, my wife gives me the finger. I just go, yep, I'm number one. Check. My wife doesn't give me that finger. She would never do that. Fang with a flush draw. Second hand in a row. We can't see Hank's hands. Somebody teach him how to put the cards in the right spot. Derek, it is Henry Kilobane and David Tuckman. We are here. Henry's going to be playing in some of the meetup games here. Are you commentating again? I'm really not sure what the plan is. I have okay. to speak with Ryan for, for Monday. Um, I would love to play, especially as someone that doesn't play Hold'em. I feel like I'd probably over bluff just because blockers. Yeah, blockers aren't really a thing in Holden. Exactly. I think I, 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 I just like overvalue uh, blockers when I, whenever I play Holden. Like I just find myself bluffing way too much. Well, Fang has uh, pretty much the nut low here with 5-3, and he is going to bluff with it, and he gets Hank to fold. We don't know what he got Hank to fold, but pretty sure that Hank folded the winner. Seeing has Fang had the second nut low. Yeah. I think it's safe to say. Sure. You guys hear anything when I show the cards? No, you guys didn't hear anything. Quick. Wait, why? Is it like flipping? Thank you, Richie. I appreciate that, man. Richie, my dad is my dad's name is Richie. So you are good energy too, buddy. Oh no, I didn't hear. Okay, good. We're about four hours into our show. Got a couple hours left. It's been a fun one. Taking a look at the 2022 World Series of Poker main event champion. Also won the tag team event. He, uh, Absolute sun runner. Yeah, he played with Patrick Leonard. And it was interesting because he, was, uh, he and Patrick Leonard had to kind of play the villain role in that. Because Jamie Kerstetter. Yes. Was going for her first ever bracelet, and they had a huge chip lead, heads up. It did indeed. And uh, Espen and Patrick took the bracelet out yes, of so, Jamie's hand. Uh, deep sounds are super cool, and then past that, I would say, like, Santa Monica. Villain in, in your shoes. I think in most. Have, like, good music or... Most people's shoes. Nah. Yeah. All the all, all of the online European yeah, players were, were rooting for pads and Aspen. Maybe. Pokerellas like you. I only play PLO and I've forgotten how to bluff yeah. and no limit hold them. <laughs> Henry feel Henry feels you, man. Fang raising with fours. Finally, we see what Hank has there. 10-7. Does not play. Espen's got king-queen in the big blinds. Big blinds a little bit more interesting in this game because you don't close the action. you got to worry about the straddle behind you. It's almost like you got to play the big blind like as if it was a small blind, right? 
Yes, uh, another one of the reasons why, again, I admire the people that play in this game because it's one more thing to think about. Jack, Jack, three. Fours are good. Lee French uh, asking for a shout out. Sorry, Lee, this is a professional show. We don't do shout outs, buddy. Like we're doing, we're doing like some social media stuff, like some vlogging and stuff, you know. I kind of want to... Yeah, there's not too many people vlogging the tournament scene, like the high stakes tournament scene. Yeah. There's a lot of people vlogging like cash game grinds and stuff like that, but so many, yeah. I kind of want to vlog not like the poker hands, like talk about strategy and poker hands and stuff. There's enough people doing that, I think. Uh -huh. I kind of want to make a vlog where we have conversations with other high stakes players show like some behind the scenes stuff and get some storylines going and whatever. I think that would be interesting for people because a lot of these high stakes players, they're very private. Yeah. People don't know too much about them, you know? Like if you can get like Jason Kuhn or Ike Haxon or whatever to open up and tell like some stories, I think people would love that. So I think that would be cool. What? Good luck on the ladder. Ike Haxon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a flop, Randy. We'll see. I mean, Seven. He's got seven high right now, but he's flopped Why a straight is that flush draw. For you personally, like I guess just like in general content creation. I mean, obviously it's like <laughs> if I get to have these conversations with all these cool people, that's like beneficial for me as well, right? I'm a big poker fan, you know. If I get to meet Jason Kuhn and like have these conversations with him, that's like really cool for me. But also like. I think a lot of it is life EV in the sense that if you if you build like a strong personal brand in poker, if you have like a big blog or whatever, okay, you might have some like monetary benefit in terms of sponsorships yeah. and shit like that. But you also get like a lot of yes. cool opportunities to come to cash games like this, for example. Like if you're like some online end boss and like no one knows you, you're not gonna get invited to games like this, you know. And games like this and just events in general go to like cool cool events in general. There's like a lot of live TV in that, like experiences and networking and yeah. I think that's like a big part of it. Um, Sounds like a win-win for you in terms exactly. of yeah, yeah. more opportunity, but like definitely what you said, uh, like in terms of you're a fan of poker. Exactly. So like it's a win-win, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, first. Andy doesn't make the uh, straight flush, does make the straight bets and takes it down. And uh, yeah, life EV, right, buddy? Vlog is out now. Yeah, life EV, first vlog. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's cool. For Post WCP main. You know, whether that's your first or eighth reason, you know, yeah, you're yeah. just doing a bunch of shit after winning the main event. It's cool for poker. It's good for poker. Yeah, I'm um, sure a lot of people appreciate it. Yeah. In my country as well, check, poker is. Check. I'll let you play your hand. 1500. It's kind of funny how uh, you hear Espen say, like, oh, I'll let you play your hand, because that's so customary. Like, oh, you're playing a hand, I won't talk to you. And Garrett doesn't care. He'll just continue the conversation and just play. Now, if the pot gets big, obviously, you know, a little different story. Yeah, Garrett didn't say anything. He just kind of. Yeah, he acknowledged it. Okay, yeah. I'll play. Garrett with the double barrel here. Andy, uh, at least curious of the flop, but does relinquish on the turn. It's always very big in the sense that you have like some of the biggest, like we have like, when it's the national championship of poker, like the main event gets like more than 1K runners. It's like small country, right? So there's like very, a lot of like very big poker fans in Norway, but right now it's like super regulated. Like you, the banks won't let you put money into online poker or take money out of online poker. You're not allowed to play live poker, that's illegal. There's no casinos or anything like that. So poker is like super, there's a lot of people who love poker in Norway, but it's very hard to do it. So now there's like, like after I won the main event, there was a lot of media attention in Norway about poker. And now like the politicians are having a second look or whatever, people, like they're being forced basically to have another look at it. And like, 
The reason, yeah, you're because a now it's. Do <laughs> you think it's related to you winning or not at all? Huh? Do you think it's at all related to you winning or probably not? Yeah, oh, it, it is sure related. It is. Yeah, cool. sure it is. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome, yeah. Are you the first one to win? First, first yeah, one, yeah, first yeah. Win, yeah. So if I can like change poker in Norway based on what I'm doing, that would be like insane, of course. That's really cool. I need to be Are you the first so champion? Come mm. on, the name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We had um, a guy who came second in 2014. Doesn't use to before you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like National TV. 4,500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's very good. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's a good opportunity to like. For sure. Uh, can I get a foot of service? You got it. Garrett's going to call with the fives. Stanley out of the way. Classic race. Ace King versus fives. Pot's got 11,000 in there. I'm going heads up to the club. Yeah, this deep. Garrett never folding a pair, especially in position. Uh, but yeah, just to add to what Espen was saying, it's pretty cool how they're now looking over new legislation in Norway just because he won the main and potentially going to legalize it, which would be huge, obviously. JR bets 3,000. Garrett calls. JR had a lot of outs. That was one of them. Looking for an ace, a king, or a jack. King of diamonds will do. Garrett's fives. Shriveling up in value. Cole Clark point, saying good point about Magnus playing poker. Yeah, the, uh, uh, the lines for the chess, and, chess and poker continue to blur. Like I said, I'm, I'm like a dinosaur in this world. So in my first poker career, many of the best players I used to play with, they were Norwegian. Yeah. And so to think that there's been such a culture, uh, I mean, because that's what I think often leads to great players is like a culture, you know, like a bunch of people playing and whatever. And so the fact that the culture has been so strong in Norway for that long with that level of regulation, that blows my mind, actually. It's crazy. Yeah. A lot of it is underground. Like, yeah. of course, there are underground clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And the culture is really strong. So, so you're saying that there's... Um, uh, you can't do the online easily, and cash games aren't allowed. Just, yeah. or tournaments are allowed? No. Okay. Only the they have the national championship yep. once a year, and that's allowed. Got it. Um, but it's very you can only lose two thousand dollars during the whole event. So you have to pick and choose what tournaments you play. Oh wow! There's a bunch of tournaments, and like the high roller is two thousand dollar buy-in. So if you play that, you're not allowed to play any other tournament during that event. So the government is capping your degeneracy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're for that to, reason, probably. You're allowed to have home games as well, as long as you play for maximum $100. Maximum $100 and maximum 10 or 20 people. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, they don't they limit the amount you could play in your own home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We, yeah, but, it, but that's like very recent as well. A few years ago, you weren't allowed to play with your friends for $20. Can you play online in Norway? Yeah. Okay. But the banks won't let you deposit or withdraw. So Would you say you have to go through crypto? In or, general, Norway's pretty liberal on most social issues, too, or you wouldn't say that? Like, how about compared to the US? I know it changes all the time, but like... Yeah, no, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say no, so. Okay. For some reason, I always think of all the happy countries as super liberal, too, but maybe Denmark that's not... Denmark is a bit more liberal. Yeah. Like in Denmark, it's a bit more... Yeah. Oh, yeah, obviously, Netherlands, super liberal country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that's Scandinavian, by the way. I'm saying it's uh, one of the happy countries. Yeah, yeah. Right. Check. And kind of similar culture to yeah, Scandinavia. Yeah. I would yeah. Say. Seven. Garrett floated here at the 9-6, hit a 6. Andy not slowing down, though. I think I read that they have the biggest national championship of poker. Relative to the number of people in the world, I think. Garrett makes the call. Spades get there now. Was Andy triple barrel? It sounds great to me. It's like 1.3k people in the last or something like that. Yeah. No, nah, he gives up. And it's like the only Norwegians can enter this contest. Yeah. Yeah.
Hmm. I don't know. It's mostly about like community and whatever. I think I'm not really like money driven. I have enough money. Like I, I don't do. I don't have any expensive habits, or I'm not very materialistic. So at this point, it's mostly like experience and network and whatever. I guess. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh no. 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 Open here. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Twelve hundred. Ray G, JR, clashing here, ace queen versus ace king. Who did you play with from Norway back in the day? Like Tommy Lawton? Or... Yeah, like a, a lot of like good online players. Yeah, I used, like again, in a former life, I used to play heads up, so. Oh, cool. A lot of Norwegians love heads up, right? I used to play heads up as well. Yeah. I played only heads up cash for like six years yeah. or something. Super fun, right? It's yeah. the best format, I think. I love it. Yeah. That shit was... Wow, and Ray D just folding the ace queen. Heads up against the same guy. That is uh, the most fun thing in the world to do. It's amazing. It is, yeah. I used to <laughs> love that shit. I used to love battling. Yep. I, I literally didn't give a fuck about anything. I'd just be like, let's let's go. Like, I would I would know someone was better than me. I'd be playing for more money <laughs> than I could afford both, and I would just do both nonstop. I just didn't give a fuck. I just loved it so much. <laughs> what is it? Well, that was another, that was like a lifetime ago, but what yes. What does that look like? Are you like four tabling or eight tabling or something? Like that? Well, usually four is about as much as, yeah. If you're a silder, you're twelve tabling, but if you're a normal human being, yeah. you're four tabling. Four head, four tables heads up is, you can, just like, oh, every, that, that is hand, a right? lot. It's intense. That is like That's gotta be crazy like rapid 40, fire. 40, 40 full rings or something. Equivalent. Yeah, maybe, or like 15 or 20 or whatever it is. It's something fucking crazy. And you're, you're always playing the same person. Did you ever play like two different people? Yeah, but then I wouldn't be playing four tables, whatever, yeah. Garrett raising on the button with queen four. Hank calls with nines. Espen's got king jack. Could see a three bet here. And he is dialing it up. 6,300. 6, this is where it gets interesting because Garrett gets out of the way, but Hank's hand is really under-repped. I mean, Hank definitely could have three-betted three bet three bet with nines. He decided not to. Back then, like, internet poker was just super fun. No one knew anything, like, cheating wasn't a thing, like, the way it's, like, oh, yeah, on the yeah, yeah. now. Like, you yeah. know, so, it was so fucking fun. Like, I hated the oh. having to sit in a room alone when I'm so extroverted, mm -hmm. but everything else is not on my phone. Hank makes so the call. Good. Pot's got 14,000 in it. And uh, Queen 10 5 flop. Espen with the overcards and the straight draw. Everyone played back that Man, Everyone the nine of hearts on the turn like, like, would just be absolute like juice. Rounders and then like money maker one and it was like yeah, game over. Yeah. Like, some people would you know deposit a few yeah. times. And, and Espen does know, not fire at it, and he hits his balls. king. I think it was pretty close to when I started that everything got stuck. Like it definitely wasn't a very long. Yeah. yeah. Even things like limit holdem. So to let you in on the convo, right? Even things like limit hold of forever ago, yeah, right? You just have like three guys of the nine, just like. Just Hank no checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See so if Espen like, fires I'm, here. Checks it back one more time. And he's going to check it back again. Backdoor clubs get there, neither player. With clubs. Hank's got one of them. Uh, I gotta imagine Hank's just gonna give up and this is gonna go check and then probably a bet, a small little bet by Espen. Man, 
Many people have, have made the joke you made where you threw in many time chips at once, yeah. but it, it works every time. It's yeah. funny every single time somebody does it. Yeah, I knew it wasn't novel. <laughs> yeah. And I kept Wow. All in. It was like... And Hank. Look at Espen. Think about this one. Wow. Look, everything about it is the perfect setup for a bluff. I had not a strong hand, but the right hand is just what I thought it was. Yeah. Hank bluffed earlier with the four bet when he had jack ten of spades. Yeah. Does this every once in a while. Wow, nice play there by Hank. <laughs> Hank recognizing that Espen had showdown value. And he turns his nines into a bluff, and Espen is thinking about that one. Thank you. Charles K says it back. What the bluff? <clears throat> the massive overbet from Hank. <laughs> that is always going to be funny. <laughs> Not what happens, but me saying that joke every time. Every time, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got a hand here. And the end of the gun plus one with tens. Ray D with aces. Big flop and big turn. Three bet there from Ray D. A call. Oh, top set. Nothing went Andy's way last week. Does he get it all from Ray? I did not love it. Anything less than all in is called. Uh, four thousand. Uh, did not want to see all in. Ray bets four thousand into a ten thousand five hundred dollar pot. Andy's got tens. <laughs> Yeah, he said counting it down. And I just didn't want to bust it. 19, the race to 19,000. Can't bust out on the bubble. Andy, going to raise right away on what is a pretty wet board. Top set for Andy. He's looking for it all. Ray D is deciding what he wants to do with aces. Are you an Admiral friend? Um, well, I haven't met him before the main event, but we went out for food and stuff after the main. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. It seemed like it was like, I guess I'll describe it as very slightly testy. Like all in. You, all There's the all in from Ray. And he snaps him off. Uh, prefer once, but up to you. I prefer once, up to you though. I'd rather go twice, but if you want to go once, whatever, I don't care. I'd rather go twice. Go twice. We're going twice. And he obliges. Ray asking to go twice, and Ray's going to need an ace. Twice, yes, twice. They're going to run it twice. No ace there. How was that? Ray D looking for the Barry Greenstein ace on the river. It's not an ace. Deuce of spades. And uh, Andy has stacked Ray D. With top set on what was a pretty wet board. Ray D could not get away from it. Pot is $152,000. Roller coaster ride for Ray D. He was up 50K at one point. 
But he ends up losing that and more. I'm sure you guys are cool now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were I felt like we were cool all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably just in my head. I think Essence is being diplomatic like you are. Yeah, maybe. I think. Yeah. No. I mean, he's definitely like a legitimately nicer person. For sure. That's for sure. No, I don't Oh, thank you very much. Oh, easy money. Good, good, good. I wanted thank to play you. it. I wanted to play it with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to get made fun of in the chat. <laughs> if you're off screen, I bomb that hand. <laughs> well, I'll on you. Pocket Jacks for Rusuke. Did you play with him? So if we don't oh, I have him, just one had, uh, no, uh, on a TV game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know we played like some high stakes cash in the five next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seemed really cool. Cool guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't get to know him very well. What a waste. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw a couple hands he played like on Twitter. Uh, Three bet here from JR with the seven deuce. Bad. So I was cheering for him. You know, I didn't. JR I didn't trying to seven deuce, you know, Mr. Seven Deuce. I wasn't cheering against you. No, no, no. Suzuki not going to go anywhere though, not yet at least. Yeah. And he makes the call. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, I don't want to like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is definitely the top yeah, opponent. Yeah, And then we end up head seven nothing. Yeah. I mean, the difference between knowing if someone's like a great... Ace high flop. One of the best in the world. I mean, JR incredibly hard to has a very cooperative flop. He's looking for a bluff. Very tough, very sticky, very tough. I've led so many tough hands for the same, like, with yeah. three tables left. 7,500. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Pretty big sizing here from JR. And Rasuke, not a believer. He's going to make this call. Pot nearly $25,000. Chair's going to have to fire one more time if he wants to win it. This was like his first holding tournament. He was still He played really well, I think. So especially that considering. Yeah, that's wild. 12,000. Chair gives up and... <laughs> yeah. One more bet would have done it. <laughs> oh. One more bet. I One more know. bet. Ice Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love this guy. He is. Uh, oh. His 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 positivity and his energy is just contagious. In the chat asking, does anyone know what the max buy-in? No max buy-in in this game. You can buy in for as much as you want. I think the min buy-in is $20,000. I want to say. And Martin Lamb says, dude laughing makes me laugh. Yeah. Honestly, it's pretty awesome. My grandfather used to tell me that. If you smile, a lot of times you just uh, you help somebody else smile. It's a pretty cool thing. Top pair here for JR, and he could get himself in trouble again for Suke with the over pair against JR's queens. Stanley not a believer. He's going to stick around with threes. Yeah, they're both really great for different reasons. I haven't been to New Zealand. Yeah. It looks really cool. Really I don't think JR is going to fold just yet. Uh, eat outside, right? Yeah. Okay. 15? 15, yeah. You? You travel a lot? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what's your favorite place? 
I I swing this high up for me as well. Just because it's so different from everything. I feel like everybody says that, yeah. yeah. Stanley does pick up a little more equity. He can catch a three or a five. JR needs a queen or a jack. But as you can see, Rasuke, a, about a three to one favorite to win the hand if it goes to showdown. I go to like the best restaurants, I love food. I like to like eat and drink nice things. Everybody does. Yeah. I think like, yeah, once you like, if you have some disposable income and especially if you get a little older, like and it's about more than just partying, yeah. like food becomes a hobby for like everyone. Yeah, it's the best, right? Yeah. Um, Stanley's yeah. still yeah. calling yeah. here. Does that get JR off the hook? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to imagine Queen Jack is good here. Against the better and a caller. But JR. Gonna be stubborn. He sticks around. Six on the river. It's pretty clean. I mean, no reason for Rasuke not to bet this. I mean, at this point, you put one of them on, like, ace-queen. Go for max value. It's a question of what the sizing is here. And a bit, like, they're very nice as well, you know, like, a bit different mentality there. Like, the girls in the Deja Vic compared to L.A., for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here you have a lot of beautiful girls as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit more, like, the culture here is a bit And Rasuke actually bets pretty small. He bets 9,000. Maybe compared to Iceland or some yeah. of the Scandinavian countries. My only counter to that would be like, there's so many subcultures within LA. Like, each neighborhood is like quite a bit different. That's fair. Like, uh, like the Hollywood culture is like way different than like That's what I'm the thinking beach. About. Yeah. That's what I'm Which thinking. is more uh, commonly thought of internationally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's but, the link there. Yeah, but I think like the beach culture is more laid back, a little less superficial. I'm not gonna say there's no. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know here, what Stanley is thinking here. I mean, maybe he's thinking if he raises, he can get JR to fold, too. Yeah. No, uh, that, that's the part of California I do love. Yeah. Like, in San Diego, when we were there as well, yeah. everyone was so laid back and friendly. And, For sure. and he's going to call this, well, this is which so is weird. just bizarre. And does JR want to overcall it? Now, I have seen this happen in certain and games where you call... And you actually get a better hand to fold behind you. And look at this. Rasuke gets no respect whatsoever and gets paid off in two spots. Oh, fish call. Yeah, yeah. How big was your kid? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three. Okay, three. I just... Oh. To catch. Okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he, he caught. That's strong. <laughs> Good side, man. Fresh cut. EDC. EDC. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big party guy. Yeah, yeah. I used to be when I was younger. Now I don't party at all. Oh. Basically, mm. I just. Oh. I, I, yeah. That worked out well for Ruske. That's $9,000 and gets called in two spots. Whiskey and cigar lounge, stuff like that is more me. Like nightclubs and stuff, I can't do it anymore. I'm too old, I'm too withered. Can't do it. I always kind of feel like nobody really likes nightclubs. You just go because it's like a place to meet girls. So when you're when you're married, like, yeah, I really... Then there's no... I really don't give a shit about my life anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Yeah. Yep. That's where you need to test yourself, Andy. I only overheard a little, but uh, going to like an environment where it's very challenging to be sober, like a Hollywood nightclub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done any of that yet? I've been to a few yeah. events where everybody was drinking except me. Yeah. And that was very, very, very hard. It's challenging. Like, sure, and then yeah. I've had like, and like there was like Mexican food, and like it's so hard to not have a Corona when you have Mexican food. Like, for sure, yeah. it's like, I thought you have a fresh job. Yeah. Especially so the music hard. is super yeah. loud. Oh my God. It's like packed with people. There are like flaring lights Otherwise, everywhere. Yeah. Being sober in that environment is oh, just like no, nightmare. No, no, no. Right. Yeah. yeah, without boring you with the details, we've talked a little bit. I go through periods where I don't drink either. It was uh, even tough, like, a few weeks ago when we all had champagne for the yeah. one-year thing, and, like, yeah. I really wanted to drink it. It was sitting there, but I just, yeah, yeah. I just really forced myself yeah. not to, like... My relationship with alcohol is complicated at best. That's like the most positive way I can look at it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Lauren, I love poker. It's the best. Three pairs. Do you have an expiration date or a goal of never drinking again? I'm taking a month at a time right now. Okay. Like, good. Right. That's good. We're if good. I can do never, but I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to check on my liver, like maybe <laughs> if I hit the one year mark. Yeah. Uh, I read a lot of books on it. Yeah. Uh, that helped me too. Okay. It just like I'm tries to brainwash you over and over again with the same five or ten ideas about why it's not good to drink. Why it's not worth it? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, those those help me a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. <laughs> I mean, I would like to be able to just drink in moderation, like, randomly here. Yeah, like, yeah. But I don't know if, like, health-wise, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that's fair. I think that's, like, if you yeah. enjoy a lot of the alcohol, like, not the bugs or whatever, but if you enjoy, like, good whiskeys and stuff, like, yeah. having a little bit now and then probably doesn't change very much. Like, we're not professional athletes or anything, like, it's... I mean, I was just, like, relying on it. Like, when I was doing the streaming stuff for China, you know, like, Chinese stuff, like, I, w I would not stream unless I was drinking. Like, when I first started doing it, I was like, there's no way I can do this sober. Like, yeah. it's too weird, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you were doing that? I, I was drunk, like, half the time when I was streaming. Oh. <laughs> like, doing, like, I have to, like, speak in Chinese, and, like, I'm, like, really not that great at Chinese. And then I have to like talk to the chat. I was like, I can't do this sober. So I, I don't know. Drunk. I don't know if, if this thought like you can relate to it in terms of what you're talking about. But for me, one of the biggest obstacles for me to jump over, I'll get deep here for a second, is I think like a deep-rooted insecurity that I'm not an interesting person. Uh, and so when I'm at like an event and everyone's drinking, like I'm like. Well, I'm funny and social and interesting, you know. But if I'm sober. I have nothing to offer, sure, you know, sure, yeah. uh, and it's like getting over that is, yeah. It's, yeah, I think that's what drives it for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at a party like like three weeks ago, and like one of my really good friends, like he's the guy that I always get drunk with. Yeah. And he was drunk, and I was sober, and yeah. dude, he was fucking annoying. Like this guy is not yeah. so annoying. Yeah. I was like, is this what I'm like when I'm drunk, dude? Jesus. Yeah, you need. You also so like annoying. need if you're doing that, you need friends who at least get it enough to be yeah. supportive of what you're doing. Yeah, you know? I mean, he wasn't annoying because he was, because I couldn't drink. He was, he was annoying because he was drunk and that's the way. Like, you've never seen him It's like annoying that when anymore. you see drunk people acting, because you know, i never seen it. Yeah, I'm drunk with him. Yeah, of course. And I'm like... <laughs> yeah, the, the one worse than that is the guy who just keeps trying to pressure you to drink. Right, yeah, if yeah, that's yeah. a close friend, that guy sucks, yeah. you know? Thank you. Aspirin's a small one. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hustle Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I want to thank you all for joining us. We've got a couple hours left in tonight's show. Yeah, I mean, will be here all weekend long. And uh, looking forward to him playing on Monday as well. That's Max Payne Monday. I'll oversimplify the biggest challenge for me. I don't have an, I don't have like um, an issue with drinking. Like I have no addiction to it, like whatever. So the negative components of drinking for my life are pretty small. That makes it extremely difficult to stop drinking, <laughs> right? But if you go, would your life overall be better if you didn't drink at all? I'd be like, probably yes. But like- But it's a 5% improvement, whereas for some people it's a 200% improvement. Yeah, and it's a lot of work and you, you know, yeah. I would, I would for sure just be sober if it um, very seriously affected the quality of my life. Yeah, yeah. I you still be able to enjoy it. Yeah. I think a lot of people have what you're saying there about like not feeling like an interesting person. Yeah. Or using it as like a social lubricant because you're for too sure. introverted. For sure, like, yeah. Especially uh, if you're like young, insecure, single. Yeah. For me, it was like a huge yeah. social lubricant. I would hate talking to girls if I was sober. I was like start sweating it's and awful. be fucking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> Cold calling a girl is an awful, awful oh, experience. <laughs> How's it going? You know, Justin, I started dating uh, my wife before 
Twitter was popular, so I never got in on it. But I think that sounds way more comfortable than having to just go up and hit on a girl at a bar. You know, that's like, sure. that's rough. Yeah, I, I think, uh, like, we're obviously both very happy with how things ended up. Yeah. But I feel like we missed the whole thing. Yeah, it would have been a lot of fun. Yeah. Or at least for like a week, you know? Yeah. I'd love to go on seven dates in a week or yeah, something yeah. at one point. In seven my, fucking in 14. Life. Yeah, exactly. They're jamming them in. Yeah. Uh, Stanley, what yeah, you, but so much different than just the normal he knows your yeah. week. courting <laughs> process. Yeah. He only has to get through me. <laughs> I'm the four. Bang having a good night tonight. Masuke with the King 10 of Hearts gonna go $1,200. We got rid of the $800 straddle, but we still have the $400 one. So we're playing $100, $200, $400 with a $200 big blind ante. Three bet here from Stanley. Aces have been plentiful at this table. And uh, we've got an interesting little run out here. JR with a pair and a flush draw. Rasuke open ended. Stanley's Aces only 36% to win now against the field. We've got 11,500 in there already. All three players with over six figures. See how big this pot gets. Stanley bets 4,200. JR calls. Rasuke makes the call as well. 24,000 in the pot. A lot of interesting turn cards. An eight is just ridiculous, as it would give JR to pair and Rasuke to straight. Fortunately, that man right there, very happy with the turn card. That's a pretty clean one, Deuce of Hearts. And Stanley bets 11,000, JR now. Still this pair and it's flush draw. JR makes the call. Pot now 46,100. Uh, in... Suke getting a pretty good price. Trying to decide if he should draw to this. At this point, has to at least think maybe a my outs aren't clean. 
I'll probably keep playing the main event a lot of years. Like, I took a lot of years off when I played this year. Uh, it's definitely, like, one of the few things, like, in poker I definitely have not done and would really like to is, like, make a deep run. Like, I guess that would be, like, let's call it final three or four tables. You know? I know I'll probably have to play 40 years to have a shot at it. Or and there's the call. Pot now, $57,100. Yeah, the river. Times or something oh, yeah. Like well, that is a great run out for aces. Yeah, yeah. I have like a couple top 150 finishes. So, but it, None of the straight draws or the flush draw really, get completed. Really yeah. Yeah. A lot of river cards you'd think Stanley would check it back, but I think on this one he can actually bet. Yeah, I mean, Try to get value from yeah, a queen. I don't think it's like worth any dollars, including the travel and whatever. Uh, so it would only be because like it sounds fun. And it wasn't as fun to me for a few years. Ten seconds. Like whatever the they did it the year before. I think you have to bet this. They did yeah. one like in the fall. That one just seemed like a cluster talk. I was like, no, okay. no, 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 no. I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I think it was Adding the fall. Yeah, it was October. Yeah, October, yeah. yeah. You had to, to be vaccinated to even play with yeah. a bunch of rules. Like, I don't think they allowed international people to come in and for that one. No, they so did. Because I remember they made, like, an extra flight. Some friends of mine flew over last minute. Oh, yeah, they them. changed it last minute is oh, what okay. they did. I vaguely okay. remember that, yeah. It's going to be hard to answer this, but I'll try anyway. Like, how was that experience in terms of, let's say, starting with, like, 100 people left all the way down to the end? Is it really fun, more stressful? Uh, what? Such a hard question, though. Um, Stanley looks like he's going to yeah. bet a lot. I don't know what the extra hundreds are for, but this is a uh, this is a big bet here, and Jr. quickly folds. Nice pop there for Stanley. I don't even know how to describe it. Sorry, sorry. Did you feel like alive in a way that. that you never really have? Like, was that like kind of the the height of like your your life really thus far, or, or did it in the moment not really feel like that, and you were just kind of focused on just trying to play well? Or? I remember there was one moment where we were 12 or 13 people left or something, and I got in aces versus ace king okay. for like chip lead pot. Okay. And I remember at that point I felt like, okay, this might actually happen now. Yeah. Before that, I didn't really think about it. Like, okay. And yeah. like, live in front of you. I, I was in a good position before that as well, but I never really saw it as like a it. reasonably likely I thing. I was always just looking at it, okay, now I'm like 5% yeah. to win it or something, you know? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But after that, and I was like, see, okay, uh, the five remaining five field is like five relatively five soft. Yeah, yeah. I have all the chips now. Seven. Yeah, yeah. I need eight. So at that point, that felt, I felt a bit like, yeah. but I'm a very baseline person, you know, I'm not very emotional, I'm not, I've always been like very baseline, like, so I never got like, oh shit, let's fucking go, you know, I was never like that, and, which is boring, like, <laughs> I wish I was a bit more like that sometimes. Well, I'm sure it helps you with poker, so that's cool. <laughs> sure. Yeah. There's an 800 straddle, Ashley's going to start over here. Hmm. Justin. Six thousand. All right, so I'll just very briefly describe, like, uh, like again, when I was younger, I had no bankroll management, nothing like that. Like I've never had a stop loss at any point in my life. But even the concept of that to me sounds fucking ridiculous. Like what kind of fucking more has a stop loss. Anyway, uh, so but when I was younger, this was a problem, right? Um, but I can remember I played in some spots where there were really big opportunities, uh, and I would just before when I was playing, and then when I inevitably ran hot in those spots, like both. I just like never felt like more alive and my whole life I've always been chasing that like nothing I do when I play poker ever feels even a fraction as fun as some of those moments you know yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering if you line. say it again because it was all on the line like because of the stakes of for sure yeah. for sure either uh, in in some of the early cases like if it went poorly I would you know would go from seven figures to broke like in, in a session or whatever uh, and and in some of the later sessions, opportunities to like become set for life if it went well, and yeah. And in, in both of those situations, they were 
they're like, yeah. So like everything that, like when I play poker now, there's like a lot of numbness involved, you know, related to that. But yeah, I was gonna ask, do you still feel that sometimes? Never, never, no, no. It's over. And it's not. It's a, a thing of the past. And it's not a fraction as fun as a result. Like I still have a lot of fun, but it's not even as close to as fun as, you know, yeah, yeah, those yeah. those many. What's so, your incentive now, then? I enjoy it. No, I have fun. Yeah, it's just not like. Those are some of like the best moments of my so life. Much pressure, actually. you know, yeah. like outside of <laughs> personal things in my wedding, and yeah, you yeah. know, when I think about poker, those are yeah, it doesn't beat it, you know. So you didn't get too much of that though, maybe just because you're so even keeled, do you think, or or did you feel some of that? What do you think? How long is it going to last your passion about poker? Well, I'm shocked. I still have a passion. How so, long? How long is your first? Uh, I started that? playing in 2003. <laughs> no. When? 2003. 2003 that's, uh, I started 20, one year after. Yeah, 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 19, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I would say I'll always have a passion. I definitely have a passion now, you know. So in terms of curve or passion curve, 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 curve what, where problem, is it? Problem. From 0 to 10? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so if at one point was at a 10, it, yeah. like, when it's at its best now, it's still an 8 or 9. Yeah, I still really enjoy it. Uh, great. Sure. Uh, but what were you going to say in terms of, did you feel some of those things like during this main event? I was going to say, I remember I felt this when I won like my first like six digit score online. I felt elated yeah. and I, okay. we had like a celebration and it was very like much like this. But I think this one was too big. It was like too overwhelming, I think. Yeah. So I didn't have that. Yeah. But I think it was just because of all the, everything that was going on around it. It was like a bit too much, too many impressions. Like when I won the big tournament online, I was like in a, I was home in London with my friends. We were living in like a grand house, you know, and like, it was just like a very pure moment. Yeah. This one was a bit too much to really. Yeah. Uh, Three bet from Fang, JR makes like the call. The shell where you only just Jack High Flop. On the poker? Yeah, 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 okay, exactly. Yeah. And now like retrospectively, are you able to appreciate all those moments or it's still not quite as much as you like, would have liked? No. Not yet, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. But, but, but it's because it's been like non-stop ever since, you know? Yeah. I haven't had like a moment alone. Yeah. I need like a week where I can just go to the spa, meditate, yeah. go but in you, the nature. But you've chosen stuff. to do that, interestingly, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, just cause you just think it's a, it's good business to be doing that right now, I guess. It's good business, yeah. and it's like a good opportunity, like riding the momentum or whatever, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. like, I'm very relevant right now. Yeah. I'm not sure. going to be relevant in... Yeah. Like, or hopefully I will be, but <laughs> yeah, not yeah. necessarily. I know what you mean, yeah. Like, if I go AFK now, if I just, like, okay, I'm set, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, of course. Patrick in the so chat. Girl. Patrick, our director, yeah, give him some love. Most people, if they, you know, make the kind of money you do did in, like, a week, they're, like, a lot to lose it and make a bunch of bad decisions. And uh, you seem like an extremely, like, well-put-together guy. Like, who just, like, immediately is going to, like... Fang gives up the ace-king. JR wins that one. Do things that, like, will enhance your life as a result. It's cool to hear, you know? Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Um... Until you told me you put all You are watching Hustler Casino Heather Live. Or... Garrett, <laughs> Espin, <laughs> Andy Stacks. Yeah, so I saw your thing. Ray D. Like, How should I invest my money? Or, or someone asked for you. Pads asked for Whatever, okay. And then I just saw an endless sea of bad advice. You know? like <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Endless yeah. sea of No, it. no, no. It was horrible. Yeah. Uh, it was horrible. Uh, bad advice or just... No, no, no. People were trying. Yeah, people were just sincerely... People sincerely. were trying. Okay, here's, here's the conceptual issue I had with most of the advice, by far. Like... Position. Everything I'm going to say is so painfully obvious, but I'll say it anyway for in case, okay. you know, Ace it's of use to ask it. It's like, oh, it's once you, like, have a, accumulated, like, blind, quite a bit of wealth, it's is, not about doubling it. It's about fucking blind. protecting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everyone's oh, telling, yeah, everyone yeah. telling you to put it in risky investments and a variety of crypto projects. And yeah. um, what do you want me to do? Uh, pull the four back. Okay. Thousand straddle. You missed one. Sorry about that. Because they're looking for the next... AMC or GameStop. Three, Whatever it is, yeah. like, you need to be protecting when you have, like, a thousand dollar straddle on right. his hands. I have no incentive to go from, like, six million to 15 or to 20 or yeah. whatever, you know? Like, yeah. there's no incentive. Yeah. But going from six down to, like, one or whatever, that would be, like, a big, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, the goal should be to try and hover around six the rest of your life. Then you're just yeah, going to yeah. be killing it. That'd be a dream, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, and of course, sure. as you know, and you've talked to smart people, that's not. That's not particularly hard to do. You just need to I not agree. play bad to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. 
No, but I'm really looking forward now to like getting, like going a place where I can like disconnect for a bit. Yeah. Whenever that time comes, yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be so. Tank the preflop razor. <laughs> go in the forest. So Does pick yeah. up a flush draw now. <laughs> Andy with ace queen. Did not three bet. His hand a little bit under repped right now. There's no gambling tax in the UK. Okay. So like most most of my Norwegian friends and Scandinavian friends who play poker for a living live in London or in the uh, UK. Yeah. Some of them live in Malta. Right? Malta? Oh, there, yeah. I used Same. to live in Malta, but the thing about Malta is that people think that gambling seven. is tax free there, seven. but it's not really. Oh, right. Like I had a tax lawyer in Malta. And he's and Hank bet seven thousand yeah, here, and we've seen Hank do some crazy here, things. So. Okay. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Don't take your eyes off this hand. Mm. There's a call from Andy. Yeah. Pot's got 25,000 in it. Hank has 80 behind. And the board okay. brings us a wheel. They're going to chop this up if it goes to showdown. Not the most exciting river card, for sure. 30. 30. Have a six. Oh. Straight. <laughs> Play the board. <laughs> 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 I was hoping you might mock if I say straight. But it didn't work. <laughs> Shady Andy, shady Andy. <laughs> I should have checked race. Smack Wow, that's a You make it one out of five. That's No, you'd be surprised. Like, sometimes there'll be Broadway on the board, and then, like, the guy will move in, you know? And then there's, like, four players in the pot, and, like, one player will sometimes fold, you know? This is crazy. I've seen it. I have. Because people just don't. flush out there. It's very nice when someone shoves on the board. Broadway. Especially when you had it on the flop. Yeah. Lauren Dillon, got about an hour and a half left in tonight's show. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's nice having Henry Kilbane in the box as well. Easy poker every day. Henry, a very good poker player and a good commentator as well. Like I said earlier, I had the privilege of commentating on the Galfon Challenge. And Henry joined me for a lot of those sessions. I guess the, the poker community is still relatively small in China, like wherever, you know, everybody kind of knows everybody. Uh -huh. right. Not really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I feel like there's so many players, you know, but it's like... You know, King I've high flop, no suits out there. there. Stanley with so top pair. He's new. Huh? He's new. Very new to poker, yeah. right? So, yeah. Thank you, Wesley. I appreciate the love, man. I mean, he did a great yeah. job because... In seven months, right? Yeah, for sure. Everybody knows him. He's improved. Patrick. Yeah. Henry sounds a lot like Zio right now. Yeah. Henry, shut up already, okay? No, Stop talking so much. He is uh, Justin Sun. Next, Justin Sun. Justin Sun. In crypto okay. world. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Seems like that, right? <laughs> Wait, did it? Very smart guy. He's a crypto trader, right? Yeah. Like he's not a founder. Or a yeah, he's not a builder, but still in the crypto community. He's big in the crypto community? Like, Wesley, uh, like, is he like famous in the crypto community, like in the trading community? Or? Not really right now, but he's working hard. Four thousand. Four I mean, thousand. Thai will tell. Hmm? Thai tells. Time, time will tell. Okay. Yep. Time okay. will tell. Ray D firing again here with the ace. It's kind of gut shot. Not much else going on here. And also, you know how to like run the Mimi culture, like uh, easy hold, like overplay. Sounding <laughs> 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 uh, Are you in crypto also? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stanley in the tank on this one. Pot's got ten thousand in it. 4,000 to call, and he's got to worry about the river. And he is going to make this call. So Ray looking for an ace or jack. Uh, 
shorter than all the way down. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a lot of people who like tried to do this because they had too much leverage and it was like it was wavy on the yeah. way down, right? It wasn't like straight down and had like some bubbles. Ray D gives up, Stanley takes like, the like, pot. Like, it's hard to ride it all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to thank our sponsors, WPT Global. One dollar. That's all it costs. One dollar gets you into a million dollar tournament. Good to see JRB working with them. We're going to Singapore next month. Singapore? Yeah, because we have a uh, like a blockchain EMBA in China, the biggest one. So they have a conference over there. Invest in anything really like it's so hard to say what's gonna happen now because macroeconomics are so fucked and it's yeah yeah I don't know it seems like really it seems like a good place to just chill and yeah I don't know I mean there's probably four people at this table smarter than me on these sort of things but you can never go wrong like in a well diversified brokerage account with a few major index funds, you know? Mm -hmm. and it's slightly on sale now and then just close your eyes and see what happens in 40 years, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can play better than that, but it's hard <laughs> and you can make big mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12. Two finance before the Yeah, okay. Professor told us uh, when I, 30 years ago when I was in business school, yeah. but just don't have that kind of conviction, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you go up and go up, you go older, get older and older, yeah. you're kind of learning that is the truth. Yeah, the yeah. simple simple is beautiful. Simple can be beautiful, yeah. It's beautiful, not can be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> simple yeah. is beautiful, sure, yeah. beautiful, right? Simple. So simple when you was beautiful. young, you, did, yeah. you just want to try everything you yeah. want to try. And it's not that I'm like more savvy than like you guys were years ago or whatever. It's that that sort of um, viewpoint is much more prevalent now than a generation ago. Go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Garrett, can you try to set your questions to come? Is it working? Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter how long you are in that business or in that industry. It really matters is that you learn from the mistake or not. Yeah. Somebody yeah. kept doing the same mistake for like 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that pocket, right? For sure. Life. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the people are paying mistakes in mistakes relationships, mistakes. And how to improve. Yeah. 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 Every time you make mistake, yeah. right? Yeah. Every time, every time, yeah, every sure. game. That's about the most heartbreaking thing I think that's ever happened in my life. If I make a mistake and then I do it again. Yeah, oh, it's so painful. It's like, so painful. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> One thousand now. People, t people telling you you are in that industry. Uh, he is in that industry for like 20, 40 plus years. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter how long you are in that industry. Yeah, yeah. Really matter is how quick you learn. Learn from mistakes. <laughs> yeah. mistake, right? We film shows here Monday through Friday on Hustle Casino Live. Shows start at 5 p.m. But if you ever miss a show, they are all available on our YouTube channel. We have uh, hundreds and hundreds of shows at this point. We have been uh, going for over a year now. It's like, uh, Check them all out. PLO, to, like, a lot of Short Deck. Like, like, when I think about like, doing Just uh, huge names in poker. All that we ask you to do is subscribe, tell your friends about it, and then give us a thumbs up when you do watch. I feel guilty too sometimes yeah, when I do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Try to pretend to be a hero. Yeah. <laughs> Jump from here to there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and most of the time, simple is a beautiful. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. Well, 
King high flop here, two clubs. JR with top pair, Garrett with a flush draw. That man right there with a bigger flush draw and a pair of eights. This could get interesting. Garrett with a monster flop, actually. He's got the straight draw to go along with the flush draw. Little does he know that his flush is no good if he gets it. And Garrett is going to raise to 10,000. JR with top pair on what is a pretty wet board. And he's going to call. JR just does not like folding top pair. And Rasuke. Rasuke is going to call as well. This pot's 35,000. And there's the flush. And JR makes two pair. Oh my, I came back just in time for this one. What a turn card. And this pot already bloated up to 35,000. How much? 15,000. And Garrett bets 15,000. What does JR do with two pair? What a sick hand. Garrett, as you can see, is drawing dead. JR can actually catch a king or a 10 on the river. JR makes the call. Rusuke can only lose to a couple of hands. Loses to the ace high flush. He loses to the queen high flush. And that is it. Uh, <laughs> Suke is going to raise here. The problem with this raise is I don't know if he can get called by worse. Maybe he can. I don't know. Just, like, what bluffs does he have here? Anyway, you cut it though, and look at that, Garrett folds. <laughs> so I fucking hate this game today. You have how much left? 30 more. 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20. All in. All in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a double cap. And JR moves all in. I. I, I. I, I don't think you can fold now. I mean, Rusuke is probably just thinking, though, this can't be a bluff, right? <laughs> no, 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 I, I have a good hand, good hand, good hand, good hand, good hand. <laughs> Just yeah, so sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oscar. Yeah. You got clubs? Huh? You have clubs? Uh, yes. Yeah. You have, what do you have? I have two pairs. Two pairs? Okay. What? One, how many times? Uh, I, I don't. I don't want to think. Whatever. Twice? Sure. Okay. Huge pot here, 222,000. JR looking for a king or a 10 on the river. Deuce of spades. Queen of spades. And JR doubles his opponent up. 222,000 in that pot. Wow. Would have been sweet if he folded. Yeah. 1,500 over there. Yeah, yeah. That's, every one of them has been something dumb like that. Either. I had so little. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What a hand. Thank you, Fumes. Appreciate that. Up, Very nice of you to say. Two red aces and <laughs> yeah. fold the turn. <laughs> what a jerk. Lucky, lucky. Good flop, right? Good flop, yeah, yeah. 
One hit crush throw. And good town also. Yeah. 83,000. 83,000. 83? 50, 70, 80, 2, 3. Ah, tough, tough, tough. Mm. Thank you. Bad. Bad. One fifty. Perfect time to take a look at our Nick Fertucci Show leaderboard. That's right, the Nick Fertucci Show is coming on Monday. 145,000. That's a lot of profit. JR and Garrett both down six figures. The most profitable man, also the most active player at this table. Got an hour left in tonight's show. Wow. Garrett raising it up. Base five of diamonds. What a spot there. And what a turn card for sure. Making everybody's hand a little bit better. Andy with King-10 this time. Garrett with Ace-5 of Diamonds. <laughs> Flush draw and a pair. And Andy now with Trip Kings. What's up, Israeli Ron? Chief, thank you for being here. Thank you, Dana, for the love. Andy betting 3,500. Garrett gonna call. Pot now just under $12,000. There's the diamond. Andy bets 8,000. Garrett with the nut flush, but far from the nuts. On what we see is a paired board. Just under 20,000 in the pot. 35. And Garrett is going to raise to 35. Twenty-seven thousand back to Andy. Andy's getting two to one to make this call. And he pays him off. 35. <laughs> A 
And the game continues. We're playing 100, 200, 400 on the, what is our big game Friday? Well over a million dollars on the table. Garrett's still stuck, but a little bit less. JR has added another 150,000. He's down about 170 on the night. It's been a tough night for him. Three, three, two clubs out there. JR with top pair. JR checking. Garrett hits his jack on the river. The only person running uh, worse than Garrett tonight is JR. Surprisingly, a pretty big pot considering what these guys have. Garrett bets 9,000. JR getting about three to one. There are no easy hands tonight. Call. call. He's gonna make the call. There are no easy hands tonight. Another one for Garrett. Garrett now only down about $49,000. He was down over 150 at one point, so. He's fighting back. Max Payne Monday. Some of your favorites. Playing 1020, no limit hold'em. And uh, we got the 2022 WSOP main event champion jumping in the fray. Raver Poker will be commentating on that one. And uh, I am hoping I'm going to, uh, they're just having too much fun. I got to jump in there, right? I got to play. I got to play on Max Payne Monday. It just looks like too much fun. Masuke up $145,000. Fang up $59,000. Andy up forty eight. Ray D is down sixty. He was up fifty at one point. The roller coaster ride is very real. Stanley picks up Ace King. Get a raise, called in a couple of spots. 7,000 in the pot right now. It should always be that easy when you have Ace King, right? Raise with Ace King. Give me a nice dry Ace high flop.
JR now drawing dead. Tilt is real. JR is just having one of those nights. We've all been there. And I think Stanley is playing his hand as perfection against specifically JR in his state. Love to see a check on the river by Stanley. Yeah, JR does give up. Wise check back there from JR. And you can see, if you're if you're in JR's seat and you see what, how the way Stanley played that hand, you can kind of start understanding how the table is perceiving you at this point. And I'm like, okay. Go all in with Hustler Casino. Subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we go live. I don't normally do shout outs, but I want to do a shout out for my man DGAF, who uh, switching up his schedule to accommodate mine. So I will be commentating on Wednesdays and most Fridays going forward. And I believe he will be commentating on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Garrett with the three bet. <laughs> Easy game. I believe Bart Hansen, though, will be here August 25th and 26th. So occasionally we'll have some guest commentators coming in on a Friday, and I'll take those off. <laughs> Nobody feels like <laughs> couldn't get a read on one person who looks content with what's going on. I'm loving it. That's how I'm talking. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So, no, that's poker. It's amazing. Yeah. I sure is fucking very unhappy. I'm very, I'm just, very proud of the way I'm playing. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't made one mistake. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, me either. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> Definitely playing solver poke. <laughs> well, <I do. laughs> Bang wins a small one. We've got an hour left in tonight's show. I want to thank you once again for joining us. Good to get back in the mix after a uh, lot of commentary over the summer for the World Series of Poker. Took about three and a half weeks off. So it is, uh, it feels great to be back here. Raise from Fang. Hank calls. Hank wearing the uh, the white today. Looking good. Fours are still good.
Hank. Not going to stick around very long. He lets the fours go. Get a race from Andy. Garrett calls. And Ray D considering a three bet with Ace Queen. And he is going to. Ray D on, started this hand on under 40,000 chips. We cannot go outside. So you play stuff online? And he is going to just take this one down. I don't, I don't like. It. My play is super loose, okay? <laughs> if I play online poker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but just just two times, I tried poker, online poker. <laughs> uh, I prayed, I start, only one minute. <laughs> Every prayer coming. <laughs> yeah, because I'm oh, maybe, right. maybe, 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 oh, no. maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Maybe... It's not personal, that's just how those games <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's fish. I know, I know, he's fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to play only. <laughs> oh, okay, 20, 20. 23. 20, 20. Oh, sorry. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. He didn't speak English either, so he knew what you meant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Let's go. Gamble, gamble. No gamble, no future. No gamble, no future. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three is good here. JR with Jack Deuce. Check, check. Interesting turn card. JR picks up a flush draw and a straight draw. He'll only win this hand one third of the time when it goes to showdown. Yusuke is going to bet 1500 and JR just done with it. I actually had a no, hand no. I should have called this, but I already made the fold motion because I'm an idiot. And I don't know what's happening right now. I was wondering actually. Yeah, JR's just out of sorts tonight. He's usually just always cool and collected, but definitely out of sorts tonight. We've all been there. Ace King Deuce, no suits out there. Check. Hank with a Check. gut shot, but no backdoor flush draw. JR with a pair of aces. Four, five. 45. Hank's gonna fire and fire large. I, I think JR's gonna call, he does.
I don't know if JR was nervous about just his ace. He's got to be pretty happy with aces up. And something that has not happened very often tonight, JR with the check mark next to his name, indicating he has won it. If, of course, he doesn't fold, which I don't think he's going to do. Whoa, wait a second. And Hank is raised to 37,000. And JR is, again, like no easy decisions tonight. What kind of story is Hank telling? I mean, nothing got there. Good pair, Hank. Ten seconds. I can't imagine JR folding this. Like, what are you losing to? Like some sort of weird set of sevens, right? Call. Yeah, he's going to make this call. Thank you. Yeah, let me find the guy who's down $180,000 and try to bluff him with five high. That'll work. I'm, I'm beaten down enough to fold that. It should have worked. Yeah, some people in the chat pointing out that maybe he could he was trying to rip a seven. Yeah, you just can't fold ace eight there. If he's got you beat, he's got you beat. That's funny. How? How do you have a set here, you asshole? Oh, no. Do you get a hot pot afterwards? I guess there's not much hot pot in Vegas. I like our reds. I like it better than the last year. Uh, I feel like the, you think a raise would have been believable uh, in that spot? Air conditioning is better? Oh, after I, mean, after I made the face. Last <laughs> year always smells like super rush to me. That's uh, something too close. Uh, last <laughs> year. Uh, mm. Ray D back up to fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so Stanley, what made you decide political science as the subject of your study? There's so many topic I, I'm interested in. Why are you interested in it? Just uh, the world is getting so complicated. It's hard, hard for us to understand. I just try to learn. Race. That's all about. Nothing. Just curiosity. Ace five for Stanley has got a uh, wheel draw. A deuce would be most unfortunate for Stanley. Hank yeah. would have the full house. Yeah, I'm always high on weed or cigarettes in here because of the smoke. I, didn't, I actually have never noticed until just now. Yeah, same. Yeah. Three thousand. Stanley's gonna bet his straight draw. Hank actually has the best hand, but he's not gonna stick around. He lets that one go. Heads up. Eight five of diamonds. Also sticking around, the seven would have been a uh, pretty sexy card for that man right there. Instead, it is a jack. Ace high is good. Check. 
Ace high. <laughs> Ace high is good. Say hi to some of the people in the chat. See Nick Bertucci in the chat. What's up, Nick? The Nick Bertucci Show with Veronica Brill. Making its debut on Monday. That's right, August 15th. Check it out. Mm -hmm. I, um, so I, I started getting back into poker this year. I see Jimmy Bluffett in there as well. What's up, Jimmy? Good to see you, buddy. Really big rock climber. Nice. And, uh, Great. Um, man, like, sometimes you're out there and, like, you're, you... You have ropes, but they won't protect you from getting hurt. Uh -huh. They're just you're yeah. just not gonna die a gruesome death. Yeah. You still break a leg or something, you fall. Yeah, I so. don't uh, rock climb, but I love learning about it. I've seen 50 documentaries about it, so I know what you're talking about. That's sick that you rock climb. That's amazing. Yeah. But I feel like when I first played this game, like my first time ever, it felt like kind felt of like, like that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, little yeah, bit. I get that. Yeah. I just watched Alpinist. Oh, I haven't Alpinist seen it. Alpinist is a great one. It. Yeah. Fuck. Great yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, you saw free solo, I'm free sure, right? Solo. <laughs> but I, yeah. I guess what it Andy with nines, gonna raise to 1800. Yeah, they're all so good. Uh, HBO has like a four part little series right now. Heads up. One's on surfing, okay. one's on rock climbing, uh, one's on uh, like some super dangerous whitewater canoeing. <laughs> all four of them are fucking incredible. Yeah. On HBO, HBO Max, yeah. Bruce Gay drawing dead unless he can get Andy to fold. We'll see if that happens. That's a very It's nuts. It's fucking crazy, yeah. So you're like you do pretty intense ones, or I was um I I climbed full time for seven months. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, look at this. Cool the nine that. still plays. Like I quit my I quit my job and just was living in a car. Bruce K um, can't beat the board. Not, not trying to derive income from it, but it's no, just no, all I, you did. I'm, I'm not good at Yeah, yeah, but that's all you did. Yeah. That's the point. Okay. But also, like, climbers... Um, I'll do one more. A single. You don't spend money as a climber. Yeah. yeah. So, Andy bluffing uh, with the best of it. meet other people that are full-time climbing. Yeah. So climbing, like, uh, dirt bags, they call it dirt bagging. Yeah, there's a... Uh, Thank you, Julie. It's good to be back. Have you seen it? It's like... Yosemite, uh, Yosemite, yeah, uh, the history of Yosemite yeah, Valley. Yeah, yeah, you watch that one? Yes, yes. And it shows it since, like, the 50s. That one was sick, too. I mean, those guys are, like... Yeah. Legends. Yeah, legends. a lot of those guys were like literally homeless. Right? Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't need. To, I remember like I, I used to like um, just like camp in all these like beautiful alpine settings and think, yeah. man, like you know, people in society they pay like so much rent to get this view and like yeah, right? yeah, yeah, just yeah. Had to, Hike up like two hours and pitch a tent. Yeah, I was telling a couple of these guys I played with. It's not. It's not even close to as cool. But last week I hiked Whitney, um, which is really hard to get a permit. So I got one the night before and then didn't acclimate and just went right up and it was intense. But that was that was pretty scary too, honestly. Because have you hiked Mount Whitney or climbed no, it or anything? No, okay. but I'm, I'm, I know it's like it's a, it's a serious mountain. Yeah. One it's, 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 yeah. Uh, so. Um, Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, but anyway, like the last several thousand feet of elevation climb, because I had no acclimation, oh, I was like super dizzy, like could barely see, and it's exposed on one side the whole way yeah, up. So yeah. that, was, that was pretty scary. You can get hurt. People yeah. die. It was extremely stupid, but like that's just how I am. I'm like, well, I don't care. I'll die. I'm fucking going to the top of this thing. <laughs> What's interesting but about that's nothing compared to rock climbing, well, okay, which so is way more scary. What's yeah. cool about climbing is, um, so there's times when uh, you get up there and you think your mind thinks that you're in danger, yeah, and so you get like really tense, but you're not actually in danger, yeah. So you have to relax, yeah. Other times, you actually are in danger. You better not like get tense because if you tense up, you'll fall. Yeah. So you still have to relax. It's actually yeah. like kind of a like it's really just cool, like just really cool. Yeah, they talk about uh, 75. 7,500. Uh, they talk about that like in one in one of those documentaries. Basically, like your life depends on you remaining calm in a lot of these situations, which is yeah. scary as fuck, but fascinating. Really, to hear really conceptually. cool. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah. What happened? Like an injury? Um, I just I had a concussion, so I couldn't exercise, so I started playing poker. And then I got really out of shape because I was playing too much poker. 
so now I'm like actually really quite like I'm not in climbing shape. Yeah, yeah. So. You'll get back into it. I, I, yeah, I will. Yeah. I will. yeah. I think that's uh, that's that's really cool. Like I don't want to go into it too much, but like, you know, it sounds like you're like retired or semi-retired. Stanley's sort of the same, at least in some ways. Oh, no, I'm working. I'm working now. I'm, I'm, oh well, at least for a while you were, yeah, no, right? Yeah. But, but like to see people um, who who find success and then like find new ways to like find meaning and identity. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, they make a lot of money. That's all they know. Just, oh yeah, I mean, just keep working, keep making money, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's, what's the quote like? Uh, to know the meaning of enough, right? Like, yeah, that's that's the goal. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Joseph Heller said that. Yeah, that's a sick, sick quote. Yeah. I'll have something you will never have enough. That's like one of my favorite fucking quotes ever. It's so pure. So, uh, so he goes to, like, one JR makes the call. Like, 8300 in the pot. It's an interesting flop here. You got a double gutter for JR. Catch a queen or an eight. Kind of a sneaky little double gutter. I love double gutters, by the way. Andy checks it back. Not a particularly good run out for queens, but we can see Andy... A big favorite to win the hand. And says, man, Heller, like, he wrote one of the best books of all time. Check. Yet this guy made as much money in his life. Check, check today. once again. And the river gives Andy a set, but JR the straight. As I mentioned, the Nick Fertucci show starting on Monday. If you want, you can subscribe now. The link is in the chat. So JR bets 7,000, Andy pays him off. I would say never. Most really rich people do not. A small amount do. That's what I found. They're not rich enough. Maybe not. Maybe they're not rich enough. Stanley is like, I won't know. No, no, that's not right. That's not right. Thank you. I essentially agree with you, yes. Yeah. 95 plus percent of extremely rich yes. people don't talk yeah. about their wealth or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. I think it's pretty typical for poker players just because, like, in poker, money is like your scoreboard or whatever, right? Yeah, exactly it's like how you right. measure success yeah. in poker. Yeah. yeah. So it's like Similarly, poker players the, are very like, yeah. never talk about yeah. how much money he makes from poker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, but that's a great point that you're making, though, uh, in yeah. terms of right? it's yeah. it's a great defense of poker players. They can be forgiven, or at least you can empathize with them when their whole life this is how you keep score so it's hard for them not to brag about their wealth yeah, yeah. and things of that nature. Yeah. And for a lot of poker players, it's what they have. Yeah. Like, they devote their whole life to making money or sure. winning in poker yeah, or whatever. Yeah, for sure, yeah. What's the symbol? Yeah. Oh, I need more uh, Red Bull also. I think, I think also, I mean, yeah, if you're yeah. playing, like, lower, like, 2-5 for a living, right, I mean, you almost have to. Because you're only making the 10 big blinds per hour. Yeah. So you, you have oh, to be okay. careful. Like, like, yeah. Like, right, like, thank you. So. Thank you. You are watching Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I'm David Tuckman. Henry Kilbane joined me earlier. We've got some meetup games coming over uh, the next few days with Espen. And then, of course, on Monday, Max Payne Monday. DGAF playing in that one, as he does usually. Raver Poker will be commentating that one. Espen playing in that. And... Uh, if you don't like them, if you don't like it when they run it more than once, if you like needling, you like slow rolls, Monday is for you. Get a three bet here from Garrett. JR, the original Razor Ray, thinking about maybe putting in a cold four bet, but he lets it go. That would have been a really interesting play. I mean, it probably would have worked. <laughs> Yeah, I can say, but... <laughs> JR going to call this. 45. We got 10s versus 8s. 9,900 in the pot. Not exactly the flop we were looking for if we want action. Big Sima says, uh, Espadon Max Payne Monday should be entertaining. Yeah, I agree, looking for it. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it, buddy. Almost 
Well, there's tens full now for JR. Unfortunately for him, this is just a really ugly run out for Garrett. It's gonna be difficult for uh, JR to get any money out of Garrett. Yeah, Garrett just lets it go. I think I missed a button. <laughs> Let's move it for a minute. No, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, can I want any more? 155. Oh. 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 Uh, <laughs> it's way funnier to say that with broken English. It's great. <laughs> I'm tilt. <laughs> I'm tilt. <laughs> good, good. Uh, me too. <laughs> Take it, Jar. Race. Race. One pound. So uh, when you took, uh, is it a month you said? Uh, seven month? months. Seven months, yeah. way more than that. Uh, yeah. Did you climb many places or was there a home base? Or? Um, I did uh, California for a little bit, uh, Red Rocks, uh -huh. I had, uh, Vegas. Yeah. Uh, cool. Then I went to uh, Italy, so Sardinia, Italy for nice. a month. Sick. And then uh, France, so basically the Alps, like so Briançon near uh, Lyon, mm -hmm. and then I went up to uh, uh, Switzerland. And then I went to Australia for like three weeks in there. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, so I just like, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. That's been three betting here. Many beautiful parts of the world, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andy yeah. Calls. Don't know what Andy oh, yeah. has. I just went by myself. I met yeah. up with people. I That's been his top pair, top, top kicker, but on an all diamond board. Not sure how comfortable he is. No, I have a girlfriend now. So now it's harder. That's hard right now. You did all your climbs solo, though. Um, or, or, or occasionally you'd partner. We do have a new video premiere after the show tonight. No, actually, you can check that out on our solo, YouTube like, channel. There's Facebook groups, and yeah. you post, and you learn how to see if you can trust somebody to be safe. Yeah. Because you're putting your life in their hands. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and you stayed at hostels so hostels, you could meet people? Hostels or tent, like we tent, tent to uh, the camp. Oh, right. Uh, oh, unless you right. met somebody, they would like, you know, okay. it, it, like, I mean, there's a lot of free spirits in climbing, so it wasn't, it's not that hard to actually meet friends. Was there, there not really hotels? Climbers don't do hotels. You just don't. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, the ethos yeah. is not a, like, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, people people were bragging about how little they spent that day. Like, this guy would be like, yeah, I only spent a dollar every two. And I got some ketchup, and like, I reused this, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I put some water in the ketchup and made a soup. Like, it, you yeah. know, it's kind of. <laughs> Obviously, that's not annoying as people do it the other way. But can yeah. that get tiring as well, or <laughs> not really? Uh, I don't, you know, <laughs> yes and no. I mean, I've like, I, I, I didn't do it. I was invited to dumpster dive, and it was going to be a really cool adventure, but somebody invited, somebody else invited me to pizza. I was like, oh, I'll just do pizza instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, there were, um, I met this uh, one, um, like at this one hostel, there was a girl that had, uh, uh, had dropped out of college and was li for five years has just been living like as a free spirit. So she was doing things like wolfing, which in Australia is like uh, taking care of somebody's home. So she wolfed for this like gay nudist couple. What's taking care of? Yeah. Uh, it's called wolfing, wolfing, I think. Uh, like house sitting, whatever. House sitting, like house sitting. Oh. For, and she would, so she'd do like four hours of housework for this na you know, nude, like gay couple. Yeah. And then yeah. she, uh, there was like this, uh, like cults kind of thing where they would give free food for, for every Thursday. So she, you know, every Thursday she'd go to the cult, like yeah. get free dinner. Um, That's crazy. Dumpster dive every now and then. It was it was kind of like crazy. <laughs> Did you never tell anyone that like you were successful or whatever? Did you? I mean, I, you uh, made it a point not to. I assume at least. Or? Well, I, I try to pay for it. Like if we're out to eat, I would pay for it. Yeah. Just, just, okay. Like what? Why yeah. Not? Yeah. Um, but no, I mean. Yes, I did. Um, I did. Like in the U.S., I was like I had a Model Three, so I was kind of like driving around my Model Three, like living in the Model Three. So, yeah. Uh, people, people were on you a little, at least. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like could have been like more flashy. The aces. I got aces, right? <laughs> Stanley bumping it up with King Five suited. 
It now Spins like got the A7 kind of spades. Like, that I get from like music festivals and stuff. Like oh, you yeah. go and yeah. nobody knows shit about one another's socioeconomic yeah, stance. Yeah. You're all just there to socioeconomic status. You're all just there to dance and it's yeah. fucking it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. There's, some, there's a lot of purity in that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing when I go hiking. You know, not, no one knows anything. You know. We raised for six thousand. Because I feel like. Um, Fang, in between his climbing stories, going to three bet with two the, jacks. The amount of like, be, so these climbers, some of them would drop out of like life, right? Right. Oh, hold on, hold on. oh sorry. Andy set mining oh, sorry, though. Sorry, sorry. Um, and they, Looking uh, for a duck. All right, I'll tell the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pay attention, so I'm not like, And he's got one. He was looking for a duck, and he's got one. And this is the second time that Andy has flopped a set against an over pair. First time it was top set of tens versus Ray D's aces. And he felted Ray D in that one. This time, it's deuces versus jacks. And Andy, very unconventional, leads out into the three better. Fang does block a lot of, it's a wet board, but Fang blocks a lot of the draws that Andy might be doing this with. He's got two jacks. He's got the jack of spades. And now Andy checks. Fang's gonna check it back. River's the king of hearts. And this is where it'll get interesting. Fang with 81,800 behind. How much does Andy bet every draw missed? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight hundred. And Andy goes pretty much pot here. Tough spot for Fang. What do you lose to here? Ten-nine suited. Pocket tens, pocket deuces. Those are the hands he loses to. He can beat the draws, but again, having two jacks in your hand makes it a little bit less likely your opponent had a big draw. Really interesting spot. I don't, I don't know if Fang can get away from this one. He's going to make the call. And again, Andy flops a set and gets paid. Very nice hand. So anyways, um, <clears throat> oh, <okay. clears throat> um, the, uh, so people like would give up, like quit their jobs and just live full time and just be climbers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I forget where I read this, but they're, they're, you're saying like something like there's a certain amount of b BS in the world, right? And so the, the people that like quit and just like follow their dream of climbing full time, yeah. in many ways are being like really true to themselves and like they take sure. zero BS. For sure, yeah. But then they're also like not in society because society involves the amount of that kind of being able to, right? Uh -huh. Deal with BS. Yeah. Um, so they're saying that the trick is to to, um, uh, yeah. It's just kind of like, I mean, it's got some like, like amount of BS you can deal with. Like there's an amount JR of back in there with King 10. Yeah. Fang three betting with the 8 7 of diamonds. Okay, so you're saying like climbers, they don't have to deal with a lot of BS. I get that. Oh no, they, they actually choose to, they kind of reject the, like they choose not to be in the world sometimes, yeah. right? These, some of these full time climbers. Right, yeah. Ready? So. Um, so, it's definitely very, very interesting to think about, yeah. Sammy steps out, we get Lauren back in. There's a bunch of Got about 30 minutes left in tonight's show. Just like not to participate in capitalism. Suke, uh, our uh, big winner so far, up 132,000. Garrett has crawled back. He's only down 52,000, which is still a ton of money, but he was down 150 earlier. JR down 133,000. 
Andy now up $85,000. You know, all the modern uh, tribes, they don't have any, they don't have money. Yeah. It's every, everything's collected, right? Yeah. So. Look how much money is on this table. Somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.5 million. Andy with aces on the button and gets no action. Full time. Full time. I got one. Aspen picks up ace king. This game started out 100 200 with a $200 big blind ante. That didn't last long. Very quickly became a 100 200 400 game with a $200 big blind ante. Andy? I show you a, a twist of both. Twist up, twist up. Yeah. Uh, ace king still good here. Stanley has the ace of diamonds in his hand. Uh, win a fast race. Uh, about him. Yeah, about him. Yeah. <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> I voted yes. I voted yes. I voted yes. Me too, yes. me too. <laughs> you gotta give a rebate to some of these guys, right? At the bottom, right? Yeah, a little rebate. I agree. <laughs> Now it's you to play that. <laughs> that was exactly my goal against him. I was like, I just want to beat him out of 10K in a hand. <laughs> That's what I'm looking to do today. Let's get your money back. Exactly. I'm cool breaking even. Crazy if you think about that way. Like, you basically won the money of like 7,000. Aspen with players. the best hand here. 7,000 guys for an yeah. eight or two. He's going to go check, check. Two, then you lose. <laughs> More, huh? It's like almost eight or something this year. Was oh, you it? know what? I think it was close. It was probably, yeah, it was like close to eight. <laughs> So many it's the second biggest main event ever. Yeah. Yeah. Next to Jimmy Gold, too. Was that out of line on me? Did you see my meme on Twitter no, about right. Jamie Gold? No, out of line? It was out of line, right? I, I, I thought I was being hilarious, but some people took offense. I, I, I loved the... Uh, what was it? I actually responded to him, the, the guy who's like... I love how these wannabe poker players who will never even, like, play in the main event, like... <laughs> he, he thought that you were just like some nobody talking shit. Bro, welcome to the internet, man. Like, I, I feel like I'm like the least controversial person in the shit I say publicly. And yet, like, anytime I post I something, there's shit. like 10 people that are so <laughs> outraged at whatever it is I just said, you know? It's, it's a really special place. Were you the guy who tweeted, Espen literally just won the main event? That was you? <laughs> That's funny. I laughed when I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes left in tonight's show. Those of you asking for overtime, not my call. In fact, it's never my call. When the crew goes, I mean, you got to realize our crew is here like two, three hours before the players start. They're here after the players finish. They're here Monday through Friday, busting their balls. Working hard, so occasionally we throw a little overtime in there, but it is not going to happen tonight. Uh, Andy with ace king on a king high board. Garrett's queens looking very good right now as he hits second set. This is uh, Garrett versus Andy. Round 183. Oh, 
These guys are deep, as you might imagine. Wow, what a fold. What a fold by Andy. One bet, a raise, and he's done with ace-king. That is next level stuff. So it looks like we are doing overtime. We've got about 15 minutes of overtime tonight. So there you go. Garrett gets closer to being unstuck. And uh, I think when he sees this one later on, probably gonna be a little frustrated that he didn't get more of Andy's money. JR picks up Kings. Fang with the ace deuce of spades. Gonna make a call. Yeah, Chad, how do you guys like that fold by Andy Stacks? I mean, it's one thing to get away from Ace King, but against Garrett, to put one little seabed out there and then just fold to the raise, that's, uh, that's some next level stuff. JR with Kings on this Queen Jack 10 board. Gonna put a bet out there and take it down. Also, I'm sure Jamie laughed at it. It was my best tweet ever. Yeah. I was very happy about it. <laughs> Strong. And anyone who's played in this, like, world would laugh at themselves as the subject of that. Yeah, and it's 15 years ago, and it's like... I thought it was a very soft take to, like, take offense to that. Yeah, yeah. Also, I grew up on the internet, like playing video games and shit, and people are toxic as shit. So, like, I, I have a bit more tougher skin than yeah, most yeah, people, yeah. I guess. Like, the thick, yeah, thicker skin for sure. Seven thousand now. Like David Williams has been in poker, like gambling industry forever as well, right? You would think that he has pretty tough skin as well. You would think that his industry hardens people, right, in terms of everything. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's a, there's a couple people in the business that are like known uh, to be like oversensitive, but for the most part, you would think if you're in this world right now, you're getting ripped on a regular basis. Yeah. Yeah, and everything is everything is controversial these days, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't say anything. Like someone's gonna hate on you oh, if you have oh. the mildest. Thousand to go right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh. No, I raised it this oh. okay. Get a race from Andy with Jack Nine. Club variety. Espen. He's got the clovers as well. He's gonna call with Ace Deuce. Jr. with Queens. Going to three bet the 6,000. Andy gets out of the way. Not sure we'll see a flop on this one. Also, Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I risk. Uh, free race. I, I don't even know what's going on. 
but I do know that Fusuke has raised to 1,500. Wow. And it looks like he is not going to get any action. Why? Nobody wants to block him now. Lauren, you should ask him for a felt where the circle is reached with just as far as you can reach. I know, and it's a huge Finally. Terrible. You need one of those rakes? Yeah, Stop. 800, new round. 800, new round. New round. Oh, God bless. 800 straddle. Uh, I need something interesting to happen here immediately. Bruce going to raise here, and Fang makes the call. A little blind on blind violence here. Jack 4-3, nothing there for Fang. Mm, quick bet, quick fold, and we move on. Say hi to some of you guys in the chat there. James Garcia. <laughs> James Garcia in there, lucky, lucky. Jack Hartman, Chad Wellington, <laughs> Linda Liu, Michael Bennett. Thanks for joining us on uh, this Friday evening, wherever you might be in the world. Where are you guys and girls? Let me know. Over the last uh, three and a half weeks, I have been, I've been in Hawaii and I've been in upstate New York. Spending time with family. Espen, making it 2,000 with ace-10. Yeah. Let's see, where is everybody? Neil is in Wiggins. Michael Benton's in uh, Cancun for vacation. Enjoy. Brendan is in Hollywood. Mr. Capool in Australia. Aaron Birch in Jacksonville Beach. Leo in Dallas. Gotta love it. We got Pittsburgh. We got Mexico. We got China. We got Norway, apparently. Pittsburgh. All in the, uh, in the chat. Israeli Ron says, I dream I'm in Israel. Get a raise here from Ray. Andy calls. Stanley's going to call as well. 6,900 in there already. Ace King, nine. How about a pair and a flush draw for Andy? Top two for Ray D. This one could get interesting. 5,000. Ray bets pretty large here. 5,000. Big sizing. Andy calls. Stanley gets out of the way. Andy turns the flush. Ray checks. 
Andy bets 10,000. Ray with 42,500 behind. You can see the how much money each player has in the bottom left corner of your screen. So if Ray calls this, he'll have less than a pot size bet left. Outing one minute. Can't imagine Ray folding this. Ray in the tank. Players have 30 seconds stacked on their hand. If they need more than that, they can use those time chips. And Ray has already gone into at least one. I mean, I gotta imagine, I think this is just really a call. Don't want to raise with Ace King here. And I think the hand is just too good to fold right now. All in. All in. And Ray goes all in. Yeah. And Andy. Do you want to go twice again or oh. once? Can I have two times? Can you get the chance? Huh? Twice is good. Twice. Two times confirmed. Eight of spades, Ray looking for an ace or a king so he can get half of it. Not gonna happen. And Andy shows him the bad news. Nut flush. Second time that Andy has stacked Ray D. First time it was set of tens versus aces. And this time, the nut flush versus top two. Sorry, Aspen. It's the Andy show, bro. <laughs> So this game is so easy and fun, yeah, you, make, yeah. you just keep making nuts. You can be second lead, <laughs> yeah. but he, he's got you, man. <laughs> you the star today. Yeah, Andy Wright. The game is uh, super fun when you're making the nuts. Last Friday is better. Uh, risk it. It was, it was very kind of you to run it twice uh, hmm? when I made that dog shit show. Hmm? It was very nice. On five. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> so you left $5 on the table. Hold, hold. Yeah. Show. 2000 now. Thank you. I, I think that's twice tonight that I made a, like a, a crying raise. Mm -hmm. 7,400. <laughs> great idea. Good idea. Stanley three betting with nines. See if Hank wants to call this. No, nope. tosses threes in the muck. Fang, staying disciplined, lets the king eight go. I think it's here. What do you think? Oh, Ryan, seat open. Ryan. Seat open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 800 shot. Oh, Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley. Uh, 24. 2400 now. Hey, when, the, when we're off the stream, can I, can I look at that? Yep. Oh. 12,000. Again. <laughs> Good day. Mm. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Are we 
Andy now up $130,000. JR down 133. Ray D lost two buy ins, 100K. Garrett down $34,800. As we continue, once again, the Nick Fertucci Show with Veronica Brill starting on Monday, August 15th. You can subscribe and watch that or listen to it. King High Flop, King 10-7. Jacks are best. Yeah, Garrett was down over 150,000 at one point, so he has made a pretty good comeback today. Thank you. This is one of those days of poker if you're Garrett, and I feel like we've, we've been there. Do you want more? If Garrett gets even, if he finishes tonight even, he feels great, you know? The way his first hour went, I mean, remember, he lost ace king to ace king. Flush over flush. Set versus nut flush. I mean, he just had situations like that over and over again early on. JR Racing to 2000. Andy calls. Ace high still good. Arash says real pros don't care about getting even, they can handle losses. Yeah, true. Still feel, feels really good though. If you ever played poker and you're stuck at stuck heaps and then you crawl back and you break even for the day, it just feels good. We're human at the end of the day. There is a $1,600 straddle. Uh, I, I know one of your friends. $1,600 straddle. Uh, Game is on. Yeah, he's like the 50-50 commentator and poker player. Okay. Pretty much he commentates for a lot of the big events in Europe. Oh, cool. I know the guy has never played a hand of poker. Yeah, he's Philip. saying he's just all in on the, the, the games. Yeah, he plays a lot of video games, but he does like videography, so many things all the clock together. And he's part of your team now. Yeah. 4,000. Stanley bumping it up with Ace Queen. I've known him for quite a long time now. Yeah. Like I used to be sponsored by um, a company, like a poker company in Europe. He used to do videography for that company. Oh, yeah. Got it. And Henry would do commenta commentary for that company. Got it. So like we met on those events yeah, yeah, yeah. and then. It's cool also that you each have the three of you have different kind of focus area skill sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about Henry by chance? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, him and I exchanged a few messages on Twitter. He seems like the nicest guy. Yeah. First time meeting him today. But. Okay. Big fan, yeah. yeah He's yeah. really cool guy. Uh, He's like a really sharp guy. Long time friend or? Yeah. Kind of. Um, oh, ugly turn card here for Stanley. He hits his ace. He's got the queen of spades as well. And Ruske. Cool. With the dead man's hand, aces and eights. Check, check, and there's a queen. What a run out. 17,000 in there. Someone. You got a lifelong friendship potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like those, those Thailand shoes, uh, they know things about each other. Yeah, oh yeah. They, got, they, they definitely have leverage against one another if, if the relationship goes sideways. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Ruske, checking. Now Stanley is going to bet. Ah. 
<laughs> cold decks. God. Yeah, very cold deck on that one. <laughs> Gotta love this guy's smile. Man. Thank you. Thank you. I think, oh, good strata again. <laughs> but you hit the ball, right? Clean. Mm. Yeah. Two pair in turn? Yeah. No, 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 he no. started this one. On turn, yeah? yeah. Eight to pair. No, I know, I'll calculate. You don't have to. You don't want the... Cool. Your favorite sports team isn't like the one that you think you could compete with, it's the best. Two thousand. Ah. And so I think people would be really faster than that. Time. I didn't know you yeah. hit two pairs, otherwise you would have cool to see people perform that, no matter what it is, right? Like for me, I watch like uh, video uh, games mm -hmm. and stuff like that sometimes. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's super fascinating to me, like seeing like the world's best like Warcraft player yeah. or whatever it is, you know, even though I don't compete at all. Like, okay. I don't understand most of what's going on like on the very high level. Yeah. It's really cool. Stick around with the Queen Five. <laughs> Not much on that flop for him to get in trouble with though. Like which do you respect the best World of Warcraft player in the world or best poker player? Save five thousand. Which do you think is harder? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. For me, yeah. I respect oh, well, the poker very much because yeah. that's yeah. what yeah. I do. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I would assume Come that to. this skill, like it takes more hours to become the best we did. Yeah. player yeah. out of yeah. this yeah. I, I was also like, thinking about the delta between like, the best yeah. and the second. <laughs> <laughs> Is Enough. maybe a little more pronounced Enough. than yeah. the number one and number two in poker. Yeah, yeah. and, and really of course you can though. measure it on a bunch Not of different dimensions on who's the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like the skill level. Yeah. And then one more thing the skill level yeah. is yeah. someone who's in the <laughs> 2022 World Series Poker Main Event Champion. Won two bracelets this past summer. Picks up Ace King. Like if you yeah, I don't know that you can sun run in a. Yeah, like two guys that are like the nuts. Really good. <laughs> I've got to have a match up, play like 10 matches. It'll be like pretty apparent after 10 matches yeah. who's the better player. But then if you play so two guys that play heads up, maybe you'll. Ruske making the call with 8 3. Nothing there for anybody. For five days. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Say like the best players there are probably like a lot better at the world. I like that watch. I'm not a watch guy, but I like that watch. Okay. So you think for some games it's different. Yeah, like that is on uh, Hank's left hand. Or wrist, I should say. Get a raise here from Aspen with King Queen. JR picks up nines. And just the question of whether he three bets this or just calls. And there's your answer. He is going to raise. I every time. <laughs> no problem. I'm already doing it. It's on my way, as we said. <laughs> I don't know who the hell we is, but yeah. Are <laughs> <laughs> you a big uh, Counter-Strike guy too? Do you play a lot of Counter-Strike back in the day? Mm, back in like 1.5, 1.6, okay. when I was like 15, 14, 15 yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I've never like, I've never that good at Karen's Strike. I used to be really good at Warcraft. Warcraft 3, the Just a few minutes left in tonight's show. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
It's good to be back. I've been gone too long. I played a lot of uh, Counter Strike and uh, Starcraft back in the day. Nice. It's, but I, the way you were saying about like um, Counter Strike yeah. is like being players are really good at it. Like that's what I felt. What every time I played with friends, it's like they were just like way too good, and like I just didn't feel like I could ever catch up. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, it just wasn't Hank fun. picks up like, Kings. Uh, Jr. with King time. Ten. Yeah. Like, and it's so this complex. Is, like, how many people it. play Counter Strike? You know, it's infinite people yeah. play that game. Yeah. So of course, like the best players are gonna have to like work really hard to. It's just so hard, dude. It's and like... the same with uh, Dota. You know, like the the prize pools there are so mm -hmm. big for the international. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like how much first prize is now, but it's like. Stanley with a gut shot. Right? Right, right, yeah. So it's like. Thanks, Kings. It's super competitive. For sure. Like these are good right are now. It like a sport. They have like all nutritionists. All yeah. They have nutritionists. Right. They have personal trainers. They have mental game coaches. They have everything you know like it's crazy, man. super big business yeah hank betts jr calls ace on the turn while most poker players even at like the highest levels mm -hmm. they don't have they don't have like a support system right, right. right. they work really hard but yeah it's different with video gaming for sure like, um, uh, 39 right now. Yeah. JR bets 4,500. Hank's not going to fold just yet. Pot just under $20,000 now. 17.5 in there. Hank checks. Let's see if JR wants to fire another shell. And he bets 7,000? Small bet, it doesn't look like a bluff. But at the same time, you're getting three and a half to one. Nine, ten got there. Interesting sizing choice here from JR. It's one of those, such a small bet, just screams value. Like you're thinking, how could this be a bluff? But at the same time, it's such a small bet that JR is, he's getting a good price to bluff at it. I mean, he's betting 7,000 to win 17.5. And he does get it to go through. That's a bluff that doesn't have to work that often to be very profitable. Like over a period of time, everybody will be doing certain things. Yeah, there's a meta game that yeah. continuously shifts, right? And everybody adjusts to that. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, now yeah. everybody does something new. And yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. If you don't keep up, then you're like a fish, you know? Like, you're like trying to do that stuff, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I've stopped playing like competitive games as well because I'm yeah. just too slow now and I don't want to devote enough yeah, time to be good at it, you know? Yeah. You have to devote so much time, I don't really have it. For sure. Um, but it's nice to play like. I actually started playing some single player games during COVID, okay. which I didn't do like ever because I thought it was like so boring to not be able to compete. <laughs> right. Like single player games never appealed to me because right, right. you're not competing against anyone. Right. I would just get so addicted though, man. Like RPGs, you know, Diablo, all the Diablos. Yeah, yeah. I played all of them. Like this. Oh, uh, those players too. Uh, all of them were, yeah, yeah the later ones. Like like Rusuke like racing with a mystery like hand on the button. Like same thing, like Not going to get any action. So much time. Like you find yourself playing all day, every day, and you're just like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I kind of stopped at the, so like the, the single player is what I grew up on. Uh -huh. And when it got into multiplayer, I never really got into any of those games. Okay. Yeah. It's like crack, man. It's like the thing. That's the other thing. I have time for like one hobby <laughs> at best. <laughs> one what? Hobby. Oh, yeah, yeah. 800 shot once again. There'd be times where, like, I honestly would just hold my pee for like three hours. Like, I, I would not get up. You know, I'll just be in front of the mirror. I'm just like, I just, I don't want to get up. I feel like they probably sell equipment. For Yusuke, that. raising with ace five. <laughs> Garrett calls. 
22. JR out of the straddle with Jax. Three bet to 10,000. Wow. Bruschi makes the call. Garrett's going to call as well. Pot now $31,000. Down two. <laughs> the, th the three way round two. <laughs> Not the flop you're looking for with Jax. Nobody bets that flop. Expect some money to go in now. No, maybe not. It checks again. Oh, wow. Quads for Ruske. Just quads. Have a king. You have to have a king, right? He does not have a king. Quads? Of course. That's why you didn't bet it before. Yeah. Different, a lot of different like self development mm -hmm. things, you know. Like, oh, I thought you said weed. <laughs> oh, no, weed. Weed is <laughs> like reading, like, yeah, read. Big difference. <laughs> Pretty big difference. I thought yeah, you said yeah. weed. I was what like, was oh, your, what was the other card? <laughs> what was your other card? Okay. Five. 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 And that is going to do it for us. Garrett in for 500,000. He's got 457 in front of him now. Andy's got 424 in front of him. JR with 313. Well over a million dollars on the table. Pretty insane when you look about it. I want to thank all of you for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend. Reminder, we've got a video coming up on our YouTube channel right after the show. We'll be back on Monday for Max Payne Monday. For everybody here at Hustler Casino and High Stakes Poker Productions, I am David Tuckman. Thank you and good night. I was already super happy until we know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the, 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 like the, the, the quality of I think has a huge effect. You know, and then we're yeah. grown and all that stuff, yeah. yeah.